I've made Mihail for a year and a half now, and I'm getting to the point where I kind of want to move on to something else. I have a theory that boss mules will become the new meta at some point in GMS, and I want to get out ahead of that meta. You can already see quite a few people going this route because of how efficient it is to have characters who can bring in a decent amount of mesos per week with relatively low effort. It just makes sense. The hardest part of creating these mules, however, specifically in Reboot, is getting access to the sheer number of node stones and mesos one needs to develop the characters to the point where they can be nearly passive income. For the time being, I want to focus on a couple specific things. I want to choose boss mules and level them up to 235 in order to give them access to every symbol. The first one on the list is going to be Hayato. Once these characters are at the goal level, it's just a matter of time until I manage to gear them up sufficiently to clear Lotus and Damien, which is the first tier of bosses I want my mules clearing on a weekly basis. I currently have a level 235 Mihail who's already clearing up to Lotus with ease, a level 230 Buccaneer who is pretty severely underpowered currently, and in the first few episodes of this series, I aim to raise a Hayato to 235 as well. The primary goal is getting them all to 235 and then figuring out where to go from there, i.e. creating a character who can effectively farm nodes and mesos for the mules. So, I think that's enough of an introduction to this series. Grab a snack and let's get to work. <clears throat> I decided I am not interested in doing story quests. So, we're just gonna grind. It'll be faster anyway, especially since I'm burning, so 1 to 150 will be a very quick experience. See, when I first tried out Hayato a long time ago, I was misled because Hayato's skills are a little misleading if you come into it with no knowledge. Bato Jutsu Advance is a skill that you pretty much never want to use or even think about. It is very confusing and it really interrupts the flow of the way the class plays. It's not optimal and it makes it really clunky and weird. But when I was trying out Hayato for the first time uh, to make my Link skill, I uh, I was really focused on getting Bato Jutsu Advance working properly and getting the combos and everything right. And it just really turned me off from the class because it made no sense. I did not understand it. It was like, you have to use the skill, then you press Surging Blade, Shoryu Sen, Rising Slash, Falcon Dive, Donku Sen. I don't know, it, it was really confusing. And I'm I'm very happy, I watched a, a tutorial video a long time ago, or not that long ago, a few months ago. Um, it was like an hour long, that was uh, all about how to play Hayato. And one of the first things the person said in the video was, just ignore this skill entirely. And when he said that, my eyes were open. I was like, oh my god. I understand now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that in order to get my job advancement, I have to do these story missions, so I guess we're doing them. I do like Hayato's uh, new portrait. They, at some point, they redid a lot of the character portraits, and they look really nice now. Okay, finally, second job. Uh, yeah, it turns out you have to do all those uh, quests that say required on them. Yeah, that's not just um, that's not just a word. It actually has a meaning. It means you have to do these. All right, we get Vapor Blade now, which is an amazing skill. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and max that out real quick, but I'm also gonna lock that so I don't do the classic Hayato thing of double tapping when I'm trying to enter our enter a portal. Oh wow, a skill that just increases crit damage? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. My crit damage is really high already. Jesus. Okay, cool. Alright. 
before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and grab professions. One of the nice, one of the many nice changes between uh, Barra and Reboot. Uh, of course, I'll probably be talking about this a lot because it's fresh on my mind. But one of the many differences is I can learn every single profession on one character. I don't have to choose. It's amazing. So convenient. Does it really make a huge difference? Eh, not really. On paper, it seems like it does, but in reality, not not really. It's just nice to have. I think I'm done with, um, I think I'm done with these quests now, so it's on to the grind. Sweet. Let's do it. One of my favorite things about Hayato is the stance changes. It's something that I've come to get used to from playing Mihail for so long. I mean, I, I played Mihail exclusively, more or less, for about a year and a half. And um, they have Roiling Soul, which is effectively a stance change. So it's really cool that I can go to another class that has a stance change, one for mobbing, one for bossing. I actually think it's awesome, and it's actually a lot easier to tell when you're in what stance on a um, on a Hayato compared to a Mihail. So I forgot to mention it, but there have been a lot of changes to reboot systems since I uh, since I left. Uh, I'll cover them more as as they become relevant. But um, one of the major things is the final damage increase you get final damage increase based on your level now in Reboot, which is kind of awesome. So, right now I have 30, I'll get 40 at level 100, and it'll it'll just go up slowly over time, but that's pretty cool. Um, I believe at some point they changed the Meso obtain rate from 5 to 6? I'm not 100% on that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I mean, obviously they added vac pets. That's the whole reason I'm back here. But there's 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 quite a there's been quite a few really nice changes to reboot that I'm actually really excited about, um, long term and short term because it's gonna make the experience here a lot nicer. Uh, having switched from Barra where I can just buy things to you know reboot where like if I want. Uh, herb bags, I have to level up my alchemy to like craftsman or meister even and then craft the bags and even then that's still only 12 slot bags compared to the 20 slot bags I could have bought in reboot for relatively low price, right? But one of the many changes that they've made in reboot since I've been gone is at some point they added these 20 slot bags to the convenience shop, the general shops. So the one in um, Ludib not Ludibrium, Le Leafry and Hinesis, they both have those 20 slot bags for sale now, which is amazing. So things are, things are a lot better in Reboot nowadays. Things are a lot more convenient, that's for sure. On to Drake's, if I can find a channel. It is 7 p.m. on a Friday, so not counting on it. All right, time for a third job advancement, I guess. Okay, third job advancement done. Blink and you'll miss it, apparently. All right, unfortunately, damage is falling off plus ratio, so I need to upgrade my gear a little bit. One of the many other nice changes from Barra to Reboot, you no longer have to worry about scrolling. That was such an annoyance to me in Barra. I've, like I said, I've played Barra for a little over a year at this point. I still don't understand what optimal scrolling is at all. Not even close. I'm gonna make a statement, and let me know if you guys agree with this. There are two parts to this game that are definitely the most fun, in my opinion. 
And uh, the first of which I would say is leveling characters for Legion or Link skills. It's a lot of instant gratification because levels are so quick and it's also long term satisfying because you end up with a lot of gains for your overall account. So that is uh, that's probably one of my favorite parts of the game. And then obviously the other part is the boss. That's like that's like the main draw. But when I was leveling my uh, characters in Barra to level up my Legion. That was some of the most fun I've ever had playing MapleStory was just grinding out uh, Legion mules. So that could just be a me thing, but I don't know. I just discovered a fun little tech that lets me uh, clear the map really quickly. It's Falcon Dive Whirlwind Cut, and I just spam them back and forth. <laughs> and they can't, they kind of cancel each other. This is one of the many things I really like about this class. There's so much depth to it. Alright, got third job, or fourth job. It's been a little while, but I mean, this is going real fast. Uh, I've only been playing for an hour and a half. And I'm not even really speed running or anything. So now it's time to get a a rune and head to Zakum. Of course, I need to figure out what skills I'm gonna max out first. Akatsuki Trace is really good. Now we just wait for a rune. All right, we got the thing that I wanted. I forgot the word rune. Now it's time to clumsily make my way over to Zakum because I'm not used to this character yet. All right, that was solid. Got 12 levels from that. I guess my item inventory is full, actually. Um, do I want, do I care? Oh, you know what? I should go ahead and grab the uh, charm from that. I'm gonna need it. Also grab the charm from this one as well. Charm is important. I don't think I have easy access to a uh, trait increase potion right now, so. All right, but I'm going to need to go to a new area. I have 30 Star Force right now, but I might be a little weak. I probably need to do a few things before I can move on to uh, to grinding in a new area, unfortunately. One thing that hasn't changed between Reboot and regular servers is... Mastery books are still real expensive. At least it's less of an impact here where mesos are uh, worth a little less. All right, we're gonna head to my favorite training area for this level range. And uh, see if maybe I can actually somehow manage to train here. These map, this map is usually pretty high burning, which is nice. So now I have Shinsoku, which is good because I can actually cancel a lot of my animations. I don't have booster on. See, I also like this class because canceling animations reminds me of Blaster, which is a class I just cannot play long term, even though I really, I really love Blaster. It's one of my favorite classes in the game. I just, I can't handle the grinding on it, so I, I can't play it, but this is a nice alternative. 
And I guess I'll keep leveling up Rison Renzon because that is what I'm going to be using primarily. As you can see, I'm still pretty weak, but that's kind of how it goes in Reboot. So there was a change to Hayato um, a while ago, a few months ago, I think with the Neo update that, as far as I'm aware, made uh, Shinsoku a better bossing skill than Rice on Renzon. So that's actually kind of cool, too, because I was never really a huge fan of using Rice on Renzon as your primary bossing skill. It's kind of odd. I don't think it was ever intended to be a bossing skill. Or I guess it's actually Ryblade Flash. Ryblade, Ryblade Flash is what I'm actually talking about. But um, yeah, I like I like Shinsoku. I like using that as the uh, primary damage dealer on bosses. All right, things are definitely slowing down, and the damage is definitely falling off hardcore. I uh, I definitely need to get some new gear, unfortunately. Which costs mesos and stuff. All right, so uh, one thing that I actually meant to do that I completely overlooked. I need to do Maple Tour, Monster Park. Monster Park, not Maple Tour. Maybe Maple Tour in the future, but for now... Actually, I could do Maple... No, not on this character. Not yet. Not quite yet, because... I won't get like decent money from it yet. I, I need to wait till I'm level 200 or so, but uh, I could do Monster Park. These guys are level 150. I forgot that the, the level difference penalty in regular servers is a lot more severe than, or uh, in, in the level difference penalty in regular servers is a lot less severe than in reboot. So I might, I might not actually even be able to do this one to be honest. This might take too long. I'll just do the one that's around my level. Because, like I said, I'm starting to get really weak. So. Hopefully I get a, a few levels from these Monster Park runs. Get me up to 140, then I can focus on getting a, a Pencilier set. Finished the Monster Park runs of the day. That took forever, but I'm 140 now, so it's time to grab some Pencilier gear and maybe make my damage kind of good, hopefully. Oh, raw, right. While I'm here, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Along with the bag additions, and I'm sure anyone who plays Reboot already knows this, but along with the bag additions and all the other changes that's come to Reboot, you can now buy the days of the week badges. They're fairly expensive. I believe it's 105 bill to purchase all of them or like 110 bill, 115 bill, something like that. So it's pretty expensive, but um, yeah, you, you can buy them. And now reboot players have reasonable access to the seven days badge. So that's really cool because, you know, as everyone who plays GMS knows, they removed our potable badges. But the seven days badge is kind of a pretty decent replacement because it gives IED. So I'm excited for that long term, like really long term. I do want to get myself a seven days badge, 
but I don't even know when I would start going for that. Uh, I think primarily what I would do is I would probably at some point invest the 15 bill into one of them and then just make that day's badge the day that I do all my weekly bosses so that I have the extra IED because that's how it works. Each day's uh, badge gives you the bonus IED on that day that it's associated with. So uh, and then when you get the seven days badge, you have it all seven days of the week. So in theory, there's actually very little reason to get a seven days badge if you just do all your bosses on one day. But, you know, it's kind of like a, a luxury, like high, high tier, like top point one percent of players type of uh, type of item to get. So that is something I'm actually really excited about, even though, you know, the scope of this, like getting this on my character is definitely like a year, two years away, probably so. But yeah, I thought I, I thought I would mention that uh, we also got a two times EXP coupon and a few other nice things. Um, and now that I am level 140 as well, I have access to hyper skills and hyper stats, which is cool. I will, I think I, I think I know what I want to put, what, what, what's like optimal for, um, hyper skills. So that would be Shinsoku, I believe would be a really good one. Oh God. What? I think you want Hitokiri Strike Cooldown Cutter. Um, you probably want Shinsoku Extra Strike, since Shinsoku is uh, a great bossing skill now. Um, and I guess Sudden Strike, I'm finding that I use Sudden Strike a lot. Like, I'm using it all the time. It's a really good move. So I think I might put in the extra attack. As I'm not exactly doing a lot of bosses right now, and I'll have plenty of levels before I have to worry about that. So I think I'll do I'll do sudden strike for now. If I need to reset them, it's not that big of a deal. It's 100k. It's fine. I'm really excited to get Falcon's Honor because this skill is awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. But now it's on to. Well, it's over to, uh, I guess I'll do El Nath mobs, the uh, the Cerebs, Junior Cerebs. Try to get a full Pencilier set and uh, go from there. All right. Uh, one thing I want to take care of real quick is going to be my weapon and secondary emblem. I'm going to buy these two Epic Potential Scrolls, throw them on my secondary and my emblem. Um... It's gonna be a little while until I have access to Princess No. Um, that is, until I can kill her. So, I'm just gonna roll with this Fire Phoenix Blade for a while. And, uh, I'll just try to get a line of attack on both of these. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but, I mean, Epic WSE. I've talked about it before. The, it's, a, it's a nightmare to roll good lines on an epic WSE. So I'm also going to throw these cubes on them just in case maybe I get lucky and get a tear up, but I am not counting on it. All right, let's roll for some attack lines. All right, took a while. That was a lot of cubes. But uh, now I'm going to head over to Junior Cerebs and try to get a full pencil air set. Got a Rune of Riches. Let's see if we can uh, get a good item or two from this. Hopefully a weapon. A weapon would be really nice. These Runes of Riches are proving to be insanely valuable. Assuming... And he actually drops something and doesn't just fly around 90% of the time. D is that it? Dude, that sucked.
We are 150. I have almost a full set of pencil here, but I am clearly missing like a lot of equips. No belt, no, no accessories at all, aside from the shoulder one that I got. No badge, no rings, and um, I think worst of all is the fact that I simply don't have uh, an Utgard katana. I haven't found one, and I've been looking, but um, I think I'm just gonna call it here for today. I don't actually know how long this video is gonna be, or if it's gonna be one video. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna put this together, but I'm getting tired. I'm going to come back later and work on this some more. Hey guys, so it's um, pretty late at night. Um, I'm just chilling, watching It's Always Sunny podcast. And I was thinking I'm going to farm some mesos on my Kana because I can actually get an okay amount per hour farming at FES2 right now, which is kind of surprising. But... Um, my pets all expired, and I was thinking now would be a good time to just go ahead and buy the um, the vac pet, and I wanted to get it on on recording. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this. I can't use reward points because I don't have like the thirty thousand that I need in order to reduce the price. But we'll go ahead and buy little glowy, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to farming. I also need to make sure I buy the pet package. All right, it's been an hour. I got 250 mil. That's really not that much, but uh, a couple things to keep in mind about this result from this hour. Um, first of all, this Kana is super, super weak. There's a reason why I am farming at FES2 in the, uh, the mid 200s. So that's the first thing. But, uh, secondly, even if I wanted to get a higher, um, meso rate per hour doing this, um, that would involve investing, reinvesting these mesos back into the character. And that's, I don't want to do that because they are removing the spawn enhancement from Kish at some point in the future. And, oh shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> and, um, it is just kind of a waste to uh, try and build a meso, a Kana meso farmer right now. So I kind of view this as just, well, it's a couple things for me. So first of all, it's, um, it's kind of just to kind of kickstart the whole reboot account, getting myself back into it, right? So I need some kind of, some kind of money. Um, and I don't really have a fantastic way to make it right now. My main character, my Hayato, is not 200 yet, so I can't really rely on Maple Tour quite yet until I'm done with that. But, um, until I'm done getting it to level 200. But I also need to have, like, uh, maybe a couple billion mesos to invest into gear for that uh, that Hayato. Um, the other thing is I'm currently in the process of, like I mentioned um, in the last video, I'm in the process of kind of repairing my Legion, so to speak. I like to call it Legion Cleanup, where I'm taking all of my old unoptimized Legion mules and sort of optimizing them for better coin income and stuff like that. Uh, better links and stuff. So that's what I've been doing. And um, that's expensive. One full, one full set of armor and accessories for one character is going to be roughly 100 to 150 mil. And I have like 30 characters to do. So we're looking at billions and billions of mesos just put into the um, the legion mules. So 
I I'm not interested in having Icona farmer. This character is honestly this character. Last time I seriously Meso farmed on this character, you know, besides now was back when Bye Bye Station was still the meta for uh, for low level Meso making. Once they nerfed that, I kind of stopped playing this character uh, at some point, maybe six months ago or something, maybe a little more than that. I leveled it up to about 200 and just kind of started using it to farm mesos at a relatively slow rate um, here at FES2. So this character is not going any further than this, right? Like. I don't ever see myself playing this character beyond this. I'm going to have to find a new area to train when I get to level like 206, 207, when the mesos start to fall off a little bit. But by that point, I should maybe have the uh, the rest of the mesos I need to finish gearing up my legion mules. At least I hope. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, and I don't have to gear them all up now, obviously, but, you know, the quicker I do it, the, the more I benefit from it. And, um, the quicker I'm done with it, the quicker I can start putting these mesos into my Hayato. So, that's kind of my spiel about the, uh, this Kana farmer. It's not really anything special. She's super weak. She has one purpose, and once she's done with that, my primary Meso Farmer is going to be, like, my Hayato, probably. So, that's just kind of how it's going to go. But, for the time being, I am going to use as many of these Legion coupons as possible. Speaking of which, I totally have not been using one for the past few minutes while I've been talking. But... I'm going to keep using these, I'm going to keep collecting mesos, I'm going to get a couple bill, hopefully, and um, try to finish up these Legion characters, because uh, they are they are just a mess. Alright, <clears throat> so I just finished a, a second hour, I got a little more that time, because I had a little bit more of a uh, rotation going. So I managed to get 271 mil. I still have five more coupons to blow through. So I'm going to do another two and a half hours. And um, I guess I'll just I'll just stop there because I won't have any more 30 minute wealth coupons. I could buy more, but I don't really want to spend all of my time farming on a Kana. This is just to, like I said, just kind of get some mesos to work on the mules a little more. So, back to FES2. Also, I'm level 205, so I'm going to start losing mesos very soon here. Alright, and hour three begins now. Okay, never mind, the game crashed. I'm going to restart the game, and then hour three will begin. Okay, so third hour is completed. 251 again, I got a little lazy, but I got one more hour to do with this uh, wealth potion, and I'll be over a little over a billion mesos. And uh, then I'll then I'll wrap this up, and I'll call that a successful um, meso farming session. All right, good news. I'm done grinding for now. That was tiring. I've pretty much learned recently that my stamina limit for grinding in Maple Story is about four hours, and I just did that, so I have reached my limit. However, I did manage to get about 1.2 billion mesos, which is pretty good. Um, and I got a ton of levels. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this hour, this hour was actually really good. 268 mil. That's not bad. So I can probably squeeze. Oh, maybe, like, maybe another billion mesos out of this character at FES2. But, um, I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon, because that was exhausting and it kind of sucked. I'm really not a big fan of meso farming on, uh, meso farming specific characters. So, we're going to throw these mesos in storage, and 
that will be the end of it. However, I am also... Let me just get a few mesos here. I'm going to throw these familiars in here as well. I guess that stamp too and that potential scroll. Why not? I'm going to throw all this stuff in here so that uh, if I need to use it, I will have access to it. Now I'm going to put my little glowy into storage. And uh, I guess I'll get back on my... On my, um... On my Hayato. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Uh, seriously, four hours is... It's just actually my limit. It's been a few days and I have done quite a bit of Legion work in that time. As you can see, almost all of my pre-made characters, with the exception of six, I guess, um, are done. They're completely at 150, they're set up with 120 Star Force, and they are in a, in a state where I am okay with them staying for a while. Eventually, I want to get them to 200. I've probably mentioned that a million times, but I've done a lot of work on these characters, and I thought it would be interesting to go over my process, even though it is kind of a really specific process. It's, um, it's not something that applies to a lot of people, but it might be helpful. Some parts of it might actually be helpful. So I'm going to go over how I do this. So this is what most of my characters generally look like. I usually have something like this set up with a default top and bottom. And, um, what I end up doing, I mean, nine times out of 10, I'll look in my inventory and have some kind of other equips, but Let's just say for this character, I don't have any equips. I just have what I got and never took off, right? So my character's in a really weird spot. I have 56 Star Force, which is actually a lot for um, one of these 140 characters. But generally what I'll do is I have a whole collection of ores and stuff that I've collected over the past couple of years of playing Reboot. And um, I just went across all my characters, grabbed them, and put them all in storage. Now, I'm actually kind of low on advanced item crystals, unfortunately. I don't think I have many more of those. But basically what I do is I go to Arnett Mill, I get accessory crafting, and I just go down the line. If you look, my success rate for crafting one of these at level 1 or 2 is very low. So I get enough materials that I can actually just try and craft every single one of these. And every character I've done so far has managed to craft one before running out of materials, fatigue, or whatever. So that's the first step. Um, and I make sure that it's 10 stars at least. I usually don't craft an 8 star unless I have to because I'm out of attempts for these. But generally I'll do 10 star pendant and that will be my pendant slot. Um, then I go over into the little light bulb notification area and I scroll down to have you learned about potential. I've already done that quest on this character, but I grab that quest. It gives me this shoulder accessory. Um, that's a free five stars on an accessory slot. That's kind of hard to fill. So boom, two accessories already taken care of. Then I go back into the light bulb notification. There's a level 80 quest called um, use the transfer hammer. I do that quest, I get two free earrings, I usually use the skull earrings because I think they look cooler. Uh, and boom, done, did it. That's another accessory, free five stars. Then I go back into the light bulb notification and I click on the uh, Have You Learned About Pets quest, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, and get Tot's badge. This is just a tiny, tiny damage increase and it also just looks nicer to have everything filled out, right? So, um. Now, one thing that I did on this character as well, because I did not have this condensed power crystal when I logged into this character, um, normal Zakim is really easy to kill. You can do it almost completely ungeared as long as you have a weapon on any character who's 140. So, I will go to Zakim and see if I can get lucky and get an accessory drop. In the case of this Ho Young, I actually did manage to get the exact accessory drop that I wanted, and boom, 
all accessory slots are filled, save for the rings. Now, at this point, I have still quite a bit more Star Force that I need to uh, acquire. I'm only at 76, for example, and I need to get to 120. So the next step is to head into the cash shop, <clears throat> buy a Hyper Teleport Rock, and head over to any map that's around my level that consists of monsters that are easy to kill. This is the map I usually go to. It is 5.30 in the morning right now, so there aren't that many people playing. Um, and this map's usually not that full anyway. Ah, <clears throat> oh, man, Ho Young is so fun to play. Um, anyway, I will just kill these guys for a while. I, I, I did this on uh, my Hayato in the last episode. I'll kill these guys for a while and get all six pieces of Pencilier gear. Um, that's usually what I do, but sometimes if I get really unlucky, I will head over and take on the next step of the uh, journey early before I'm done getting every piece. But for now, I'm going to grab the six pieces of Pencilier gear and uh, get back to you with the, uh, the next step. I actually forgot to mention this because it's not like super important, but I will also have two times cards, some ginger ales or power elixirs. It doesn't really matter. Any any potions that you can easily get. Um, and I will. Put them on the character as well. I also have a whole selection of pet food that I need to have on the character as well for. Um, for feeding my pet, obviously, because I'm lazy and like to have looting automated. I just I just ranted up for like an hour <laughs> about some shit that I'm probably just going to cut out of the video. Um, we are level 150 and now it is time to fill out the last slot of my rings and probably get a. Well, probably. Maybe replace the earrings or something. I don't know. But basically, I'm going to go do Silent Crusade and get the Platinum Silent Crusade ring because you can Star Force that up to 15. And it's relatively easy to get. So this is how I finish up the, uh, the accessory grind. Finally finished the quest line. You only have to finish Chapter 2. Uh, in fact, I think, I think you don't actually have to finish the chapter, but it's it's the you get the ring like right before talking to the person who then finishes the chapter for you. So this is the end the the final thing that I do on these characters to get them geared up and um, at a point for my Legion where I am comfortable with them being for now. And then I just rinse and repeat. And that's kind of just what I've been doing for the past week or so, getting this Legion back up to a uh, to to its former glory. And they're just kidding. It was never that good. It was always kind of a crappy Legion, but you know, things are looking a lot better now. Where is what? Well, this is twenty one. There he is. So why is 6 and 16 down over here? Whatever, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's almost 3 million range. And uh, this character is now good to go. Now I have 5 more to do. And um, I'm going to do these 5 characters. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do Mercedes because I already have a Mercedes. And I could probably just replace this character with a different class. Who would benefit me more? I'm not actually sure what to do about that. So Mercedes I might not do. But I know for a fact I'll do Phantom, Shadower, Bowmaster, whatever. I'll go take care of these characters. And I will get back to you. Hey guys. So it has been a few days. I have done a few Monster Park runs. I've been keeping up with them so that I don't miss out on any days and I have done quite a bit of Legion work. Um, I think I still have two characters who need to be done. This Mercedes is probably going to be deleted and then remade 
Uh, and this arc is pretty much the last character that I need to do. Then I have to start on some newer characters like my Angelic Buster and um, a few other ones. I need like a Kinesis and a few others. But I was thinking about this whole solo progression thing and how I'm going to tackle it. So one of the first things that I need to take care of is a few daily bosses. So as far as boss accessories go, I need earrings, face, eye, pendant, rings, and I think belt as well. Yeah, belt. I need a belt from Pink Bean. So I have a lot to do. And originally, I was going to just wait until I got to level 200, but I've been doing so much Legion work. And I'm so preoccupied with that that I do not have time to really work on my Hayato at all. Um, aside from just the, the few dailies that I can do on this character. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unlock all the basic boss stuff. I'm going to unlock Arcarium. I'm going to unlock Pink Bean, you know, etc, etc. And... I'm also going to do the Von Leon prequests and start farming up Von Leon stuff because I was looking at set bonuses. And the set bonus that you get from Pencilier is actually pretty good for the IED, but they suffer greatly from low flame score. And the offset of a higher flame score that I could get from Von Leon set makes it a better, stronger set overall for trying to clear CRA, which is basically my first major goal, is trying to clear CRA. Uh, and we're not that far away from doing CRA. It's literally just a matter of taking care of getting all of this gear that I need, and getting the boss accessories and everything, and uh, cubing everything properly so that I can kill... Von Bon, Pierre, and Crimson Queen. Um, Vellum is going to have to come later. I am not super... I, I am not of the belief that I'm going to be able to kill Vellum until I at least get three doors done. So, whatever, that doesn't really matter. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start working on all getting all these bosses unlocked. Because like I said, my original plan was to do it at 200, but I just don't have the time. I'm going to be losing so many days of runs if I wait until I'm 200, because it's going to take me forever to get to 200 on this character. So let's get to work. Ooh, OK, solid start. I got the face accessory. So one thing that I'm going to need to take care of as well, because this is solo progression, every little stat point I get matters greatly. So I'm going to have to flame this and make it very strong in order to um, to work with it. So. All right, let's keep going. I'm just going to do easy Magnus for now. I don't know if easy Magnus can drop the shoulder accessory but i'm gonna kill him a few times and see if maybe he does because it would be amazing if he does actually drop it because i really i probably cannot kill normal magnus right now or anytime soon oh my god fantastic all right so turns out he does drop the shoulder and I got it on my very first kill. So um, that's awesome. Fantastic. OK, so that's two pieces of the boss accessory set taken care of. Um, what is going to be next? Oh, also, while I was doing that fight, I actually learned that you can do some pretty fun stuff with um, with Hitohiri Strike. You can you can knock Magnus out of some of his animations, which is pretty cool. And if you use Sudden Strike while he's trying to knock you back, you just you won't get hit. It's kind of awesome. I'm I'm really liking this class so far. Anyway, what is next? Um, Hilla has some drops that I want to get, so I'm going to have to start farming her. We need to get earrings from her and a pocket item 
if we can't get a pocket item from um from pink bean because pink bean would be the best in slot pocket item for a long time all right and that is hilla down i did not get the item i wanted but i got this Stone of Eternal Life, which could prove to be useful if I get unlucky with Pink Bean. So, I think that's all the bosses that I already have access to taking care of, but I don't very well know if... I don't know if I need to do pre-quests for the other ones. Um, I can do Horntail. I can probably do Horntail. Chaos Horntail, I don't think I can do, but I can do normal Horntail and just maybe hope for a... Uh, for a drop. Alrighty. I managed to kill Horntail and it was rough. Um, I got some Horntail necklaces, but they're not really good. More importantly, I actually got a Katana, which I really needed. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and Star Force this real quick. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and Star Force that real quick, and that'll help me with, um, with moving forward. But, I think I really need to be doing Chaos Horntail, because while Normal Horntail can drop the items I'm looking for, Chaos Horntail's drop rates are definitely better. So, it's probably just worth doing Chaos. Anyway, next up on my list is going to be Von Leon. I need to start working towards getting... The Von Leon set, uh, because the set bonus is better. First of all, it's better... It, okay, well, better is subjective, because Pinsleer does have the IED. But, it's, um... The flame scores that you can get on Von Leon equips are much better than what you can get on Pinsleer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the Von Leon prequest. Alright, so I was looking to get a drop rate familiar from the ones that I gathered on my, um, Kana. I only managed to get this one, which I believe to be 20% drop rate. So, it's not great, um, but it, it'll help. It'll be better than nothing. Okay, it's 30%. That's not, that's not horrible. Alright, key one. Second key. Third key. All right, I am here in the Hennessy's General Store because I think it's time to flame this condensed power crystal. I I don't know exactly what I'm looking for in terms of uh, flame stats, but I do know that I want to get uh, something better than like the practically zero flame score that this currently has. Ooh, 6% all stats, but no strength at all. I might regret re-rolling that 6% all stat. Um, 15 and 5 is not terrible. I think I can live with that. That's, like, roughly equivalent to, um, to, uh, 0 and 6, kind of. 15 and 5 is slightly higher. But I'm just I'm just going to roll with this for now. I'm not going to invest too many mesos into this because there's always a chance of me getting more of these from Zakum as I continue to kill him every day. And Zakum has a high chance to drop good flames on these accessories. So we'll just we'll settle with this for now. It'll be OK, but I do need to get some potential on it as well. And ideally, I would make it epic. So let me see if I have any epic potential scrolls I can buy. Yes, I do. Alrighty. Um, I don't have a ton of cubes, unfortunately, but if I can get 6% strength, that would be great. Well, I ended up getting every single possible potential. I got strength, or I got I got dex two or three times, I got luck two or three times, I got int two or three times. Never got 6% strength, so that's really cool. Um, this is a piece of crap item, but I'm being restricted pretty heavily right now by my, um, 
by my lack of occult cubes, so. And to be honest, I'm not- oh, I have- I have some more here. Maybe this will push me over the, uh, the threshold. See, there's luck again. There we go, 6% strength. Very nice. So that's acceptable for now. I'm gonna hold on to that for a while. Uh, next I need to get some stuff going on this shoulder. Alright, I'm just gonna use a normal potential scroll on this one. And just go for 3% strength for now. Anything's an improvement. Again, rolling everything except strength. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. We'll 10 star this, and I will get back to finishing the Von Leon prequests. I just wanted to take care of this real quick because my damage is pretty garbage right now. So I kind of want to uh, do whatever I can to improve it. All right, it's time for the first Von Leon run. We're gonna do easy uh, and hope to get some coins. I don't think I can kill anything except easy right now. It's a slow process. We're gonna get stronger. Let's do this. All right, that was actually a really fast kill. I could probably do normal if I wanted to. Yeah, 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 shut up. All right, so I only got two coins, which is not enough for anything, but I do need to do the rest of these pre-quests regardless because I need Noble Iphia's ring. On to the next part of the pre-quest. Alrighty, I finished the daily quest- I, I finished- I finished the weekly quests- Oh my god, what the hell, just words. I finished the pre-quests, so I've unlocked the daily quests now. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing these. I got an Iphia's ring. I'm going to go ahead and try to grab as many of these as possible. Uh, as many accessories as possible so I can get the noble Iphia's ring. And then I am also going to try and get as many coins as possible so I can get the full Von Leon set. So that is kind of the current goal. Uh, along with getting the rest of the boss accessories that I need. Alright, day one of Von Leon dailies. Let's see if we get anything good. Melting cheese, power elixirs, melting cheese, elixir. I got an Iphia's ring, that's not bad. Sunrise dew, sunrise dew, and sunrise dew. Alright, so that's about par for the course for these, um, these boxes. Getting one single <laughs> accessory is actually not bad. So... I'm going to take these two coins that I have. I'm going to figure out which of my gear is my weakest. Um, I think it's going to be the gloves. Or the cape. Maybe the cape, actually. It's between cape or gloves. And since my gloves are 12 stars, for whatever reason, I'm going to go ahead and get a cape, just to start out. So, we'll get the first piece of the Von Leon set. And that'll put us in the right direction for... Uh, for eventually clearing harder bosses, but I do need to reflame this. 4% all stats and 6 attack. Um, that's not that good? I think... Well, I think attack counts as like 5 flame score, so... That's 30 flame score from that, plus 8 times 4. So that's about 54 flame score, which is not great. Um, I still have four more. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and reflame it. Oh my god, if that was strength. See, this is what I'm talking about. The flames that you can get on the Von Leon gear is insane. 71 stat that's that's crazy okay let me go so there's a couple things i actually want to take care of now that i am back in the uh recording booth i want to get a couple of these 
because I really need to um, start gathering herbs and stuff. I'm gonna buy ten more of these, and this is gonna start. We're gonna start draining money like crazy. Sixty-two strength. Um. It really sucks that there's no percent stat on this, but 62 is pretty decent, so I'm going to roll with it. I don't know if I can actually make this a better cape than the cape that I have right now, and I think most of that comes from the fact that I have the um, the set effect from Pencilier right now. So we'll get this to 10 stars and we'll see if it ends up being better than my Pencilier cape. No, it does not. But uh, I could either, I have a couple options here, I could either reflame this some more and try to get something better. 62 is okay. That's like probably bare minimum acceptable levels of um, flame score for me on this uh, on this cape to actually make it reasonable. But I mean, just look, just look at the difference between Pencilier and the, the, uh, the Von Leon cape right now. My Von Leon cape has 90 strength. My Pencilier cape has 32. So, it's kind of insane, the uh, the difference between the two. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot more I can do today. Um, I can't really flame anything else that I have currently. And I can't get any more of the... Um, of the... Um, Von Leon pieces yet, because that is something that I can only do so much of per day. So I think I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just go work on some other pre quests and uh, get those out of the way. Because I still need to unlock normal Magnus. I need to unlock. Well, I need to unlock Omni Clean at some point. I need to unlock Papulatus. I need to do uh, regular RA so I can eventually unlock CRA. I need to unlock Arcarium, and uh, that is about it for now. So that's what I'm going to go work on. I'll see you guys in a moment. All right. I have finished Rutabis. I have finished Papulatus, and I'm currently working on unlocking Arcarium. So... I will get back to you guys when I'm done with this because I don't think I don't think I have an iframe right now. I don't know if I'll get an iframe in fifth job or what, but I don't think I have any easy way to kill Arcarium, normal Arcarium quite yet. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about that. I guess I could just kill easy and... Uh get a mechanator pendant because that does count towards the boss set i might just do that i might just do that all right i finished chapter two of silent crusade i'm gonna do the rest of silent crusade later ish but i've i mean i've done silent crusade so many times in the past week i've legitimately done this quest line probably 20 25 times i'm getting real sick of it so i want to uh go ahead and just knock out arcarium Get that taken care of. Get this ring up to 10 stars and equip it. Uh, it can't be potential, so no worries about that. But that will be another solid 3-4k damage increase. Putting us up to 2300 strength, which is not great. But we're, we're, we're making forward progress, you know. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, I get enough coins to grab another piece of the Von Leon set. And that might be enough to get me... Well, actually, no, I'm going to need a lot. I'm going to need at least four pieces. Probably even five before I start seeing a uh, a damage increase. But I'm also remembering now how easy it is to blow through mesos in reboot. My God, it's absurd. I have used so many on this character, so I'm probably gonna have to hop on the Kana again and uh, and keep farming. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Arcarium real quick. Okay, well I died out. Because I just, I don't think I have an iframe, and so I have absolutely no way to avoid the screen cracks, and my damage isn't that high, so I just couldn't kill him. Arcarium's boss design is uh, actually garbage, by the way, and it's usually not a problem, because I, in Baron, you could just buy gear and get strong really fast. But 
Yeah, this set, ugh, shit, fucking, I fucking hate that boss. It has such awful design. I guess the next order of business is going to be clearing out Temple of Time so that I can do Pink Bean. So, let's get to work on that. Alrighty, that is Temple of Time completed. And I can go ahead and uh, knock out this Pink Bean prequest part. I guess I need to talk to the record keeper? I have all the materials that I need, but... I just need to actually, uh, do the quest. There we go. Alrighty, and now we can do pink bean, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, pop a quick pink bean run real quick. And hopefully I can kill it. I won't be surprised if I can't. <laughs> I'm hitting triple digit damage on these guys. There's no way I can do this. I forget how hard it is to start out and reboot, dude. God damn. All right, that is Hilla down, but it doesn't look like I got anything from her either. Go figure. It might be worth buying a two times drop coupon, to be honest with you, because, um,. I have tons of Legion coins that I'm not really doing anything with. Um, what boss is next? I have... I have normal Rutabis, I have Von Leon, Horntail, Ar I don't think I can kill Arcarium. I can't kill Pink Bean yet, either. Um, but I could probably do easy run Maru, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a... Two times drop coupon. Because I am thinking that will help me a lot more than what I currently have, which is just 20% drop familiar. So, 80% drop rate, let's hope that's, uh, sufficient. And on to Von Leon, to hopefully get more than two coins. That being said, it doesn't actually matter if I get more than two coins. Um, as long as I get two minimum, that's great, because that'll allow me to get another piece, so. Alrighty, we got three coins that time. Um... I don't know what I'm going to buy yet. Because uh, if I get more coins, then I can probably end up buying something more expensive. Let's, uh... I'm going to worry about that later. For now, I'm going to keep uh, keep blowing through these bosses. And we'll go do, um... We'll go do normal Horntail. Alrighty, and that is Horntail dead, and I don't think I got anything useful. Of course not. Why would I? Alrighty. Finished the dailies. Let's see if we get anything good. Power elixirs, some vat power elixirs. A coin? That's not bad. Is that another coin? Sweet. And that's all we got today. We have five coins. That's not enough for a weapon, but it is enough for an overall. Um, or I could get gloves and shoes. <clears throat> or I could save up for a weapon. The weapons are down here. Um, I'm... I'm thinking it's probably best choice is gonna be grabbing the gloves and the boots. Then I can get the suit and the helmet at some point, and then save up for the weapon last. For 5%, man, these, these are terrible flames, so. 42 and 3. That is about as good as my cape, in terms of flame score, it's, almost as good. Maybe it's about equal, so I'll hold on to that for now. Let's see if we can get something good here. 24 and 5, no. 24 and 5 all stat, however, that's a different story. I think I could rock that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Star Force these, put them on, and see what kind of gains I get. If I even get any gains from this. I'm still not 100% sure that this is going to surpass my Pencilier set, yet. I know it will eventually, it's just a matter of like, when, dude? Look, these are all still damage decreases. 
Oh, you know what these things are lacking, though, now that I think about it? They don't have any potential at all. So maybe I should throw some potential on there. Again, though, I'm limited by my cubes. Um, all right, let's go. I'm just going to equip these real quick. See if I get any kind of damage increase. No, they're, they're still all Pencilier is still full damage increase for me at this point. So what I need to do is I need to get potential on these three equips. Um, probably throw them up to 11 stars if possible, but. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I actually got a better Stone of Eternal Life and a better Horntail Necklace. So that's 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 not horrible. I did not get a single accessory today, but I'm not actually expecting any accessories until I start taking on hard Von Leon. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting to that point. So let's go ahead. I'm going to throw regular, just normal, rare potentials on these for now. Um, and I can worry about epic and stuff later on. So, yeah, not nothing good, but I think, are those all three lion? That's all three lines. That's not terrible. Let's go ahead and see. Well, you know what? Since I have all these Master Craftsman cubes that I'm not using on anything, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them on here. Fantastic, and that's exactly why. Save myself the 300, um, oh, 3% strength. That's a damage increase now. That's actually a damage increase now. So I'm going to throw those on. And that makes the cape a damage increase as well. But the boots are still struggling. And I think part of the reason is the fact that the Pencilier boots have a, an okay strength flame. And they also give one attack. So let's see if we can uh, do something good with these, with these boots. I'm happy to settle for 6% strength right now. Uh, eventually, I want to transition all of these into 9% strength. But I'm not going to go out of my way to get 9% strength quite yet. Alright, 6%, and that is a damage increase. But now these are damage <laughs> increases as well. Very minor ones, but, you know, damage increases nonetheless. I am... It is... It's rough out here. So that gives dex... Eh. I'm not really super concerned about upgrading this horntail necklace anyway. You know what I could do that would probably push these over the edge is 11 star them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alrighty. There you go. Now try to outdo me, Pencilier. All right. So our Von Leon set is coming along. We get one more piece and we'll have an extra 10% boss monster damage. I'm assuming I'll get that tomorrow. Um, this cape doesn't have anything on it. I need to, I need to cube it. I totally overlooked it. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is actually really good RNG to have gotten that tier up there. Let's see if I can maybe roll the 6% strength. Come on. Still got 10 more cubes. No, not luck. Come on, dude. Twenty-four strength is I don't think twenty-four strength is equal to six percent strength. Oh hey, there we go. Nice. Alright, so these are all damage decreases now. Two of these are epic with six percent, which is a solid start. When I get access to more occult cubes after I do weekly bosses and stuff on my other characters again, I will try to push these up to nine percent. And um yeah, we'll just keep working on getting the uh, the Von Leon set. So that's at 2.7 stat, 2.7k stat. That's not bad. And I think that's it for, like, daily stuff. I need to go do um, Root Abyss, though. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go take care of that. Also do normal Papulatus, or easy Papulatus. I'm not doing normal yet. All right, it's time for... Monster Park, and this is gonna probably maybe be a little bit of a struggle. Actually, you know what? Now that I have Falcon's Honor, actually, this might not be too bad. Because previously, my best way of killing monsters was just using uh, San Renzon. But now I actually have some stronger skills, so this might actually not be too bad. Mm. 
It is a new day. It is a new week. I don't have a hyper teleport rock. I really did want to do a better job of keeping track of the days uh, on this character, but I honestly, you know what? I'm going to check. I'm going to check exactly when I started this character. It was the 15th and today's the 23rd. So, but the problem is, yeah, okay, basically, I don't know how long I've been playing this character at this point, but today is a new day. And as you are well aware, we are severely lacking in terms of gear. So I'm going to do the thing that I always do around my daily bosses and uh, see if I get anything good. I also need to claim my daily coins because I am just about at the cap. All right, we actually got a pretty decent drop today. I got a face and an eye accessory. The face is not really any good, and the eye accessory's flame kind of sucks. That's just kind of the way it goes, but it's good because we actually have an eye accessory to work with now. And on to Magnus. All right, that is another shoulder accessory, but that's not something I need. So Magnus was unfortunately kind of a bust today. Next on the list is going to be Hilla. Uh, I believe we're still looking for earrings. Yeah, we're still looking for earrings from Hilla and, you know, possibly a decent pocket item if if necessary. And that is a dead Hilla. Unfortunately, that is not a pair of earrings for us. Now, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but um, Horntail can actually drop the uh, another pair of earrings that will fall into the uh, the category of items that we're looking for, i.e. the boss set. He drops a pair of earrings that are part of the boss set. I could have just said that, but uh, you know, maybe maybe we'll get maybe we'll get lucky. Um, I think I, I still need quite a few Von Leon coins, so hoping for some good RNG. If I could get five coins, that would actually be incredible, but you know, I'm not I'm not counting on that. I'm just practicing, you know. This is a skill that's gonna come in handy. Alright, we got one, two. We got four coins, so actually, if I get one coin from the daily quests today, I can um, buy a weapon, which is not super high priority because I still need two other items besides the weapon, but you know, it would it would be nice to get my hands on one of those. So let's go ahead and do horn tail now. I'm going to do normal, I believe. All right, that is horn tail defeated, and we actually got the earrings. Awesome. Okay, good, 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 good. I need to keep that. That's epic potential. All right, so that's another piece towards the boss accessory set. Fantastic. Making progress slowly, but, you know, progress is progress. Um, What other bosses are worth my time right now? I need to do Rutabus. I can't kill Arcarium. I might be able to kill Normal Pink Bean, which would be good because Normal Pink Bean can drop a belt. So let's go see if I'm capable of killing Normal Pink Bean quite yet. Um, my IED is absolute garbage. Um, I think actually part of that is the fact that I don't have the IED. Yeah, I don't have the IED buffs on this character. I have a lot of grinding buffs um i probably i don't know i don't know what i need um yeah you know what i'm gonna worry about that later for now let's just try to kill pink bean Oh my god, that was a rough fight. Jesus. That took forever. And I 
I got like some experience to show for it. So yeah, that's um that was that was difficult. Anyway. I am going to I think I'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading stuff right now. I'm gonna grab the charm from these. And then I'm gonna try and clear out my inventory a little bit. I need to get a couple flames for this eye accessory. I can actually, I can get them from this shop here. I'll go ahead and buy five. I already have some left over, oh, whatever. All right, so we're looking for like 60, 70 flame score. Strength nine and 6% all stats. That is, that's not even 60. That's not even 60 flame score. It seems good on paper, but it's it's really not. Wow, uh, just some pretty bad luck there. The best I got was the um, the six nine, and that was like that was like a total of 54 flame score. Which is, that's, that's too much of a settle for, for what I'm trying to accomplish. 12 and 4, again, that's just not good. Thirty-three and five. That is about fifty. That's fifty-three or so. Flame score. Um, I'm kind of getting to the point now where I'm thinking maybe it is time to settle because I'm not getting good rolls on this. So I also need to throw potential scroll on it as well. What I really need to do is I need to do weekly bosses on my Mihail because I am kind of low on mesos and other various resources, namely cubes. So I need to go do that, but I want to I want to finish up the dailies and stuff on this character first. All right, 3% strength, that's fine, that is acceptable. This will be a solid enough damage increase, but I don't know, my damage is is really struggling. But I guess maybe I'm setting my sights a little too high. Being able to solo uh, Pink Bean at level 180, maybe that's asking a little too much. Oh, you know what? I actually have a couple of these that I can throw on here. All right, no tear up from those two. That's fine. 3% strength, we'll take it. Um, but I do need to flame that. So let's see if I can get something good. 78 int. Oh my god. Um, another good int roll. Still nothing good for the, the strength users out here. Come on. Twenty-one strength. No, 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 no. Forty-eight strength and seventy-two dex. So because that dex is so high, I think I'm actually gonna keep this. Um, secondary stat only accounts for a very, very tiny amount of flame score. I don't know the exact number or like the average that people quote, because I know, um, generally speaking, one attack is about four flame score. 1% stat is about eight flame score. Um, of course, these values change based on your progression throughout through the game where you are in the in the progression of the game. So it's hard to really tell exactly, but. That's another solid damage increase, but more importantly, that puts us at five sets. Uh, oh, if we could just get, we need a belt and a ring, and then I will have an extra 10% IED, which will be very helpful. Um, why am I still, I need to get a Von Leon suit. I think that'll be my, my next purchase. Only on suit, and I need the helmet as well. Alright, so this royal black metal shoulder is actually completely useless to me, unfortunately. Um, I got a wealth acquisition potion at some point. That's kind of cool. 
I got I have a lot of just junk in this scroll bag. Okay, and now I am going to I'm gonna go over to Lionheart Castle and purchase myself. Another piece of the gear. I'm also going to go ahead and do the dailies while I'm here. I'm going to get... Let's see. I guess I'll just buy the suit now? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Then I'll have one coin left. And then tomorrow, I'll more than likely be able to get the helmet. And then in a couple days, I'll be able to get the uh, the weapon. So... What do we get? 16 and 4. That's almost 50 flame score, so that's not really that good, but regardless, I'm going to go ahead and Star Force this up and kind of get it ready because I am going to have to reflame it as much as I don't want to. You know, the whole point of this is kind of min maxing the, uh, the gear, making it about as good as it possibly can get. And that includes going for 11 stars instead of 10. So that's already a big damage increase. And that puts me at four slot, four set items, four, four. It puts me at a four set, which gives me another 10% boss damage, which is pretty nice. Um, but I do need to, I do need to flame this. So I think I have, I have one flame on me right now, but I'm going to need to go buy more. So let's just go get that taken care of. I am totally willing to use all of my money on this because I can get a lot more very soon. Nothing good, wow. Not getting good RNG with these flames today. Oh my god, that's such a good roll for Dex. That is an insanely good, that is an insanely good flame if I was using Dex. Uh, 35 is not good. 41 is really not that good either. I might have to come back later and try this again because that's a lot of flames that I have used today. 51? Uh, it's not great. It's really not great, but I think I'll I think I'll settle. I might uh, do a once over on that in the future. But I need to cube this as well. 3% strength, sure. Great. Got it. Easy. And that's 3.4k stat. All right, we're making progress. It's not amazing progress, but you know, we got two more pieces of the boss accessory set today, which is great. Um, and I still have the potential to get maybe a, a um, an Ifia accessory or two. So let me go do the rest of my daily bosses. I'll do the daily quests in Lionheart Castle, and I will get back to you guys. Another day, another set of Rose Garden boxes. Let's see if we get anything good. No, no. All right, we got an accessory. Solid, that's a good start. Another accessory, that's two accessories, dude, nice. Two accessories in one day, I'll take that. And that is all we got for today. So that's pretty solid though, two accessories in one day. I'm happy about that. Um, now I'm gonna go do my daily bosses. The ones that I didn't already clear and uh, get back to you. Okay, I have done my daily bosses and I think it's probably time to grind and try to reach 200. Um, I feel super weak at this point. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, it has been a long time since I've played a character pre 200 in reboot. So it could just be me forgetting how the game works. Anyway, I do want to get to 200. I want to start uh, doing dailies so I can level up my symbols and everything. But before I do that, I'm going to hop on my Mihail and do weekly bosses. I currently have uh, like no mesos. 
Um, don't ask why. Because you're not going to get an answer. But I have no mesos and things are pretty rough for my Hayato right now anyway. However, um, if I get all my links back on here, my Hayato's actually not in a terrible spot. I don't know why Hayato's crit rate is so insanely low, but I can't wait until we get link skill presets, dude. Seriously. Oh, I got rid of the crit rate on my Legion. That's part of the problem. Um, yeah, my Hayato might not have good crit rate for a little while. I don't I don't know I don't know exactly what to do about that. I might um I might just invest into hyperstats. Anyway, looking at the inner abilities for Hayato. They're actually pretty straightforward. We really just want boss damage, attack, and whatever. So um today is 50% off. Honor resets. I have been saving up my honor EXP for this moment, so let's go ahead and use them. We're looking for 20% boss damage. That would be a great step towards actually clearing some of the harder bosses, so let's hope we get something good. Oh my god, that took forever to get to Legendary. Like, an insane amount of rolls. More than I've ever done on any individual character. So, because of how long it took to get to Legendary, I'm actually out of... Um... Already out of Honor EXP. However, the day is not over yet. We still have quite a bit of time until that happens. So, I am going to do my normal thing. Do my daily bosses all that stuff, and, uh... Hopefully, I'll have a- hopefully I'll have enough to equip this, and, um... Once I start grinding, I plan on going for two- or 200 today? 200 plus, um... All of the Vanishing Journey quests, so... Hopefully, by then, I'll have at least 100k or so to work with. We'll find out. But, yeah, that's the- that's the plan. Um, I should be able to get another piece of the Von Leon set today as well, which will be nice. However, I don't have any Mesos, so I really can't, like... I can't Star Force it, or I could probably Star Force it, but I'm- I'm not gonna be able to, um... Oh, I'm not in the right stance. I'm not gonna be able to flame it or potential it, probably. I am not planning on doing Pink Bean today, because, uh, yesterday, when I did it, it was fucking terrible. It took, like, ten minutes, and it was miserable the whole time, so... I'm just not gonna- I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna put myself through that when I can just... Go grind, level up, and do more damage to Pink Bean in, like, 25 levels or something. Got a better pocket item. That's not terrible. I mean, it is- the problem with this Stone of Eternal Life... And, in my opinion, something that they should really fix is it's a, it's a level zero item. It literally has no place in the meta at all. So I don't know why it exists, because the flames that you can get on it are so, so bad. Actually, can I do normal Papulatus? Um, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, the flames you can get on that, it, it's just, it's so awful. It's kind of sad, really. I wish they would fix that. Okay, there's no way I can do this. I keep continuing to overestimate what this character is capable of, and it's annoying me. I really need to- I need to just level it up more, honestly. Uh, I mean, this character is still struggling to take down normal Crimson Queen. Like... This is the point that I'm at with this character right now. I, I need to I need to make a lot of forward progress. 
Fedrick, my guy. Appreciate you showing up, man. Do I need this profession coupon? Eh, whatever. Oh, triple soul on this run. That's crazy, actually. <clears throat> Alright, I'm not gonna do Vellum today, because I'm just super weak. I don't want to do another weak, normal Vellum fight right now. We are gonna go over to Von Leon and hopefully get at least two coins. That is the goal, because then I can get the helmet, and then... At some point, I can work towards getting the weapon. It's- this is- okay, so... Originally, I had planned on going for the Necro set, because I thought that might be the stronger option, but... I was thinking, and the reason I didn't, is because I thought to myself, well, it's gonna take forever to find all the pieces. But... In reality, it's taking forever to find... the coins, to get all the pieces of the Von Leon set. So... Really, I could have probably gone either way. Um, I think the Von Leon set probably has a, an advantage. Uh, slightly? Maybe just because it's a higher level and... I think it has a slightly better set effect, I don't know. But... We got three coins, we'll head over to Lionheart Castle and claim the helmet. I would love to get a good roll off of the bat. That would be incredible. What did we actually get, though? Oh! 36 and 4! That's not bad! Yeah, I can work with that. In fact, that's probably a little better than everything else that I've been getting. So, hey, good news. We actually did manage to get a good roll on the, uh, on the helmet. Now, I just need to get 3% strength and this will be a uh, relatively decent damage increase and put us one piece away from the full set oh a tear up and a perfect flame a perfect potential on the tear up this helmet has been quite lucky let's go ahead and star force it this is like a 10 percent damage increase you know, we take those. Alright, well, it was lucky. Now it's just one of the many items that continues to fail over and over again at 10 stars. Or 9 stars, specifically. Let me sell my power crystals. Alright, you stupid hat. Alrighty, so that is a, about a 10% damage increase. It's also about a 100% um, fashion decrease as well, so we're just going to have to deal with that for a while. Um, next on the list is going to be Horntail. I still need a freaking ring from this guy. It's been uh, four or five days. And no ring, so... Maybe maybe today will be the day. And today is not the day. Alright. Time to do... Lionheart Castle dailies. Though, in all honesty, I really probably don't need to be doing these anymore. Fifteen times to get the medal. But now that I have almost every piece, I think I'm going to move on to hard Von Leon moving forward. So I might not even bother doing this anymore because it really doesn't benefit me very much. Um, as long as I can kill hard Von Leon, I'm likely to get the weapon a lot quicker than I am from easy because it'll just drop. So... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sell this last crystal. And I need to buy a pendant slot. Alright. Now, I have quite a few reward points that I can use on totems. So, I'm probably gonna use, use those. I'm probably gonna go to Twilight Parion or wherever. But I don't know exactly where I want to go yet, but somewhere. 
and just grind. Let's get to it. FES2 is extremely optimistic. That is an extremely optimistic goal right now. I probably won't need more than four hours um, to get to 200. I doubt it'll even take four hours. But until I feel strong enough, until I'm like level 190 basically, I'm gonna head to these guys. I am one Star Force away from having the right Star Force amount. All right, I'm gonna Star Force this pendant. It'll be a cheap source of uh, of Star Force. Alrighty, that is all she wrote for the Mesos. So, Wild Totem, two times coupon. Let's get to work. Oh, and there's an MVP. Channel 1645, so in three minutes. Perfect timing. After way too much time and effort, I am finally level 200 on the Hayato. I am so happy that I finally unlocked fifth job because Hayato changes so much when fifth job comes around. And this is probably one of the longest grinds to fifth job that I've ever endured. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, my job advancement. I did some daily bosses today. I didn't get anything noteworthy. And uh, I tried to do hard Von Leon, but I died out because my damage just isn't there yet. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do the fifth job advancement. And that is fifth job on the Hayato. We have 35 levels to go, hundreds of days of dailies, and, um, Probably somewhere in the range of 17, 16, 17,000 stat left to acquire. But this is a good start. We're going to go ahead and I I highly doubt I'm going to get a, uh, a proper node because I'm pretty sure they haven't fixed the uh, the node problem. Yeah, see, Raifu, it's... We're looking for Rai because that is the final one. But we only want Rai. We don't want Fu. We don't want normal Sanrenzan. So, unfortunately, and, and considering all of the skills that Hayato has, this might actually be by far my most difficult character to get nodes on. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. I was so confused for a second. I was like, since when do they start giving rope lift for free? I got it on one of my nodes. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, okay, so now we have an iframe, 90 second iframe, not incredible. We have EI Jutsu Phantom Blade, Bato Jutsu Ultimate Will, and Instant Slice. I have no idea what Instant Slice is, but we have an iframe, which should help with a few things. Um, and I'm just going to probably disassemble these because I don't need rope lift right now. I probably won't ever need rope lift on this character because I don't think I'm going to be getting to black mage. Who knows? Maybe in like five years, all of my boss mules will be soloing black mage. You know how power creep is with this game. Anyway, the next step is going to be doing the vanishing journey pre quests and beginning to work on symbols. Symbols are going to be my best source of damage increase along with, um, along with skill nodes and stuff like that, boost nodes. So this is going to be pretty much top priority for now. Um, oh my God, there's no way. I'm gonna, I don't wanna watch that. I need to use EI Jutsu Phantom Blade. That is pretty much going to be almost my primary mobbing skill at this point, which is interesting. Hayato seriously changes a lot in fifth job. Pre-fifth job, you don't even have to worry about sword energy at all, like ever. Now, all of a sudden, I'm fifth job and I'm going to have to start tracking my sword energy constantly. So 
that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, 5% final damage? What the hell? That seems kind of busted. Um, okay, but the other thing that I was thinking, I don't think I need Rye Blade Flash. Wait a minute. Hold on. Are you telling me that San Rinzon and Blade Flash are separate skills for boost nodes? No way. That's absurd. Oh my god. I'm probably just going to focus on getting boost nodes for Sudden Strike, um, a Falcon's Honor, Hitokiri Strike. I'm probably just going to focus on on those, because I use those way more than I use that other skill. Ooh. That's cool. But yeah, this uses 100 or 200 energy every single time. So it's... um. And this has a 10 second cooldown. What is this skill, though? Oh, okay. Um, this is a summon, I'm pretty sure. I am going to put this on insert, I guess. And then Zanko is... It's an iframe, it's a full map attack, and it also is a way to recover a lot of sword energy very quickly. Falcon's Honor actually recovers 100 energy per use as well. So Falcon's Honor is going to be probably where I get most of my sword energy from when mobbing. And uh, Battle Jutsu Zanko is just going to be supplementary. Um, it's probably going to take a little while to get used to this. Oh, also, I didn't mention it, but I did the um, the Fox Point quest line. Fox Tree, I forget what it's called. Fox Valley, I think. I did that quest line. Uh, this metal was a slight damage increase, so whatever, but... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on the Vanishing Journey stuff. Um, I realize my katana doesn't have a potential on it. I was kind of hoping to have a weapon by now, but I, I need six uh, medals. I think tomorrow, once reset happens, I can probably kill Hard Von Leon now with my new skills and everything. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get to work. Alrighty, we are done with Vanishing Journey. Now I have to do dailies and stuff. Um, this character obviously still really weak, struggling to uh, to kill things here. But we are on a path to get stronger. It's gonna be a long one, but I do have a couple cubes here. I don't really think I can get anything out of these. But I do have a few flames, and I was kind of looking through and trying to find my weakest flame that I have. Everything, honestly, is kind of okay. It's, um, well, these earrings are pretty weak. 48 is a, is a pretty low flame score, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see if we can get something better on this. Oh, if that was weapon attack. Oh! Yeah, baby! That's the first, like, good flame I've rolled in a long time. 55 and 4? That's fantastic. That's 100 extra strength right there. Um, this is also kind of weak. This is like 53 flame score, more or less. So let's see if I can get maybe a better roll on this. 45 strength? No. No, okay. Nothing great there, but I could buy a few more flames. I'm not totally out of money right now. All this, this 83 mil that I have is honestly just from farming to 200. It's kind of crazy how much money you make. 18 and 5, I think I can live with that. Um, 18 and 5 is about 58 to 60 flame score, so that is acceptable. Um... And thinking about ways to get stronger, what I really need to do is I need to get the last piece of the um, the Royal Von Leon set, because that'll be another 20 weapon attack, some extra stat, and 10% more boss damage. Uh, and then I can scroll it and everything, or um, not scroll, I keep saying scroll, I'm so used to regular servers. But I can, I can flame it, I can cube it. 
and I can make it pretty solid, but um, can I open this yet? No, I cannot. I don't really think there's a whole lot else for me to do right now. So what I'll probably do is just go do dailies in Vanishing Journey and grind because there's really not anything else to do. Oh, but you know what I can probably, I can probably try to roll for a useful boost node because I have a few nodes that I'm never going to use. 90 node shards. I think that'll get me one boost node attempt. Are there any skills that I need? Um, no, these are all later, later game stuff that I want to focus on. Shinsoku, Falcon's Honor, Hitokiri Strike, Sudden Strike. These are all the skills that I really want to focus on. They're the only ones I really use. I guess Summer's Rain and Hitokiri 100 Strike would be good too. Uh, but what would be... Okay, something Falcon's Honor would probably be most important. Falcon's Honor and Sudden Strike. We can work with that. It's not great. It's only 2% final damage, but, you know, it's it's better than nothing. Those are, two, those are probably the two skills that I use the most. So, 2% two, two extra final damage? Fine, we'll take it. Now, let's get these dailies out of the way. Doesn't really matter what I get, because I'm gonna have to do a, a I'm gonna have to do a lot of quests to finish these. Because this is the only area in Vanishing Journey or in um Arcane River that I have unlocked right now, so. I'm just kinda stuck with this. Big moment for the Hayato. The first day of dailies is completed. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do this probably a few hundred more times, but you know what? That's just how the game goes. Good experience, too. Um, and that's not quite enough to level up the symbol, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and suck it up because I really don't want to do three air to spectrums when I'm this week. So off to the grind. Hopefully you get to 205, unlock um, reverse city. That would be very nice, but we'll see what I am uh, capable of today. Okay, finished an hour at FES 2. I figured I would go here because this is probably the only place I can realistically one-shot right now. Uh, and I ended up getting... Just give me a second to kill this E-mob. Okay, I ended up getting 61 million mesos and 7.2 billion experience. For reference, I need 3.4 billion to get from 204 to 205. So this is actually really, really good experience. Um, I'm kind of surprised. And I guess I'll just keep grinding until I am at 205 and then we'll go do Reverse City. And that is level 205, in under 30 minutes, actually. So, off to do Reverse City, and I will probably start grinding in Vanishing Journey or Reverse City. I'm not actually sure if I'm strong enough for either of those right now. Um, but I want to start grinding in Arcane River because I need to start collecting Node Stones. I'm going to need so many of these, it's not even funny. So, let's go to Reverse City. 
that took forever. I am so weak. I'm really not sure what's going on, if it's this character or if it's me or what. Apparently I got an arcane symbol drop, which is cool. Uh, and I'm never going to use that, so whatever. Also, I got two shaman earring drops when I was at FES2, which is kind of crazy because those are really rare. I don't have 20 slots. Alright, and that should get us to level 2. Oh, it'll get us to level 3 as well. That's fantastic. Alright. So, I'm still really low on node stones. I'm gonna go ahead and just open the two that I have. I really need a, um, a Shinsoku. Skill node, boost node. But I don't know if I have enough node shards to make one. I might. Now I'm using this. Yeah, I have enough to make one Shinsoku... ...node. Alright, let's hope we get something not terrible. Fu San Renzon and Fu Blade Flash. This node would have been so good if those were Rai, but they just have to be Fu, huh? Okay, I don't I don't understand how these work, but it's a Shinsoku node, and um, it'll get me slightly more damage on Shinsoku. So I am pretty much done for now, for today. Um, tomorrow, I should be able to kill a hard Von Leon and get a weapon. I think there's a pretty decent chance of him dropping a weapon. Um, then I can star force it, cube it, flame it, all the, all the good stuff. I am almost at 5k strength, and yeah, I don't know, this character is just feeling really weak and I can't tell if that's just because it's a new character or or what's going on but I'm gonna keep powering through and we will uh, we'll reach the goal eventually it is not a new day quite yet but I was just thinking about this character and trying to figure out how I can make it less shitty and uh, mostly it's a matter of just waiting it's a matter of time gotta wait until I get access to all the stuff that I need. But I didn't do Pink Bean earlier today because I was weak. Now I'm a little stronger, so I'm gonna go take on Pink Bean. I got my breakfast smoothie. I am ready to game. Okay, Pink Bean was pretty worthless. Didn't drop anything of use. But I'm not totally out of ideas yet. I need to start filling out these ring slots. And one easy way to do that is to get Treasure Hunter John's ring. This is a potable 15 star ring that I am absolutely going to grab and probably epic scroll. I would get the belt, but it's not part of the boss set and I kind of want the boss set. Did it took a little bit of time, but we got the coin that we needed. Boom, let me grab this and there we go. Now, I'm gonna see, I don't know if I have any Epic Potential Scrolls available to me right now. Um, I've kind of just been buying them up as much as possible. It looks like there was a restock recently. So that's good. The next one's on the second. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and E-Pot this, get 6% strength, and it will be good. Thank you. That's already a huge damage increase over the Iphia's Ring. Gotta keep in mind, we are still working towards the Noble Iphia's Ring, which is the superior version of the regular Iphia's Ring, so... But of course, it's gonna require me to start killing Hard Von Leon, which I am capable of doing at this point, I'm pretty sure. It's just, um... I think I needed fifth job skills and maybe a few more levels and stuff like that. The, um, the damage that I'll get from the symbols is going to make a big difference. So that's that's solid. That brings me up to 4.9k. Um, what I also probably need to do is 
make a preset that has a ton of arcane force so that I can grind because my plan right now is to definitely get a little more crit rate is to grind up to 210 and unlock Choo Choo. If I can get Choo Choo unlocked, then I can start leveling two symbols at once per day, which will be way more effective than just doing this one. Um, then maybe I can start focusing on like, maybe I could focus on just doing dailies on this character. I don't know. I really don't know exactly what I want to do moving forward, but I do know that I have a lot of pre-quests that I need to do, and I'm thinking it might be a good idea to just start knocking those out right now. Um, one other thing that I want to try to do, I missed doing this yesterday. I don't, I don't need mesos obtained on this character. Ugh. <sighs> I don't like re-rolling that, but I don't, I just don't need mesos obtained. Alright. Well, that sucked. Um, yeah, I forgot to do this yesterday, so I missed out on the, the half EXP. The, the half price honor re-rolls, so, whatever. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and work on a bunch of these pre-quests that I'm gonna need to do. I'm gonna need to do Magnus. I don't know if I'm gonna unlock OmniClean. OmniClean's kind of a pointless boss in a lot of ways. Um, I have Arcarium unlocked already. You know, I might be able to do easy. Oh, you know what? I might be able to do easy Arcarium. Hold on. I don't know if easy Arcarium always drops a, um... A Mechanator Pendant, but it might be a good idea to try and kill him. Now that I have an iframe, I should theoretically be able to win that fight. <clears throat> so we're just going to do easy, because I'm not confident enough in my damage to do hard yet. Or normal, as it's called. What? Why did it not go off? Okay, I used my iframe, but it didn't go off. Is this an iframe that relies on having characters, enemies on the screen that you can hit? Oh my god. <clears throat> I really hope not. If that is the case, it basically means I can only use Shinsoku. Because I need to keep these netherworld monks on the screen. Yes, this, you have to have a, you have to have an enemy that you can attack on the screen in order to use that iframe. That is the most annoying mechanic ever. Okay, but I killed him, and that's all that matters. That's all I want to do. I don't care how stupid it was to reach that point. I eventually did reach it. So let's see if I can get a decent flame on this. 40 is not enough. 52 and 5 is a damage increase over my Horntail Necklace, and this is also still part of the boss accessory set. So the question now becomes, see, I have this Pendant of the Spirit, and this expires in like a week. In a week, I don't think I'm capable, especially in Reboot, I don't think I'm capable of reaching 235 in a week. But I think I'm going to go ahead and epot this. Because I believe this is a strong, yeah, this is a stronger item. So I'm just going to e-pot this. I'm going to roll 6% strength. And that should be a solid damage increase over the, um, the other thing. Now, eventually, one thing that I do want to do is um, replace... The regular Horntail Pendant with a Chaos Horntail Pendant. I can probably kill Chaos Horntail now. Um, and a Chaos Horntail Pendant would be a solid damage increase over the regular Horntail Pendant. So that's something else that I am keeping in mind.
Now, as for the last ring slot, I didn't really mean to do that. That's fine. Um, again, another 11k damage increase. That's that's good. That's not bad. So, um, for the last ring slot, I'm really not sure what to do. I really have no interest in doing afterlands. I know it would be a damage increase, and it's probably something I should do. But I really don't have the patience for it, and I kind of hate it. I think it's kind of dumb quest line. I mean, it's cool, but like I don't like doing it. So whatever. Now, obviously, I can I can only do so much with this katana in its current state. So let me just throw a potential scroll on it, roll three percent attack, and get it off my mind for a while because right now it is just. It's constantly on my mind. Like I could have more attack if I just cubed if I just cubed this thing, but let's get three percent attack, and then I can stop thinking about it so much. <clears throat> I think twelve attack might be better than three percent attack. Yeah, twelve attack is better than three percent attack. All right, that's kind of weird, but we'll take it. I'll just roll for twelve attack again, I guess. That seems to be the best prime line I can get on this weapon, so. All right. So that's a small damage increase, and now we are officially over the 5,000 strength threshold. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of pre-quests, starting with Magnus, and we will, um, we'll slowly, we'll slowly get to the point where we can, uh, well, actually, do I want to do the pre-quests now, or do I want to just grind? You know, I'm thinking it might be better to just grind because reset it doesn't happen for another 9, 10, 11 hours or whatever, but I'm probably going to sleep between now and reset at some point. So I'm thinking it might be better to just grind out these last few levels and um, get to 210, do the choo choo pre quests and all that. Okay. Make sure I'm in the proper stance. Stop switching stances. Yeah, as you can see, one of the major problems with this character right now is a lack of crit rate. It's probably beneficial for me to redesign my Legion so that it actually gives me crit rate, which is crazy because you'd think you would think 10% bonus EXP would be worth it, but I mean, if I'm not even able to kill things consistently, what's the point? So let me take care of this and I will be right back. All right, I gave my character 39% more crit rate because I don't, I don't have any idea why this is, but for some reason, Hayato just has really low crit rate. I don't understand it. It's, it's bizarre to me. Oh, sweet, I can get these uh, two times coupons. I'll go through those really fast. All right. And, uh, I think I'm just going to get to grinding at Soulful Erdas. I'm going to buy a couple totems. I'm going to grind a lot. I'm talking, like, I want to get to 210 in the next couple of hours. So, I think that's totally doable. Leveling right now is insanely quick and easy, even with how weak I am. So, we're going to do it. And, uh, I will, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, one thing I just want to say before I start grinding. Um, I thought Hayato would be a quick, easy boss mule to pump out. But I'm noticing that there are quite a few quirks about the class that make it weird and difficult to play. Uh, sometimes, not, not always. Obviously, not like super hard to play, but you got to know what you're doing. You have to manage your sword energy. Sometimes, and I've noticed this when grinding, sometimes EI Jutsu Phantom Blade doesn't do damage. Why? I have no idea. It's a known bug that's been around for like literally over a year at this point. So that's cool. Um, their insanely low crit rate outside of bossing stance. This actually, I think the low crit rate outside of bossing stance might not be a problem. I'm only going to be grinding this character to 235, and then I'm pretty much done with it. And then the only grinding I'll be doing is going to be doing dailies, so... That might not actually be as big of a problem as I thought it was. But... Yeah, this character has a, a couple weird things about it that I am... 
taking quite some time to learn about. I don't even know how I'm going to effectively boss on this thing. I got a lot of learning to do, but that's part of the journey. So, all right, let's 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 get to 210 and get this over with. So, I'm sitting here grinding, nuking everything on the fucking map like instantly. And it's <laughs> it's reminding me a lot of playing old school Maple Story, like a um, a fourth job magician back when they had their ultimates on no cooldown, because it's literally just a full screen map nuke every every spawn wave. It's ridiculous. This might be the best class I've ever played. Like this might be the best at farming of any class that I've ever played. I keep talking about how weak this character is, but you got to remember that I'm comparing it to regular servers where monsters have half the HP. So if anything, this character is probably a little stronger than I'm giving it credit for that. I'm giving it credit for. All right, that ended up being a little over two hours. Um, I had to do the last like 20, 30% without a totem, but still it's fine. Hayato is, so that's that's probably my first big grinding session on Hayato um, with like, well, okay, I guess it's not my first. Today overall was my first time grinding on a Hayato that's actually fifth job, and like I said before, fifth job Hayato is very different than fourth job, third job, all the other jobs. The clash changes a lot in fifth job, and um, my thoughts on it are as follows. It is very intensive, keeping track of Iaijutsu and all of the cooldowns that you have to manage. Oh. Oh. So that's where your crit rate comes from. Hitokiri Strike gives you the fucking crit rate. How did I not know that, dude? I'm so tired. My head hurts. I, I need to do Choo Choo Island and just go the fuck to sleep. I figured out where the crit rate comes from. Finally, let's see if there's anything here I can use. There's a sudden strike Falcon's honor here. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I hold on to that. There are so many nodes for, for this, for this, uh, class does this have cooldown reduction no it doesn't look like it all right i'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble every single one of these i might keep the sudden strike falcon's honor one i think i'm gonna keep those but i think i'm gonna disassemble these i also need to disassemble this oh am i gonna be i think i'm gonna be 10 short of being able to craft ei jutsu yeah, okay, I guess I'll get rid of this. Um, EI Jutsu is kind of an insane skill. It is really weird because it is a lot of your damage comes from it, and it has a short uptime. As you can see, mine is level 5 6 now, and it only stays up for 18 seconds. It's fucking exhausting trying to keep track of this plus Hitokiri Strike plus Summer Rain plus going through these three skills because for whatever reason Hayato does not have full stance so I have to use Night's Watch 
keeping track of all of my sword energy and all of these other skills that have cooldowns, it is fucking exhausting. So while Hayato's mobbing is insane and really good, it's um it's way too tiring. There's no way I could play this class long term. But we're only getting to 235, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do Choo Choo. It's probably gonna take a while, but I really need to get it like out of the way. I just need to do it, and then I need to do the dailies, and then I can rest and then come back tomorrow for hopefully some good gains. That is completed. Choo Choo Island prequests. I'm going to do the dailies as fast as I possibly can. And then I am going to call it a day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Another day full of possibilities. We're going to start out by going to Von Leon and trying to clear hard mode. I think I'm capable of doing it now. Um, I, I think I think I am. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? All right, well, some good came of this day so far. I got a uh, Crystal Ventus badge. This is... I don't think that puts me at a 7 set, but it puts me at a 6 set. <laughs> now I just need a belt and uh, another ring. So I can either get that from Horntail or Pink Bean. So let's hope. No ring. Off to Pink Bean. No belt, no ring. Um, I mean, I could try to kill Chaos Zackum, but I mean, I can't even kill Hard Von Leon, so I don't. I don't think that's really a great idea. So I guess we're gonna have to go another day without the seven set effect. Which, I mean, the seven set effect here is mostly for bossing because it gives IED, so I'm not really that worried about it. I just, I really need um, a better weapon and I need to finish up this set because that 20 extra attack plus a, a more optimized weapon with a better flame is going to make a huge difference. So, God... Why is it so hard to kill Hard Von Leon? I'll tell you why. Because of the 30 second potion cooldown. He attacks so fast that I can't actually heal um, by just attacking him. He does too much damage, so... Maybe if I had more HP, I'd be healing more per hit. Whatever. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Maybe just finish the rest of my daily bosses. I don't know, I'm getting really frustrated by the lack of ability to, like, do anything. Like, okay, yeah, I finished... Uh, dailies in, in, um, Arcane River. I... Did the bosses that have a chance of dropping me stuff that I need. And... That's kind of all I can do to make forward progress, unless I want to go farm. Kind of just have to go grind and hope for nodestone drops. I can't really grind at Choo Choo yet because I don't have enough arcane force. It would be like a three or four shot if I was trying to grind at. Um, Choo choo right now, so I don't I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking one of the big problems that I'm running into is um yeah, Jutsu Phoenix Blade. What is it? Phantom Blade? Doesn't it's not a high level, so it's really hard to keep up right now. I haven't actually looked up how long it lasts at max level, but 
it's such a huge source of final damage. It gives 8% per stack. So it is a big source of damage, and I get that. But let me take a look at it real quick. Yeah, so at max level, it gives 23% final damage per stack, which is an insane amount of final damage, for 33 seconds, which is almost double the duration that I currently have. It's about triple the uh, final damage bonus and double the duration. So my primary focus should be getting node stones to level up EI Jutsu so that I can actually like kill things. Unfortunately, it's not Wednesday yet. Uh, there has been no update for the um, the Blooming Forest event, so I can't train on my Paladin because my Paladin doesn't technically even exist right now. It's still a hero. Uh, I have characters who do have drop rate, like I could get on my Mihail and grind. And I'm thinking that's probably not the worst idea because the lack of node stones is absolutely crippling for a, uh, a Hayato. It would be one thing if they made it easier to get node stones in early game, and I totally... I firmly believe that they really need to make it easier to get node stones early on in the, uh, in the, in the fifth job advancement. Because currently it is extremely hard, especially for a new player, to make forward progress with their nodes. I have the option of getting on a stronger character and um, farming nodes there. A new player does not have that option. So that's just one of the, the many things that I think they really need to improve in this game. I think, I think I'm gonna have to hop on another character who has drop rate and just farm node stones because I can't do anything on this character right now. I have farmed, I've grinded as much as I can grind. Um, I got to level 211, which is not bad. I mean, I could, I could easily grind to 215 today if I wanted to. It would just suck because I would have to p grind on lower level monsters and all that, so. Definitely time to hop on another character who has drop rate gear and uh, farm some uh, some node stones. All right. See now we're talking. My buccaneer, um, a character I want to get to 235 eventually, regardless, has the highest drop rate of any of my characters, sitting at 76%. So, this is actually pretty good news, because this means that I can grind on this character up to, um... Well, I can work on getting to 235 and um, farm node stones in the meantime. So that's what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, this character also needs node stones pretty desperately, but this character is lower priority for me right now because uh, it's almost it's almost already 235. I can already do all of these daily, so it's not that big of a deal to me. But I am going to hop on. Uh, I need to get I need to get my pets from my uh, bishop, I think. But I'm gonna. Probably for the next few hours, I am going to just grind on the Buccaneer and hopefully collect a few dozen node stones. I don't know exactly how many I can actually get realistically, but I mean, anything's going to help, right? Even if I get like 20 node stones, it'll be a huge help, so. Okay, I grinded for almost two hours. I didn't use any coupons, no totems, nothing. I just grinded. I made about, what, what, 250 mil? I made about 250 mil and I got 16 node stones. Plus I have five in storage. So this should help a little bit. I don't know. I'm just, I'm grasping at straws here to be honest, but let me go get on my Hayato. 
Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna collect these, get on my Hayato, and use those node stones, and hopefully get like maybe one or two levels on Ei Jutsu Phantom Blade. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is really good RNG. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm definitely gonna get a couple levels on uh, Ei Jutsu. All right. Let's see what we grabbed. First of all, I want to see if there are any good boost nodes. The chances of that happening, though, are really slim. And to be completely honest with you, I don't even know exactly what it is I'm looking for. Um, Ryblade. Oh, I wish that was. Oh, I wish that wasn't Ryblade. I wish that was. Uh whatever one San Renzon. I wish that was Rai San Renzon instead of Ryblade Flash, because this would be actually a really good node. But I don't ever use Ryblade Flash, so I guess... Unless I have something to upgrade? Nope, there's, there's basically nothing here of value. I need to keep Decent Sharp Eyes, probably need to keep Erda Nova, but everything else can go. Yeah, maybe maybe that wasn't the best idea, but having um, I need to get more pets. Having uh, decent sharp eyes and a bind is going to be very helpful. So yeah, I need I need to get another pet for uh, for decent sharp eyes. But with these node shards, I should be able to craft some ei jutsu. Nodes. I could probably make three. Yeah. That should get me actually a couple levels. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Level one to level four. That's a big improvement. That gives me 10% final damage. And if I get one more level, it'll go up to 11 and it lasts for 20 seconds. So this is pretty, this is pretty good. I can't use... Batojutsu Zanko. Because there has to be an enemy present in order to use it. I just want to get my, um... I just want to get my sword energy up so I can see... how much final damage I get. Alright, so this should put me up to 110, uh, so 60, oh, oh, you have to hit something with it, Jesus Christ, you, I can't catch a break with this character, I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another, whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it'll put me up to 110, because that's what 60 plus 50 is, and I should be getting 50 final damage from this skill now, so I am really tired and hungry, and I need to get some food, I'm probably just gonna call it a day here, I don't really think there's a whole lot more I can do right now um eventually I would like to get all my gear to epic, so that would be 1, 2, 3 Four, five, six pieces of gear that I currently have that I can get to Epic, so that's something I'm kind of waiting until the Blooming Forest event to start working on that, and that has been officially confirmed to start on the 27th. There's um there's an update happening on the 27th, and it says this is when the Blooming Forest, whatever, patch notes will be released soon. Um... I might go over those, actually, because there's going to be a lot of important stuff in there for the progression of this account. So, for now, this is the end of today. I don't have any idea what day number we're on because I have not been keeping track, but, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. He's dead. He's dead, and he dropped me my weapon. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what I thought, Von Leon.
I didn't actually lose a life either. I got really good at the Von Leon fight over the past couple days. Okay. <clears throat> Great news. We now have the Royal Von Leon Katana, which means we have the full Von Leon set. Thank you very much. And I'm going to go buy some flames. I have 470 mil that I can potentially spend on this thing. So let's go ahead and let's get it. 21 attack, 4% damage is actually not that bad. It That flame alone almost completely outclasses the Utgard Katana without potential or star force. So that's kind of awesome. Our boss damage is now at 80%, which is very good as well. And um, I feel good about this. I feel good. I feel good that I finally, finally have the Von Leon Katana. Now, one of the issues that I'm going to run into here in a moment is that I have to. Um, well, let me sell off this stuff I don't need. I have to. Tear this thing up to epic, and that's kind of going to require some of these. So let's hope we get some OK RNG. Ar Hold on. Hold on. Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, this is an insane rare potential. What the fuck? I don't I don't even want to re-roll this because I'm not gonna get anything better until I get to like unique. What the f what the uh okay, I guess we're gonna roll with that. 12 attack, 3% attack, and 15% IED. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Um, I guess I can use some of these other Master Craftsman's cubes on uh, some other things. Oh, I also got a... Wait, did I get... Two? No, I got I got just the one. Okay. I also got a um, another accessory from Von Leon, so... Hard Von Leon drops accessories at a fairly common rate. So, that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can 12-star this. All right, you just got to do star catching and then it succeeds every time. That's crazy, dude. That is an insane rare potential. What the f I've played this game for many, many years. Uh, and never in my life have I gotten three lines of potential on a rare item that I would consider actually good. What the fuck? Has anybody else ever gotten a potential like this on a rare item? I didn't even know you could get IED on rare items. Oh my god. Okay, my mind is kind of blown right now. I'm not gonna, gonna lie to you. Um, okay. Let's go do some other bosses, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, I want to try and... Let me, let me see if I can... Uh, let me actually stamp this because we're getting to the point now where our our gear we're almost done collecting the gear um now it's just gonna be a matter of making it better making it stronger and eventually getting to the point where we can take on the harder bosses yeah 10 cubes and no tear up welcome to uh welcome to master craftsman's cubes dude i think eventually i want to get all of these to epic and i want them all to be nine percent strength that's kind of the goal for this set of gear. I'm not going to be investing too heavily into it, but I am going to be investing quite a bit because this is going to be what gets me to the next stage of the game. So just give me my 3% back and we can move on. Hey, it tiered up to Epic. See, occult cubes do have a chance of tearing up to Epic, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 1% or 2% success rate. So... It's not something to really rely on. That being said, it might be worth trying to just go for 9% now, but I don't I don't really have that many cubes to work with. Ah, oh, 9% dex, come on, dude. Why why what is with the dex on this character? I get so many great dex rolls. 6% strength. I don't want that. That's just one line of strength. 
I mean, 3% all stats is marginally better than 3% primary stat, but I mean, the difference is negligible. I will, I will burn through all these cubes. I do not care that much. I will stop at 6% strength, though. All right, there we go. That's probably a solid damage improvement as well. Um, pretty much anything that's epic that I have is 6% strength. Oh, it failed. So we are pretty good. I do still really need to get my hands on a ring and uh, the uh, the horn tail ring and the pink bean belt. Now, interestingly enough, I'm probably getting to the point where I could kill Chaos Zackum pretty soon. So I might end up if I don't get the belt from Pink Bean in a timely manner, I might honestly start killing Chaos Zackum to try and get the uh, the 150 belt. So because it is part of the boss set, as you can see, enraged Z Zackum belt and uh, Chaos Zackum is not exactly a difficult boss. So, oh, I have nine flames left. Oh, that's right, because I. Well, let me see. Um, 51 is not a super strong potential, so let's go ahead and re-roll this. Strength 12, 5% all stats. So, funny enough, that is an improvement. It's just an improvement of about one flame score, more or less. All right, let's go do some of these bosses. I'm going to try to take on um, Chaos Horntail while I still have some of these buffs. I think I can kill Chaos Horntail. If I can kill Hard Von Leon, I should be able to kill Chaos Horntail. So, let's get it. Oh, ring drop! Let's go, baby! And we got the Chaos Horntail necklace. Um, so I have to flame the necklace, but I don't think I have to... I don't. I can't flame the ring, so... Um, unfortunately, I'm probably going to run out of mesos doing this, but that's two more pieces of, uh, of gear that I can add to my character, and we're pretty much... We're, like, right on the cusp of being done. I'm just going to grab 3% strength on this right now. Um, when the uh, Blooming Forest event comes around, which will be tomorrow-ish, um, then I'm going to start buying Epic Potential Scrolls and stuff like that. You only get two per week from Legion, which is really rough. That is 22k damage increase. And it also, I think that gives us another piece of the set. Yes, it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, belt and Chaos Horntail Pendant will put us up to nine, but we really don't need nine. I kind of only needed seven for the 10% IED because if you look, our IED right now is already at 73% and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't, I don't even have any IED, um, links on this character right now. So oh, that's kind of good. Um, but I do need to get this. I'm not going to worry about this right now because I really can't even use it, but I am going to hold on to it and eventually it will be my replacement. But to be honest, I'd be surprised if I ever use it until I reach 235. So because the Mechanator Pendant is stronger or about the same strength. Actually, the Chaos Horntail Necklace theoretically is stronger. I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. So one thing you might have noticed over the past couple episodes is that I've been collecting these Zakum helmets, uh, and there's a good reason for it. In fact, I'm gonna go do Zakum real quick and get a couple more helmets, and then I'm going to um, go to Ardent Mill. I'm going to combine them together because when you combine an item, like okay, let me I'll, I'll go over it in a moment. It's um, it's I need to figure out exactly how to say it. OK, so as you can see, Zakum helmets give 50 charm EXP when it first equipped. Um, but and that goes away, obviously, after you equip it for the first time. 
But if you... I think I have smithing level 2? Yeah. Um, if you combine them... I think I need to buy alchemist stones. If you fuse the pieces together, you get one in return, and you get the 50% charm EXP back on first equip. So this is one way of farming charm EXP that I learned about a long time ago and have been very diligently performing on all my characters since then. You only need level two smithing, accessory crafting, or alchemy in, in either one of those to uh, to fuse level fifty gear. Let me get out of Ardent Mill because there's some weird lag in that fucking town. All right, and we are back down to one Zakum helmet, and I got about one point three levels of charm from that. So it's not like super efficient or fast. It's actually probably the most efficient way to um, level up your charm. If you want to be honest about it is to change your hair, um, buy premium surprise style boxes and equip those items. Uh, stuff like that is going to be way faster than this. But I also have these horn tail necklaces because these also give some charm when you um, when you combine them, but I don't really have a solid way to level up my smithing right now, so I'll probably just keep holding on to these for a while. So another thing you might have noticed is that I've been holding on to these, um, these pieces of gear that I got, like, right at level one. I want to anvil some of these because I think they look kind of cool, and it's totally, like, it's totally, it's totally Hayato, bro. Oh shit, these Shaman Earrings give Charm EXP too. I didn't even realize that. Cool, that's an extra 200. So yeah, guys, go farm Shaman Earrings from FES2 to get your Charm EXP up. I'm just kidding, don't actually do that because these things drop like one every six hours of farming there. It's ridiculous. I am going to, okay, one last thing. I need to kill Pink Bean, see if I can get a belt. Belt or a pocket item, either of those would be awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that I'm not going to get either of them. Because that would just be too good to be true. You know what I just realized during this fight? You can use EI Jutsu Phantom Blade during San Renzon. Or not San Renzon, Shinsoku. I didn't even realize that! God damn it, Pink Bean. And it looks like another day of nothing. Of course, Pink Bean is very stingy with his drops. So, um, the Aijutsu Phantom Blade has a fun little quirk. A along with, you know, sometimes just not doing damage because it doesn't feel like it. Um, it also has this fun quirk of when it's expiring, like when it's in the process of expiring, I don't know the exact time frame, but sometimes it just won't let you use it. So you'll be sitting there pressing your Phantom Blade button and nothing happens. And then it's like, oh, Phantom Blade expired. Oopsie. That's fun. That's really fun. Either make it expire or let us use it while it's expiring. You know, I like it feels so awful to have such an important skill not work. Sometimes, I don't know. I expected quirks like this when I went into playing Hayato, but like I said, I didn't expect them to be so prominent. Level two on the Choo Choo symbol, and we'll get level three on the uh, Vanishing Journey symbol once I finish the dailies over here. Oh. Wait, was that normal Monto? Oh, nice. That's a good that's a good monster collection get. 
I'm not gonna keep these EI Jutsu stacks. I need to just give them up. And that is level three Vanishing Journey symbol. Making some good progress here. 5.7k strength. Getting close to 6k. That's not bad. Okay, so I have put it off long enough. It is time to do some of these pre-quests that I have been putting off. I said putting off twice. Um, first that comes to mind is Magnus. And then what else? I need to do normal. I need to get a normal Cygnus unlocked. I need to get Princess No unlocked. That's going to be a big one. And I think that's it. So let's get to work. Princess No prequests are complete. Next on the list, I'm going to go do Cygnus, then Magnus, and I am pretty much done with all the important prequests as far as I remember. Golix really doesn't have a prequest anymore, and I don't really see myself doing Golix for a long time anyway. Um, so yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Just Magnus and Cygnus. Normal Cygnus is unlocked. Now I get to work on Magnus. All right, Magnus prequest is complete. I accidentally I don't need to do this quest, but uh, whatever. Uh, Magnus prequests are complete now. So that uh, pretty much does it for all of the prequests that I need currently. There might be more in the future that I'm just forgetting somehow, but I'm going to hop on the um, Buccaneer, do two hours of grinding, and we'll be good to go. This person has been following me this whole time. I don't understand it. I was in one channel and I saw them doing the prequest. I changed channels and kept doing the prequest. Then a few quests later, they were there on the same channel as me again. And now all of a sudden, after I changed channels a second time, here they are again. I don't understand what's happening. There must be a lot of people doing this prequest right now or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, onto the Hayato because there's something we need to discuss. Something that I completely overlooked this entire time until now. All right, this is going to sound kind of dumb, but I was thinking about Hayato weapons, right? And I remembered that, oh my God, this, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. In GMS and in most versions of the game, I believe, we have access to Sweetwater weapons and accessories. Normally, Sweetwater accessories aren't really considered that great because they don't have a set effect. So, you know, for, for the sake of this character, the boss accessory set effect is going to be superior than grabbing two Sweetwater accessories or three or four. It's going to be hard to make those Sweetwater accessories better than the boss accessories set. They are better items overall. But to get to that point is going to require a lot of investment into not only those accessories, but into other things as well. So for the sake of this character, boss accessory is the way to go. But I was thinking I was on my shadower looking around at all my different characters a little bit, and I saw that it had a Sweetwater dagger. And I realized that Sweetwater weapons come with an inherent 30% boss damage and 10% IED. Plus, they have really, really high base weapon attack. So, for for example, the base reference or the base weapon attack on this Royal Von Leon katana is 116. The base weapon attack on a Sweetwater katana is 180, which is higher than this thing with an OK flame and 12 stars. It's still better. And then if you add the 20 attack power from the um, the boss set, or the, the Von Leon set, it brings it up to 193, which is still just a tiny bit higher than base stats on a Sweetwater Katana. So, with all that being said, I need to start doing Commercy, because that weapon is going to be far, far superior to... Um, 
the Von Leon weapon. Like, it's absurd. There's no competition between the two of them, really. And it's funny to me how many people beg for carries and stuff when we have access to all this overpowered shit in GMS. Because I watch a lot of KMS. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know why I just do. Um... And in KMS, they don't have Commercy, so, you know, they struggle a little bit. They don't have half the accessories that we have access to. It's it's rough over there, so... I was operating under that mindset of, I need to... I need to struggle, you know? I need to get the whatever I can get my hands on. I didn't even think about the stuff that we have in GMS that they don't have in, uh, in KMS. You know, you could even make the argument that I should probably be doing, like, easy, normal Golix and get Golix accessories, because those would be better. Uh, I don't know entirely how I feel about it. I hate Golix. I think it's a really poorly designed boss. And the stuff that it gives is way too strong. Um, I'm glad they kind of nerfed it. They nerfed the ability to get the items and buffed the boss, so... In the end, it's, it's, you know, it's all balanced out or whatever, but... I really, really don't want to do Golux for like four or five weeks. Just to get my hands on like 15% IED. So, whatever. I'm not really too worried about that part, but... The Sweetwater Weapon. Absolutely, without a doubt, major upgrade that I totally forgot about. I just forgot about it. Honestly, because in... In, uh, in Barra for the past year, I have been just buying arcane weapons for all my characters. <laughs> just, they're level 200, so I just buy arcane weapons. I don't worry about Sweetwater, Fafnir, Pinsalir, anything else in between. It's just immediately to uh, arcane. So, I'm going to start doing Commercy every day. It should probably take two or three days to get the weapon, and that will be such a massive damage boost. It's going to be insane. I'm looking forward to it. Plus, the Sweetwater Katana actually looks pretty cool. Sweetwater accessory or Sweetwater weapons uh, have the added perk of being really cool looking. One other instance where Sweetwater is considered super, super busted OP is um, Dual Blades. There's a Sweetwater Katara that Dual Blades can use and it gives 30% boss, 10% IED, just like just like any other Sweetwater weapon, but um, Arcane Umbra Katara does not give those stats. I'm pretty sure it just gives like attack and that's it. So you have this weird situation where Dual Blades use uh, Sweetwater Katara for like ever because it has the 30% boss and 10% IED and it's just so much better than arcane which is just just odd so um, fun fact if you talk to the uh, the chick maestra fiametta i've never read her name until now actually um if you talk to her before you accept the get rich quick quest, uh, you get a free 10 denaro. I don't know if that's an extra 10 denaro, but it looks like it is, so, you know, maybe talk to her before you do the quest. Maybe you get a free 10 denaro. I don't know. I always do it. So, as far as I remember, because it has been a while since I've done Commercy for the Sweetwater weapon, I think it takes minimum two days to reach the point where you can kill a boss. Um, and then the boss drop rate the boss drop rate used to be absurdly low, like... I think, um... I think in all of the time that I had played... It, I think I got a, a Sweetwater Katara on one of my characters... At some point, and that might not have even been from the Commercy, um... The, the Voyages, it might have been from, like, Maplehood Watch or something, but oh, basically what I'm trying to say is... The drop rate of Sweetwater weapons and armor used to be stupid low. I think armor is still really low. 
I'm not 100% sure you can get armor from solo voyages anyway, but nobody really uses the armor for anything regardless, so it doesn't really matter. That meta is kind of dead, but... Um, yeah, at some point they buffed the drop rate of Sweetwater weapons, so that now you actually get them every, like, every other kill, more or less. Maybe once every three kills if you get, if you're, if you're on 0% drop rate. So it's way more reasonable to get Sweetwater weapons in, uh, in Reboot, and probably in Rake servers too, unfortunately. I was not playing back before, um, the buff to Sweetwater drop rate, so... I do not know what the prices of them were like back then. I assume people just didn't use them because they were way too rare, and if you ever got one, it would be worth way too much to um, to sell or whatever. All right, this is the first area uh, of solo voyages where we can potentially get a weapon drop. So, um, uh, I don't really care that much if I get it today or not, to be honest with you, so I'm just gonna pop out the, um, the familiar and go with that. That should be fine. I'm either gonna get it or I'm not. Alright. Moment of truth. Nothing. Unfortunate. This is the only run we can do today, so we're just going to have to hope tomorrow we get it. There's a, I think there's a good chance we'll get it today, but just to be on the safe side, I'm actually going to buy a Legion drop coupon as well. Because you never know what RNG will do to us. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this prepared spirit of... Pendant of the Spirit, Spirit of the Pendant, whatever it's called. I'm gonna grab this. This will be going on the high hotel for the next two weeks. That's going to be fantastic for grinding. And I need to do Punch King as well. I'm probably gonna do that on my high hotel because that's my strongest character. And I will try to get growth potions specifically for the high hotel. Probably in the, uh, use them in the high twenties. Maybe get a maybe get a 231. I don't know. It, 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 we'll we'll have to see because grinding on a high auto, while it is exhausting, it is still really fast. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with the uh, the growth potions yet. But let's go get this Sweetwater Katana. I really hope. Please tell me there's a Legion guy here because I just wasted a lot of time if there's not. <sighs> Waiting for the update where you can get... Or where you can teleport directly to Commercy. That would be a great update, Nexon. I will say, I do like the background music for these voyages. It reminds me of, like, Kirby or something. All right, moment of truth number two. <sighs> okay. That's all right, we still have a few more tries. Moment of truth number three. Nothing. I have 80% extra drop rate, by the way. I know they're rare. They're, they're, they're not this rare anymore. I know that for a fact. Moment of truth number four. As you can see, this guy does have quite a bit of health, so if you're doing this pre-200, it, it might actually be kind of difficult. <gasps> yes! We got it! Let's go, baby! We don't get it until we finish the, uh, the, the voyage, though. Alright. So, uh, interestingly enough, the Sweetwater weapons come completely clean. No flames or anything, but I actually have... From doing dailies on my Mihail, I have, well, just two flames, I guess. I thought I had more than that. But... I got a little bit of money to spend. And I am totally prepared to upgrade the crap out of this Sweetwater Katara. Katana. First things first, though, I am actually going to finish... 
my daily voyages, and then we will we'll upgrade the, the Sweetwater Katana. All right, <clears throat> all daily voyages are completed, and we're gonna head back to Henesis. I could have just used my teleport rock. Um, I also need to buy some NX because I need to get more pets on this character, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that pretty soon. Oh, also, I got these, um, this up to level five yesterday, but I didn't upgrade it because I was really tired and I was just like, fuck it, I'll do it later when I have more energy. So there you go, level five vanishing journey symbol. Now, uh, I'm gonna take a quick look at the wiki to see what kind of attack power flame we want on this thing. Also, the 45 base strength is absurd. That is so good. But I'm gonna take a look and see what kind of flame we're looking for. Sweetwater gear is not flame advantage because it just doesn't it does not exist in KMS and it's not boss gear. I think the only prerequisite for being flame advantage is being in KMS. But Pencilier gear is in KMS. So it, it, but either way, it's not flame advantage. So it's just normal flame gear. So what we're looking for this is a level 160 weapon. Let me let me make sure I'm on the weapon attack segment. Normal weapons, level 160, 36, okay, tier 5 is 36%, so 36 percent of 180 is 65. More than likely, the best we'll get is probably tier 4, which would be 26 percent, which is 47, so probably somewhere around there is what we're looking for. Now, I do have the option of buying flames from um, the event store, but I don't I don't really know if I want to do that. I think I'm just going to stick with regular flames for now. 20 attack, that would be... I think that's tier 3, maybe? I think so, let me check. No, that's not even tier three. That's like tier two. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna re-roll that. We want over 20. I know that's asking a lot for a sweetwater weapon, but you know, if maybe if we can get some boss damage as well, that would be amazing. Not counting on it though. This is really the hardest part with running a uh, a sweetwater weapon is the flames really suck. Like, they suck. That 20 might be the best thing that we get. I mean, you can see, you can see what we're getting here. We're getting, ooh, 33 attack? Hold up, that's pretty good. Okay, all right, I can roll with that. Um, but yeah, flaming a Sweetwater weapon, don't expect a whole lot from it. As you can see, we were not getting anything that great. This 33 attack on the Katana is actually pretty freaking good. So, next up on the list is... Well, let me hop over to the event map. No, not Legion Gardening. Um, they should have Epic Potential Scrolls for sale, because I'm pretty sure I can't buy them from... 300? That's a full day of capping. Come on. Well, you can't be serious. A full day of capping? Fine. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Just know that. All right, uh, now we're gonna try to tear this up. I want unique on this. Uh, if I could get a unique weapon, that would actually be a desirable because as you may or may not know, Epic weapons, secondaries, and emblems have a lot of trash lines, so trying to roll two line attack is very, very difficult on um, on epic WSEs. So we're looking for unique, and then I can get two line attack on it, and that'll carry me all the way through to Fafnir, no problem whatsoever. Um, that being said, if I do get two lines of attack on epic, I will probably settle for that. Not two lines of strength. All right, there we go. Tiered up to unique. So it should be marginally easier to get attack now. 
Well, there's one line of attack. Um, I think prime attack... Yeah, prime attack line at unique for a Sweetwater weapon would be 10%, so that's what we're looking for. Uh... Oh, come on! You got... Oh, dude. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts to see. 30 boss is actually a pretty good line to get as well. So I think maybe ideally I'd want 10%. Oh man, you can get IED as well. It's crazy to me that you can get the same line of IED at unique and rare. That's ridiculous. 10% attack. I should just, I think I should just maybe settle for that. Um, I do have a lot of mesos left. Fuck it. Let's keep rolling the dice. You know what I mean? Weapon is an important thing. Okay, that's a lot of luck. 10% damage and 7 attack. Um shoot, I didn't uh, I didn't make a mental note of what the damage increase was with one line of 10% attack. Um but that's already kind of a solid increase in damage, even without any stars on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and star force it now. Try to get it up to 12. Alright, we got it to 12 stars. That is a big damage increase. I was not joking when I said Sweetwater is downright busted, so... There we go. That's a large, very large damage increase for us. Which is good. And um, let me take a look at some of my other gear because I know I have rare stuff that I want to get up to Epic. And the first thing that jumps out at me is the gloves. So let's see if I can get some luck here on a tier up. Hmm. Do I keep buying Master Craftsman's? I think I'll go ahead and just maybe buy just this last set. If I don't get a tier up here, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna stop buying them for now. That's a lot of luck for a rare item. Ah, that's not that's not good. I really did expect a tear up there. Um, okay. Well, I have five flames, but I don't really have anything to flame. I could try to flame this again, because it's not in a great state. Um, but, I mean, overall, everything I have is kind of decent. You know? Nothing I have is really jumping out at me as being absolute garbage terrible. So. I don't know. It's too bad we couldn't get a tier up in 17 cubes, but yeah, I think what I might want to go for, let me take a quick look at something. Okay, so with all of my IED sources that I have available to me, I am at 86.14%. Um, let me look up recommended IED for Vellum, because I actually do not remember what it is. Okay, so people generally recommend 90%. That will give you 30% reduced damage, which is probably enough to kill him. But we also have to keep in mind that I'm going to be getting another, I think, 30%, if not more, IED from um, the CRAS set. It's when I do three doors. So as far as IED goes, I think I'm actually good. I don't think I need to do anything else. Okay, so I finished capping on all my characters, and it is now 6 a.m., as you can see, and I was grinding, when I was capping on my Mihail, or my Hayato, I noticed that it was going really fast at Slurpee, so I think I'm just gonna grind to 215 and unlock Yum Yum. It doesn't really help me progress that much, but, I mean, any progress I can make towards 235 is going to be very helpful, so... Mm. All right, I have capped every day on every single one of these characters. My Paladin, my Hayato, my Mihail, 
my Ilium, and my Buccaneer. My Bishop I have not been capping on because I'm not even 100% sure what I want to do with this Bishop. I've been thinking about this a lot and I might have mentioned it in a video, in a clip at some point. But I, I'm thinking I might job change this to Fire Poison Mage and use it as a boss mule. But that is like, that's way in the future because I still have all these other characters to deal with. But I was thinking about uh, characters because my mechanic is almost 200. I've been getting her AFK EXP through the event map, and I was thinking I should probably work on my Aaron next, but I run into a little problem, which is that a level 210, level three Aaron Link skill doesn't benefit me that much. Um, I already have the level three Evan Link skill and level three Mercedes Link skill, which are absolutely without a doubt the two more important ones. And what would really benefit me a lot more is something like a level three arc link skill or a level three demon slayer link skill. So oh, I also have level three luminous. I, I have a couple level three link skills that I need to work on, but I need to figure out what character I'm going to start raising next. And I'm thinking it's probably knowing me, it's probably just going to be the Aaron because I really want to get this character done with because this is the fourth link mule I ever made so it's it's just my normal routine for making like if I were to start out a new account um and this this might be something I look to do in the future maybe as a series it's something I've thought about definitely but uh if I were to start out a new account the way I do it is I make a Mercedes I get that Mercedes to 120 I make an Evan I get the Evan to 120 I make an Aaron I get the Aaron to 120 and then I just kind of go from there um honestly I don't know how interesting that would be as a series I think it's probably more interesting for me to just freaking talk about it but um yeah, I just I've just been thinking and I, I need to figure out what character I'm going to start working on next because there's a lot of growth potions available in this event. They seem to be doing that a lot lately with with recent events. They're giving out more and more growth potions, which I'm cool with. Uh, and I need to figure out exactly what I want to do with them. So we're going to hop on the Hayato. Um, I haven't done anything on this Hayato today, actually. Last night, I was hanging out with Cynthia, and I didn't really get a whole lot of recording done. Um, Cynthia, by the way, is the one who I I promised her that I would come back to Reboot when VAC Pets were released, because she's always begging me to come back to Reboot, and uh, she's the one who bought me this little glowy. I did not pay for this. She, she bought it for me. So... I never gave her credit for that, and I feel bad about that. So there you go. There's your shout out. All right. I need to actually hop on my Ilium and get my Mesos. Um, then we can do daily bosses. I can try to get a pink bean belt. It is absurd that I'm at this point in progression, and I still don't have a pink bean belt. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because Chaos Zakum was a bust, um, and I thought about it a little bit. I don't know if I actually put this into the video, but I thought about it. And I kind of came to the conclusion that what's really holding me back on my um, Hayato right now is mostly the lack of boost nodes. Because I have I have been putting all of my nodes into EI Jutsu. And that is like, that's fine because that's an important skill to level up. But it also means that other things like Shinsoku have been heavily neglected. Uh, I think I did go over this at some point, but when I was grinding from 213 to 216, I got 16 node stones. So we're going to open these up and hopefully get something good. Rison Rinzon. Okay, so I, I mentioned Rison Rinzon. Now that Rison Rinzon and Ryblade Flash are not the primary bossing skill, as far as I can tell, because I've watched a few videos of like, you know, Hayato mains killing hard bosses and they don't use Ryblade Flash anymore. They use Shinsoku. So, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying I was told that I was wrong about that recently and I don't know what to believe. So. God, this nodes on this character are so difficult. All right, it's about it's 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 very much overdue. So I'm going to look up what nodes I want on Hayato. 
Okay, this one website I'm looking at says I need Ryblade Flash, Falcon's Honor, and Rison Renzon. When was this last updated? This was last updated in 2021, so I don't think this is accurate. Because that's not even close. Okay, so it seems people generally still recommend Ryblade Flash. I don't know why, but we're looking for Ryblade Flash, Rison Renzon, Falcon's Honor, and Shinsoku. I don't... <sighs> I'd probably have to go join, like, the Hayato Discord to really find good information, but... Ah, uh, God. I'm just gonna work off of my intuition, I think, because... I kind of understand what's important and what I use on this class, and I also know what skills I'm going to be using long-term. Ah, oh, shit. What did I just disassemble? <laughs> God. Damn it. What did I disassemble? No, dude. I disassembled something that wasn't level 0. Or level 1 with 0 EXP. I still have my boost nodes and everything, so whatever. But yeah, we're going to start boosting... Shinsoku. Um, because I use that so much, and we'll just hope for... Oh, wow, I can make five of these. We'll just hope for a, um, a good trio. Hitokiri, Shinsoku, Fu, Blade Flash, Jin, Blade Flash. Hitokiri, Jin, Blade Flash. Okay, none of these are good, so we'll just go ahead and level it up. Level four, that's pretty solid. Puts it up to 18% final damage, which is a start. You know, that's really all we can ask for at this point, so... <clears throat> and here's the plan. I'm gonna head over to Pink Bean. I'm gonna do normal Pink Bean, and if I don't get the drop, actually, I might do I might do um, Chaos Pink Bean regardless. But one thing I do, I have all cures. Is a hundred gonna be enough? I don't know. Excuse me. Oh, it's because I'm in this map. All right, I'm gonna buy some all cures. I'm gonna go do Pink Bean. And I'm gonna try to get a a belt drop. All right, no belt from normal. We're gonna do, we're gonna hop on uh, chaos right now and see if we get something good. <sighs> okay, we have a problem because I was not able to kill chaos pink bean with 1.3 million range, and I think there's one major issue that I was running into, which I just think I didn't have enough IED because I didn't realize that it would be such a huge issue, so I didn't switch my Legion to the proper setting, and I don't know why I couldn't kill it. Alright. I did the Yum Yum pre-quest. It was very annoying, as it always is. I really can't wait until we get the update that allows us to skip Arcane River prequests if we've already done them. But until that time comes, I'm just gonna have to do them over and over again. I got the 20 symbols from the quest and I used them on the Choo Choo Island symbol. Now, Ultimately, this probably wasn't the best thing to use them on, but I am currently more interested in gaining more arcane force rather than optimizing my symbol growth. Long term, um, this choo-choo symbol will level up faster than the Vanishing Journey one. So, it, may, it might have made more sense to use them on the Vanishing Journey symbol, but whatever. And here... I will now get eight symbols per day, which is fantastic. There's still there's still so much room for improvement in all these. Like I have two rings here that just don't have any potential. Now this Iphia's ring, if I get lucky today with Von Leon, I could get two accessories, and that will allow me to trade it in for a noble Iphia's ring, which does allow me to have potential on it. So that would be an extra six percent strength right there, which is good. And, uh, aside from that, I really just want to keep putting 6% strength on these, so. This is probably a little overdue. I know I've been thinking about this for a while, that I should really upgrade these 
pieces because they're only rare and you know room for improvement right so it's about time that I am actually doing it holy sh I was not expecting that all right well that's 12 percent strength I probably will never need to touch these again um what uh, yeah I probably honestly won't need to touch these again until they get replaced with superior Gallic earrings in like six months so that's pretty good and that I just gained like four or five hundred strength from that just from tearing up a couple pieces of gear so I mean that's pretty good and potential scrolls I still I still won't have these available for another two days and I, I do still need some more I need at least two more <laughs> so the chances of me getting a tier up with 127 cubes is pretty good, but I don't want to spend all my cubes doing that. This is where I'll probably stop for now. I'm going to probably grind for a little bit. I'm going to head to the store um, at around 730-ish because I'm low on groceries. And... Uh, then, when I come back, it's gonna be bossing time. Actually, I might do bosses before I leave. So I'll, I'll just grind. Um, when reset hits, I'll try doing some bosses. I'll at least do my daily bosses. And we'll see if I can kill Chaos Pink Bean. Because, yes, there is obviously major room for improvement. And something else that I've been thinking about as well. I got this from a drop from Von Leon. It is 6% all stats. And if I'm not mistaken, 6% all stat and 16 strength should be better than 62 strength. Um, there's also 36 dex thrown in there, which again is a secondary stat, so it has very little influence on the flame score overall, but it does have some influence. And if you look, it's almost not even a damage decrease, and that's without any percent strength on it so let me see if I can get some percent strength here and see what it puts it at all right we got three percent strength and it's only a 6k damage decrease so I think I guess I'll star force it and just see what happens because theoretically there's a chance that this could be better especially if it's epic if it's epic I believe it will be better regardless but even at rare it might be an improvement It is a tiny, tiny improvement. And I think I'll lose, I'll, I'm definitely gonna lose some strength on this, but that's fine. All right, well, that's nice. I'm still trying to unlock the pocket slot. I still haven't, obviously, I've gotten no drops from Pink Bean this whole time. It's kind of absurd, but we're working on the charm EXP. It's slowly going up. I didn't even realize that these give charm EXP. I didn't even think about that. Well, that's good to know. That's some extra charm XP right there. Thank you very much. Duh, that was a lot of charm XP I just got. Um, but also, god damn, this I have been talking so much. I'm gonna have to cut this up a lot. Uh looking at the rings, there's actually a few rings I could get that would be huge damage improvements. And one thing, one of them that I'm considering is actually the uh, Synergy Ring because I could buy that right now. And that would be a great replacement for the Platinum Cross Ring because I have all five characters with the, uh, with the Synergy Ring. And I would like to get the Synergy Ring on all of my bossing mules just because it's such a nice ring and it's so cheap for what it is. It's the cheapest ring and it's really good. That being said, you do end up paying more overall to get it to the same stats as like a Master SS ring. But uh, if you look, it's two attack per character. So that's an extra 10 attack, putting it at 20. So when it's maxed out, when you have it on five characters, it is the same stats as Master SS ring, but you're paying more overall. Uh, I also probably want to get this as well, but I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this Synergy ring. The Noble Iphias ring, will be, or the the normal Iphias ring will be replaced by the noble Iphias ring, hopefully today if I get lucky, but uh, probably not, so more than likely tomorrow. 
But for now, we can go ahead and get this normal synergy ring up and running. And if we look, it's already a small damage increase without any potential on it. So now moving forward with this character, things that I would like to buy include probably some NX at some point because this character looks like garbage. Um, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to maybe buy this deep dark critical ring. I forget what it does exactly. I know it does something. It gives you 5% crit damage and 15% crit rate. Okay, so that would actually be a really good ring to have on this character. So this is definitely what I'm setting my sights on next. We're going to get the deep dark critical ring and it's going to probably replace the hunter's the treasure hunter John's ring. It's 125 and that's 130, and this can't be Star Forced, unfortunately, so I can't actually transfer it. Which sucks, but, you know, Epic Potential is not that big of a deal. So, that's the plan moving forward for now. Just thought I'd update you guys because I have been all over the place lately, and I need to kind of orient myself a little bit. I think this, uh, this recording has helped me get an idea of what I'm looking for going forward, so. I have finished capping on every character today. It is a sunny Sunday again still, so it's uh, double coins. I So I, that means I've collected like 3,000 coins today. I collected my Legion farming, what is it called? Legion gardening coins, I got those. And now it is time for the grind. I have three wild totems here. I could get a lot more than three um, because I have tons and tons of reward points. But I'm probably just going to stick to these three. I don't see myself grinding more than six hours right now. And I'm just going to see how far I can get. Um, minimum 220. I think that'll be a pretty easy goal. Let's go ahead and open these while I'm here because I'm probably going to want them. Okay, good thing they were like mostly 1.5x. That's good. That's good. This does not open until tomorrow. So I'm going to have to buy coupons, but I'm worried I don't have any left. I don't, yeah, I don't have any left. Ugh. That's so annoying. That is super annoying. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do then. I could buy 20 and 10 minute ones, but like, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather just... Okay, I can only get two of these. I guess I'm going to have to buy the 10 and 20 minute ones, so whatever. Anyway, I'm going to grind for... I don't know how long. As long as I can. So if I can get 10 of these and they're all 20 minutes, that's like almost three and a half hours right there, so... I can probably... I could probably do four hours. I think I'll commit to four hours of... Grinding, I'll get to 220. I'll probably get beyond 220. And then I'll do Latchlin at some point. We'll see how tired I am when I'm done grinding. And we'll go from there. After well over an hour of doing this goddamn prequest, it's finally done. This is the most offensive prequest of all of them, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of one that's worse. Moras is a contender, um, but like really this one just takes forever, forever. And then you have like a 10 minute the story lucid boss fight afterwards. Oh my God, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm, I'm extra frustrated because I know that there is an update coming that allows us to skip the prequest. And look, I'm not even totally done. I still have to do this shit. I know that that update's coming. And it's frustrating to not have it already because I have done these prequests like 20 times and I'm getting real sick of doing them. But once that update hits, I literally never have to do them again. So it's just, just gotta wait. Okay, it took forever, but I finally did it. Now, don't get me wrong. I like this quest line. I think the story here is awesome. I think it's probably one of the strongest stories in the whole game. And um, I'm just, I'm just 
in a shitty mood lately. But, you know, the recording doesn't stop because I'm having a bad day. Anyway. I was trying to get this up to epic. I had a 50% epot scroll, but I think what I'm going to do is just go over here because it is the second now. So these have reset. I'm going to go ahead and just immediately buy both of them. And get myself a little more strength. Now, with all of this, I should easily be able to reach 7k, which would be really nice. <clears throat> Come on, give me 6%. That's all I'm asking for. Alright, we got 6%. Brings up to 68.20. Yeah, easy, easily over 7k. Um, and then, next piece I want to do is, I think I'll do this one next. Also, also should probably stamp it. I could, either do, I could either do this or the cape, but they literally are both giving me the exact same amount of benefit in terms of potential, so literally either one of them is going to be fine. Oh, that's a good reveal. 6%, no cubes needed. Um, apparently I got a pair of epic pencilier gloves, probably from a, uh, a rune. Anyway, um, that puts us at 7200 strength. I'm going to go ahead and reroll a couple of these. 7% normal monster damage, uh, would be awesome to keep, but it, whatever, I can't even re-roll if I wanted to. Um, Alright, so, Latulin Prequests are done. This is good for a couple of reasons. First of all, we reduce the number of dailies in previous regions, and now we only have to do Hungry Mudo twice. Fun fact, I've never done Hungry Mudo on this character. I'm waiting till I get at least 200 Arcane Force, which I have now. And from there, it's just a matter of being able to clear hard. And um, then once I get to... Oh, I can also start doing Air to Spectrum. Because now that should be reduced to one per day as well. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll start doing Air to Spectrum. And I only have three daily quests for Vanishing Journey. Two for Choo Choo. And two for Latulin. When Hungry Mudo gets reduced down to one. When I reach 225 and unlock Arcana then I'll start doing that as well. I'm very picky about my dailies, if you can't tell. I just feel like it's kind of a waste of time to do these daily PQs more than once. And, you know, maybe it's fair to have them be reduced as you progress through Arcane River, but mm, I don't know, maybe they should only be like a one-time thing from the start. Regardless, um, I don't remember what the last clip I recorded was. So, one thing that I wanted to go over... Oh, I need to... Dude, I need to I need to get this up to Epic. Or higher. I could get this up to Legendary, even, because I'm never going to replace this. Like, ever. This will... Even if this becomes just, like, drop gear, I'm not going to replace that. Though, that being said, I don't know why I would need drop gear on this character. Uh, anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, a few episodes ago, I was a little frustrated, and I re-rolled potentials on these things. I never put that clip in because it was kind of dumb and annoying and isn't misinformed. Um, I basically, it was kind of like I couldn't see the tree in the forest. What's the idiom? What is that idiom? Not idiot. Not idiot. I googled tree forest idiot. Well, okay, well, it's the opposite of that anyway. Basically, what I'm trying to say, I was so focused on IED and boss damage that I didn't even take into account how important base stat is. So, I was just being dumb, and so I left that clip out because it was pointless, and it would have just frustrated people. So, I ended up re-rolling a couple things. I have 30% IED on this, which is actually okay. I'll probably hold on to this until I get three doors done, and then I'll re-roll it for attack. This being 9% attack is actually fine. Um, it's not great. Eventually, I want to... Eventually, I probably want to get a Princess No secondary, but it's not... The difference between Princess No secondary and a regular level 100 secondary is minuscule. It doesn't make that big of a difference. So, if this gets to Legendary and rolls good lines, I'm probably just going to hold on to this, because it's like probably like a 10k damage increase, at best, if I were to have the Princess No version of this item with the same potential right now. 
Um, the Sweetwater Katana, obviously I want to two-line this, two lines attack. Um, I probably also, I, I actually am thinking I want to get boss lines on this thing, because boss damage is so important. But I kind of forgot exactly what it was I was talking Oh yeah, we have something big happening today. So, today is the day that I get my next ring that actually has potential. No matter what, because I'm pretty sure Von Leon always drops a, um, an accessory. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Noble Iphia's ring today, which would be awesome. And you can already see, like, a major damage increase from before. I'm doing like 16 mil lines with uh, with Shinsoku now instead of the 7 mil or so that I was doing previously. So that's a solid damage increase. Unfortunately, he continues to do that and I'm just trying to get a clip here. Okay, well, there he goes, he dropped the accessory, and now, my friends, it is time to go grab the Noble Iphia's ring. I don't know if I want to hold on to these. They're like, they're like cool anvils if it's like 2017. Nowadays, eh, who really cares? So that is 10 Iphia accessories. It took a long time. But now we'll head over to Iphia herself. I can't go to that place. What? Oh, I keep getting confused because it's the right. It's so arbitrary which maps allow you to teleport and which don't. All right, off to Iphia. Okay. Why do I have to specify this? Okay, whatever. There you go. Now we have Noble Iphia's ring, and you can see clean without potential or star force. It's already a stat improvement, and I'll tell you why. Because if you look at the stats, there's no way that should be a stat improvement, but it's the set effect, my dude. It gives an extra 10% attack power and 10% boss damage, plus 15% extra stats. So this is a really good get. And I am probably... Oh, God, what do I want to do with this? When I was... Uh, grinding to 221 whenever I was grinding last I gained like 300 mil or something like that so I have a little bit of money to work with right now but not that much and <clears throat> kind of no matter what I do to this thing it's obviously going to be a big improvement over the uh, platinum cross ring I could even make the cra platinum cross ring 15 stars and it would not be better. So we'll just, I'll just try to get 3% uh, strength on this, I guess, and then go from there. We'll see what happens. See, this is cheap to re roll. So if I had more occult cubes, I would just tear this up with the Colts. I'm, I'm struggling for occult cubes so far throughout this series. I thought you got a lot more than you do from weekly bosses. Maybe I need to start doing daily bosses on multiple characters or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, well there's 3% strength. And I'll go ahead and star this up to 11. So, you know, this is a big day because this is something that we've been working towards for a while. Puts me at exactly 7300 stat. This Platinum Cross ring is now retired. And f moving forward with Von Leon, I can... I'm dropping these. I don't, I don't care about them. Moving forward with Von Leon, I have the opportunity to combine the accessory drops that I get and turn them into extra charm EXP. All right, well, that gives me a total 19 strength, so... Uh, whatever. 
Um, obviously still missing the pocket slot. Let me see. All right, 28 out of 30. It doesn't really pay to use a trait boost potion at this point because I'm so close to 30. And that kind of sucks because a trait boost potion would allow me to use this instantly, but I don't really have a choice. All right, well, I do have a choice. It's just... <sighs> Maybe I have a character who I can sacrifice the coins on and then that'll just make this process a lot simpler. Uh, eventually, I would like to get rid of these arcane force levels that I have. These are kind of a crutch that I use on new characters, especially in reboot, because ooh, it is it is rough starting out in reboot. I have an extra node slot. I might try to get another boost node. Um, but I don't really know what else to talk about right now because I kind of covered everything. I am still saving up for the deep dark critical ring that will replace this probably because this doesn't give a set effect or anything and um, the 15 percent crit rate will be really handy handy because that means i can completely remove all these points that i have in critical rate right here uh and that'll allow me like maybe you know maybe like six levels in attack power or damage or something you know um, and then, obviously, 5% crit damage is huge. That, right now, would put me at 81% crit damage. And if I switch to this, that gives me 84% crit damage. So, that ring is kind of important for now. It's held back severely by the fact that it cannot get potential or star force. So... Long term, it might not be something I keep around, but for now, absolutely 100% saving up for that. Anyway, that's probably enough rambling. We got a solid damage increase. We're up to 7,300 strength, which is a pretty solid point to be at right now. I feel good about it. I'm going to do my usual daily thing of capping coins on every character I have, as is usually the case. I mean, I'm, I'm netting like 1,500 coins a day. You know, can't really complain about that. That's a lot. So that's going to do it for me for now. I will see you guys when I am done capping. Dailies, dailies, dailies. Hey, guys, I forgot to mention I needed to do my dailies uh, as well on this character. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> we be out here capping and I got a 50% potential scroll. So let's see if I get some good RNG. Oh, very nice. Let me go. Let me go get this up to 6% real quick. I can finish capping later. Oh, also, I did all of my Arcane River dailies. I did not get a level or anything, so. Unfortunate, but that's a uh, that's a little more strength. Very nice. Very nice. All right, back to capping. Yes! Yes! Guys, guys, we did it. It was about a 14 minute Chaos Pink Bean kill, but we got the cup. Finally. So this obviously needs to be reflamed, but dude, I am I'm I'm feeling good because just a few days ago I was real frustrated and i didn't know what was going wrong but i cleared chaos pink bean and that's that's a step that's a step forward and we have the pink holy cup now which is great uh looks like we have some extra charm exp as well that's always good sitting at still at 28 i don't think i have any other sources of charm exp right now um, you get a little bit of ambition. Ambition is a very important trait as well because it gives you free IED. So I'm going to take this pink holy cup. I'm going to flame it up, try to get something good. I'm going to go extract all these, all these pieces of gear that I got. And uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I still haven't gotten to any other character, by the way, for capping. 
I'm still on I'm still on the uh, the Hayato because I realized I have to do my daily bosses. I have to do Vanishing Journey or Arcane River stuff. I have to do. Oh, I don't have etc. slots. What? You know, I have to do a lot of a lot of stuff. How do I not have slots for this? Ugh. Okay, one thing I need to do on this character is expand my goddamn inventory because apparently this is a problem. Oh, and I forgot to mention when I was grinding a couple days ago, I think it was yesterday, I was harvesting. I always harvest all the flowers on my map. I got a primal essence drop. It's not my first one on this account, actually. I have quite a few of them because they really have no purpose. As far as I can tell, I have six of these now. So theoretically, like, I could very easily, where is it? Actually, it's not very easy if I remember. So the Dominator Pendant requires like five of those things and then a bunch of other stuff as well. Let me actually look it up so I can see. Let me see what it um what it requires. Time, wisdom crystals, confusion fragments, 20 of those. Confusion fragments would probably be the hardest thing to come by. Um, never mind. I already got 20 of those. So yeah, I could make a dominator pendant right now if I wanted to. So yeah, that might be something to consider because who knows? But it's so it's such a common drop from Arcarium, it's probably not not worth doing. Um Okay, so let me extract all this gear first. I've mentioned it before, but guys, extract your gear. It's so valuable to do so. All right, after combining everything and equipping everything, we are at 29 charm, just a little more to go. Um, there are a couple methods of obtaining charm EXP. You know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna go level up mining and uh, herbalism. But there are a couple ways of acquiring more charm EXP that are a little more active than just, you know, collecting boss drops and stuff. I don't think I'm going to bother going for those because we've been gaining charm at a pretty steady rate and we're like right on the threshold. So let's get to flaming this now flame score for a cup. I don't actually know. I think 40 and five is pretty damn good, especially for this character. So in maybe a day or two, when I get some more boss drops, I will be able to equip this. It gives me some more HP, which actually HP is kind of nice. Ah, does it does it really make a difference though? Because you take percent HP damage. Eh, never mind. HP doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um But yeah, things are things are good now. Things are pretty great. I still it's been a long time and we still don't have the pocket slot, but we're right there, dude. We are right there before you know it all these slots are going to be filled we're going to have pocket slot we're going to have an android and a heart um i've been thinking about what to do about the heart slot because i think at the event shop we actually have the option of buying yeah we actually get the option of buying a uh an android, so I might just do that. I might just do that because a lithium heart is not a huge increase in damage, but it's an okay increase in damage. And I think that android might that android might have a shop attached to it, which is kind of just a convenience thing. I don't really think it's actually going to matter too much unless I uh, am grinding and I'm probably going to get to 235 and then stop grinding on this character for a long time. So, but I mean, it might come in handy in the future. I don't know. Um, either way, I've done about everything I can do on this character today. Um, I do have 21 nodes that I could extract, but I think I'm going to hold off on that because I really don't need them right now. Um, I am going to collect more of them and make sure I store this because these are expensive. They're, they're definitely worth keeping in my storage. I don't know if I really want to bother opening them yet or just maybe wait. I don't know. Um, 
I just kind of want to have like a mass opening of like a hundred of them or so at once. Also, I got this amazing node stone. I'm gonna go ahead and open this because this is a this is rope lift, which I really don't need on a Hayato, but it will come in handy because I can extract it for um, matrix points or uh, what are they called? Just node points? Sharp? What? What are they called? It's not matrix points because that's what you get when you level up. I don't know. I forget. I forget. Um. Okay, I'm gonna hop on the other characters, I'm gonna cap them, I'm gonna do all that stuff, and that will probably be all I do today. I don't really see myself doing a whole heck of a lot more, but we'll see what happens. As is usually the case. Today's plans are basically do dailies, cap, hop on another character, and cap. I have not been doing dailies on every character. And they're, the primary reason for this is that I simply don't want to burn myself out. I do not want to be doing Vanishing Journey dailies on five characters at a time. I do not care if it's more efficient. I don't, I could care less because it will absolutely burn me out. It's already exhausting spending two or three hours farming coins and doing all the dailies and stuff. So, the dailies for Arcane River will be focused on one character at a time. The goal for each of these symbols is going to be level 10 um, for now. Now, I, I might have mentioned this in the past, but once all these characters are 235 and they're soloing through Lomian and I'm getting my like five bill or more uh, a week from them, um, then I'm going to focus on my main character for a while, probably a few months, maybe a year. It's going to be probably a long time. Uh, and then I'll slowly, over time, go back through these characters, get them to 250, start soloing normal slime, eventually get them geared up to solo normal lucid, normal will. I mean, these are big, massive goals that I am shooting for long term, but that's why they're super long term. Um, I think I probably have it in me to do Arcane River dailies on two characters, so that would be my main and then one boss mule. I think I could probably sustain that long term, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll focus on one character for now as well as the Ilium whenever that gets to 200. Again, Ilium's not my focus right now, but I'll be focusing on the one character, get them all 10 on their symbols, then go over to... The next character do the same thing. Then once all the characters have level 10 on all their symbols minimum, uh, I will loop back around or choose whatever character I want to progress to the next stage of boss mulage. Next, I'll choose one of them and then I'll start getting their symbols up to 20, you know, maxing them out. That is, again, super long term. I, I forget exactly how long it takes to get a symbol from like base zero to 20, but it's a long time. And um, these five characters are probably going to just, they're just going to be around for like ever from here on out. So was choosing four warriors and a strength pirate the smartest choice? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If I get sick of them, getting to 235 is not the hardest thing in the world, you know? And I'll already be making so much weekly from them that raising a new character to 235 to replace them would not be difficult at all. So, those are the things I've been thinking about recently. I'm going to go ahead and get started on these dailies, and uh, I will get back to you once I am done with them on every character. So, see you in two, three hours, I guess. So, cool milestone reached. I just soloed normal Cygnus without dying. It was actually pretty easy. So, that's a pretty cool milestone to reach on this character because I was I really thought this character was just going to be weak and useless but I'm seeing the growth happen before my eyes and it feels good it feels pretty good there's an extra sage shield recipe in case I want it in the future all right I'm happy with that
I've done my dailies, I've capped on every character, and now I'm going to grind for a couple hours. I have this totem left over. I have a ton of reward points that I could use to buy more, but I just, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one. Uh, I think I can probably grind to 225 within the next day or two. And that's kind of my goal because, you know, the sooner I unlock Arcana, the better, etc, etc. More Arcane Force, more Strength and all that. But I'm here at Iliard Field 2 for two reasons. Um, one, hidden Iliard Field is too difficult. The mobs are too tanky. I can't really consistently one-shot them quite yet. Uh, and also, it never has any burning. I remember when Yum Yum first came out, I discovered hidden Iliard Field really quickly. And it always had really high burning because I guess nobody else had figured it out yet. But nowadays, everyone knows that is the map to go to. However, this map is a pretty good alternative. So I'm going to grind here for a couple hours and I'll report back with the results. One totem, two hours, and almost two entire levels from that grinding session. I was averaging about 45 to 50 billion experience per hour, which is absurd, by the way, because for reference, because I, a lot of people don't keep track of the amount of EXP they get per hour in billions. They do it by percent, which doesn't make any sense to me because percent changes based on what level you are but um in terms of a concrete number that doesn't change i was getting about 45 to 50 billion experience per hour and my mihail for reference at level 248 was getting 60 to 70 billion exp per hour um I don't know if that's a difference in reboot mob EXP because somebody in my Discord said that that might be the reason. And I don't really believe that that is the reason, at least not the only reason. It's definitely part of it, but this is this is an absurd amount of EXP to be getting. It takes me about an hour to level up one time already. Still at level 223. It's ridiculous. So Right. <clears throat> In that time, I managed to get probably about 150 to 200 million mesos. I got. I actually only got like five node stones in two hours, which is awful, horrible, horrible RNG considering I killed probably close to 30,000 monsters. Um, and aside from that, I don't really have much else to report. Um, tomorrow I might do another grinding session and then I'll get up to 225, but for today I am done. It's time to hop on a mule character and sit on an AFK map for a while. Mm. Big moment on the account. Big moment for the Hayato specifically. We just reached 30 charm and that means that if I accept this quest here, I can finally, after a couple weeks, unlock the damn pocket slot. So, this means that these Zakam helmets, they can go. This Chaos Horntail necklace can go. Actually, I'll probably hold on to it because it is a, a potentially slot-filling item until I get a Dominator. So, that's fantastic. Now, I need to go actually get the rose. 
Which isn't too hard. It'll probably take a few minutes, but I will. I'll update you guys in uh, in a little bit here. Let me just extract all this stuff. All right, we got the rose. Trust me, you guys. As long as you go to the highest level, um, mining and herbalism patch in Ardent Mill, you will get the rose very quickly. And I'm about 99% sure it drops from the other levels as well. But I always go to the expert level. Um, that's just kind of a me thing. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not, but it does drop from those herb patches. I can at least 100% confirm the expert herb patches. I notice people have problems finding those a lot, and I'm not really sure why. It's it's a uh, it's pretty straightforward. It kind of just tells you, and I, I guess I understand that Maple Stories generally Maple Story generally has a history of not always giving all of the information required for something. But regardless, this unlocks our pocket slot. And finally, we can get this extra nearly 40k damage increase, putting us up to almost 8,000 strength. This character is now officially just about as strong as any of my other boss mules currently are. And that is fantastic, because that pretty much puts, them, puts her on par with, with everyone else, and the rest of the journey should be fairly straightforward. We're primarily looking to get these last 12 levels, and then from there, it's all about being able to clear up to Lomian. I should theoretically be able to kill Normal Slime as well, but Normal Slime is a boss I've fought like two times in my life, and I've never beaten it, so I don't really even know how to do it yet. All the other bosses prior to that, I understand them, and they're fairly easy for me to learn on a new character. But things are looking good for this Hayato. I was worried for a while that things wouldn't be so simple. But it seems to be working out. Nearly 8,000 stat. We have good levels on our symbols so far. Still need to get Arcana unlocked. And uh, I guess that's all for now. Back to capping. Um, I also got new mouse feet for my mouse, and as you can see, there seems to be some kind of weird drifting problem with the sensor. It could be dirty. See, that's weird. I don't know why it would be doing that. Hold on, uh, this is this is going to be a pain in my ass. It seems to only happen if I'm not holding the mouse down. So if the mouse is just sitting there... It slowly moves up. That's so weird. Whatever. That has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay. Uh, back to capping. I have a lot of stuff. I have 1.6 billion mesos I can use, and I have a ton of flames and extra cubes here. So I'm gonna throw them on the Sweetwater Katana. And try to get something good. Let me go to an actual, like, an actual map that I like. Ooh. I haven't been here in a long time. Oh my god, this sh this is so nostalgic. Can I hyper teleport? No, I can't. I can't save this map. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, throw some cubes on this. See if we get anything good. We're looking for two lines of a combination of attack, boss, or IED. No tear up, unfortunately. Attack and damage is not really what I'm after. Attack and two lines of decks. Damn, nothing. All of that for nothing. Well, let's look at some other gear that we have here. So, uh, all of this, obviously, there's not much I can do with that. Um, I think my flames are generally pretty good, if I remember correctly. There's not really any flame here that really stands out as being, like, really horrible, so... I'm not entirely sure what to do with these flames right now. I could always throw them on the extra pink holy cup I got, because I got an extra pink holy cup drop from uh, Pink Bean, and I thought, 
Uh, I'll just keep that around, maybe flame it a little bit here and there to uh, see if I can get it better, make it better than my um, my other one. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to focus on trying to get two lines on this weapon. While it's not strictly necessary, it is something that I want to do, so I'm going to try to go for it. Let's see if we can get something good, because if I can get two lines, this will be a huge help moving forward for um, for the account. Plus, and damage is not really that great. I think I'm just going to go ahead and re-roll that. I, it's probably not the best idea. Oh, yeah. All right. That was the that was the move. It indeed was the move to actually re-roll that. So. That is two line attack on unique, which is crazy good. Um, and now let me turn my attention to some other things. So I have this gold crescent emblem and the 30% IED is really nice. But with the sheer amount of mesos that I currently have available to me, I think I can do better. Now, again, similar thing, looking for IED and attack on this, if possible. Or two lines of attack. I'd be okay with that, too. I'm not super picky. I just want two lines on this. Ooh, that's good. Now, that does hurt my IED quite a bit. So if I go, I can't open my Legion here. If I go over to my Legion, I have it set up for IED, but I don't have my um, IED link skills on this class right now. Let me go ahead and grab those. Grab dos. Okay, so is that all of them? Yeah, I think so. This is... This only activates when you attack. So this is what our IED is looking like now. And it's kind of not amazing. Um, all this attack power is like crazy good. All three, my WSE all has attack on it. Which is good. But... I am going to be lacking in ID now, and that's not fantastic. Let me throw a couple of these extra cubes on this. See if I can get a tier up. Because another 3% extra strength would be awesome. Oh, nice. That'll easily put us over 8k. And... What else can I do? Well, I'm at 1600 coins. I don't have quite enough to... Um, to grab more equips, but I do have the option of putting more stars on my gear. Like, I could try and 15 star this. How expensive is that? And is it worth it, though, is the real question. Uh, that'll be pretty expensive for what amounts to, like, maybe 15 more stats, so I probably won't bother with that. But all things considered, with 83% IED, um, that should put me at roughly... So that'll be like a 17% like a damage reduction on Chaos Zakum. Chaos Zakum is currently who I have my eyes set on for, uh, for bossing. For like the next monster I want to clear, so... I'm kind of focused on clearing him. But let me, let me go ahead and open these nodes that I got. I think I have 10 more in storage as well, so... This might give me like a level or two on EI Jutsu or like a couple levels on Shinsoku, you know, uh, all in all, it, it's got it. It's going to be good regardless of what I actually end up getting. Oh, so I, I mentioned the um, I got new mouse feet for my mouse, the Logitech. What is it? G Pro X Super Light, the really expensive one. Um, it was like a hundred and fifty dollar mouse. I love this thing, but I got new mouse feet for it and these things have Zero friction. It is absurd. It is so low friction that it's actually hard to double click on things. So yeah, it's 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 odd. So let me go to a node master because I'm kind of getting to the point where I almost need new gear. Um, one option I do have is trying to get 9% on a couple pieces. So I'll probably do that because I do have 400. Um, 400 little thingies, whatever they're called, occult cubes. 
Yeah, some more Falcon's Honor damage won't hurt. Okay, make sure those nodes weren't better. Um, I have one EI Jutsu. That's not bad. Summer Rain, Falcon's Honor, Shinsoku. Anything really good here. There was a Ryblade Flash, but the other two skills are absolutely useless. You know, having a second Shinsoku node might not hurt. Um, instant slice. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to that instant slice. So this skill would be good, but I have it on my Bera Mihail. Oh, and you can see the uh, the issue with the mouse drifting. I still haven't fixed that. It is it is very annoying. Um, the cooldown is 240 seconds, and it doesn't really line up with a lot of other cooldowns. So it's kind of an annoying skill to use. So I'm probably just going to avoid using it. I also think I'm going to go ahead and use this node as well, because it has Summer Rain, Falcon's Honor, and Shinsoku. It's not, like, amazing, but having Falcon's Honor and Shinsoku is, is a great combination. So I think... Yeah, I think I'll just disassemble all of these. And that will be good node shards. All right. So now I have a couple options. I'm thinking if I max out EI Jutsu, because the way I've been bossing, and I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but I've been using this skill as burst. And um, it seems to be working pretty well. So having it upgraded even further would help a lot. So that puts it up to level 9, 13% final damage for 23 seconds. Yeah, leveling it is getting really painfully slow now, though. Um, it is, what level is it? 14 out of 30, so it's about halfway there. So, you know, it's, it's not incredible, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to grab 6% stat on a couple pieces of gear. And then, uh, or nine percent stat rather. I think I said six percent. I meant nine percent. Um, try to grab nine percent, and depending on where I sit after that, I might try to go take on Chaos Sacrum because I'm pretty sure I can do it at this point. My IED is a little low, but it's not awful. Um, in fact, I think this IED might be enough to do three doors. So that's, you know, maybe that's something worth considering as well. All right, let's get on this. We'll start with the rings. There we go, 9% strength on there. Uh, next I'm gonna do the synergy ring. Actually, hold on. The synergy ring is gonna get the Meister Cube treatment, so I guess I'll hold off on that. This has 12 strength on it on the second line, so that's kind of okay. Uh, we'll go with the belt next. So I've rolled 9% um, HP twice. I've rolled 9% dex twice. I've rolled 9% int twice. I've rolled 9% def like six times. <laughs> this is absurd. I know that rolling for two lines of stat on epic gear is not the most efficient thing to do. There we go, finally. It was- it took forever to get to that point. Oh, dude, I need to tear this up. What the hell am I doing? I need to get this to epic. There we go, 6% strength on that is okay. But we're at 8,300 strength. If I go do my arcane dailies, I'll definitely level up uh, Lachlan. So that's another 100 strength right there, which is really good, obviously. Obviously, guys. Uh, I could just keep rolling and use all of these to try and get 9%, but I don't really know if that's worth it. It's nice, but man, it's, it's a lot to ask. 
I don't know. I think I'm gonna go check out uh, Chaos Zakum, see how I do against him, and make my decision from there. Oh, I forgot to switch to my preset. Okay, I'm at 88.4. That's not horrible. That's actually doable. Let's go take on Chaos Zakum. I think I can do it now, finally. Seriously though, by the way guys, um, can we please get that update that, uh, that lets us use presets, maybe? That'd be cool. Alright. If I can't kill Chaos Zakum with these stats at this level, I'm gonna be very pissed off. Because there seems to be nothing that's holding me back at this point, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit another milestone. I That was actually a really easy kill, so I feel good about that. Now, where does that put me progression-wise? Um, Chaos Zakum doesn't give anything that's particularly great, and I didn't get any drops anyway, so whatever. But looking at some of the other bosses... Um, I think I might want to try taking on Chaos Von Bon. Um, that might be punching a little bit above my weight class right now, but I kind of want to get an estimate of where I'm at strength-wise right now. So I'm just going to try it out and see where I land. You know what I mean? So let's do it. Because here's the other thing. If I can kill one of these guys... That's going to be a huge step towards being able to kill the other two. So really the plan is just be able to kill the three doors and then upgrade the items that I get to like the stratosphere and boom, we're good. Maybe just a maybe just a little bit of help here and there would be uh appreciated. So let's go Try to take on Queen. Now, Queen is going to be a whole other ball game. What am I doing? Queen. Queen has totally different mechanics. Um, Von Leon, or Von Bon is pretty much the most basic straightforward of the three doors. So that's kind of why I started with him. Wait a minute. If I can do this, why don't I just use that to clear this area? Okay, I'm just going to start doing that. All right, let's see if maybe I can do it. I still, I can't survive the, the breath because it's going to one-shot me if I do it, if I get hit by it, so. I was kind of trying to avoid getting hit by the 
flames, whatever. Probably won't make a difference anyway. No, come on, that didn't destroy it. One Phantom Blade doesn't destroy it. Are you kidding me? Okay. Ugh, oh, this is so frustrating. This is so frustrating. I'm gonna just have to sit here for the next like four hours doing these bosses over and over because I can very clearly kill them. Like that much is obvious. Like you, there's no debating that I can kill them. It's just a matter of mechanics and these bosses are boss mechanics that I never have to deal with because I usually just burst them down. And this class is one that I'm still new to, so this is going to be a hell of an adventure over the next few hours. All right, first one down. We killed Chaos Crimson Queen. It was rough, but I figured it. I've never seen this in the. This is an interesting dagger to get. Um, yeah, we did it. I I, I killed Chaos Crimson Queen. It was pretty rough, but um, I talked to my friend and uh, managed to figure out a strategy for what I was missing. All right. <clears throat> and that should be, yeah, that's plenty for a hat. Unfortunately, we do have one problem. Um, I spent a lot of my mesos trying to get my secondary to legendary. It, it helped, but I'm completely broke again. So 
It's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. And what I can do now... I wasted all my flames, too. I used all my flames on my, um... Damn it. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this. Actually, should I do that? Well, I will, I will, I'll lose the set effect. Oh, never mind. That set effect's not that big of a deal, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer these over. Everyone say hello to our brand new CRA helmet. The first piece of mini in the future. And the one added benefit of this is this actually looks nice. It doesn't look like absolute garbage. Let me see if I can maybe 12 star this. Nice. Okay. Fantastic. That is our first piece of CRA gear, and it is not a big damage increase. In fact, it's probably not a damage increase at all. Um, next on the list is going to be... This dude, and I think I am prepared to kill him because I got some more advice. I asked people, hey, can you give me some tips here? Because I have never really done these bosses, so I'm not intimately familiar with their mechanics. But I think I figured out my biggest weakness on this boss, and I think I know how to tackle it. So let's do it. Alrighty. We did it, guys. Two 
of the four CRA doors are completely defeated. It was a rough journey. It took me, how long was that? Almost two hours of just sitting here doing the bosses back and forth until I got it. And, uh, well, I think, uh, I think things turned out pretty well for us. So I got the top and this kind of puts me in a weird spot because, um, I don't. I think it might be better to just equip the top and not have any pants. I think that might still be... Okay, no strength at all, really. I think that might still be better than uh, what I currently have, so... I guess we're going to be pantsless for a while? Anyway, uh, let me go grab a level 140 item. Where do I usually farm those? Right, I remember. Let me go grab level 140 overall so I can transfer this. I spent so much time fighting Sea Queen and Sea Bon Bon that my familiar actually expired and ran out of time. Alright, I got an overall. We are going to transfer. We're going to make sure that it's a, a damage increase. No, that is a huge damage decrease. So, okay, so we're down 30,000 uh, 30, damage. Let's see if we can make that up. Yeah, that's actually, that's more than made up for. Fantastic. All right, let's get this to 12 stars. I'm, you guys, I am spent. I am so exhausted. Two hours of focusing on bosses on a new class. Way too much. Way too much to fucking deal with, so... I'm gonna call it a day after this, but I do really want to get this up to... 12 stars first. This... These pieces of gear are never going to be replaced. So, moving forward, I want to get these to Legendary with two lines of stat. Would also really like to get this to 12 stars, if possible. Come on, this is gonna use all my money. Yeah, I don't even have any mesos. <sighs> I'm so fucking tired. Just, I'm, ugh. I don't have anything I can sell. I'll sell these off. That's a lot of money, actually. Just 12 stars, please. Thank you. Done with that. <sighs> We're almost at 9k strength. <clears throat> 9,000 strength. The next goal is going to be getting to 230 or so, maybe even 235. I don't know, I'll probably focus on doing that as fast as possible. I think we're just gonna be pantsless for a while. I don't really see any other alternative. Um, this top is better than anything else I can get that would fill this slot. So I guess this is what we're doing for a while. I don't know when I'm gonna try to take on Pierre. Pierre is very difficult. Um, and as far as I can tell, Hayato really doesn't have any kind of strong burst, so... But yeah, since we're broke... We don't really got a whole lot going for us right now. Basically, moving forward is going to be grinding, grinding, grinding. And once I get to 235, it's going to be a matter of getting this gear set up. And then, um, hopefully reaching, I want to reach 20k stat. 20k stat is kind of the goal, uh, for this character for now. To sort of, uh, let her just sit for a while and accumulate mesos every week. And then in the future, we will, um, we'll discuss getting her stronger and leveling her up more. But I feel pretty good about that. It was very, very rough. Unlocking these pieces of gear, but I did it. And I'm going to bed. <laughs> Maintenance just happened a couple hours ago, and uh, considering where we are in the progression of this character right now, I figure one of the best ways I could spend my time currently is to level up to 225 and unlock Arcana. 
We're getting relatively close to wrapping up the Vanishing Journey symbol for now. Uh, once that gets to level 10, I'm gonna be done leveling it for a while. And you might be able to hear that noise in the background, and that's actually a thunderstorm going on right now. It has been happening for the past, like, three hours. Uh, I don't know where it came from. It seemed to have just appeared with no warning, but, you know, whatever. Um, it doesn't seem to be severe enough that it's going to cut out my power or anything, so I'm just going to grind for a few hours, and uh, I'll easily, easily get to 225. Um, but I'll probably run out the whole, the whole totem and, uh, go from there. Because right now, if I'm being honest, all I really want to do on this character at this point after, oh god, how long have I been playing this character now? Let me check. Has it seriously been less than two weeks? That's crazy. Well, I mean, I've been playing this character for, like, about roughly two weeks at this point, then. And I really honestly just want to get it to 235 so I can stop playing it because I don't enjoy grinding on this class. It's really fast and it's efficient and it's not really that hard or exhausting. It was when I first started. It was very difficult and very tiring to grind on this character. But now after doing it so much, it's really not that big of a deal to me, but I don't really enjoy it. So. I want to get to, uh, to 235, I want to unlock all the symbols, and I want to just start getting them to level 10, because once they're all level 10, that'll be, I think it's 1300, no, this should be 1200 uh, per symbol, so 12, 24, 36, that's 7200 strength from symbols alone. Um, adding that... 5,100 extra to what I currently have will put me at about 14,000 stat. So, theoretically, you know, that, that alone is a huge improvement. And once I get to 20k stat, that's kind of my goal. I think I've sort of mentioned it before, but 20k stat is roughly where I want to stop this character. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and do it. Get to work. I got um, probably somewhere like 20 to 25 more hours of grinding. To get to 235, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grind to 235. Not right now, but I'll grind to 225 right now. Mm. All right. Um, I'm going to do some AFK fishing for a while while I work on some stuff, but... Uh, we got 10 mil experience, which is pretty good. This is probably the highest I've ever <laughs> reached on any old school RuneScape character, so that's pretty great. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to be fishing sharks, which I know is not efficient, but I'm doing it anyway because I want to. Wait a minute. Oh shit, this is not the right game. You know what's actually insane? <laughs> This is fucking crazy. So, my Bera Mihail has like 4.5 mil range unbuffed. And my Hayato, who has less than half the stat, has 3.5 mil buffed. I don't even know how that's possible. I also don't know what the sources of damage boosts are. See, do I just get damage when... When I use that, I don't understand what, what what where all this damage is coming from. This class is fucking busted, and anybody who thinks otherwise is in denial. Alright, it's time to turn in these dailies. I've turned in most of them already, and I've gotten two levels on my symbols so far, so that's pretty good. I need to do the weekly one. I should have accepted that first. I don't, I definitely won't be getting a level here, but that's two levels, that's 200 more strength, which is pretty good. Um, and I need to finish capping, because I did not during the dailies, apparently. I have no idea what map would be best uh, for this character. I've been grinding here at Rev 3. Rev 3 has proven to be pretty good. But... It's uh, still not, like, that much better than anything else, 
it's not like significantly better than anything else lately, so I don't know. Uh, hoping that I can train an Arcana very soon, but I'm still kind of two-shotting every mob there, so it's not really viable. I might end up staying here until 2.30, so I don't know. I'm just going to finish capping, and then, uh, then we can go buy that ring. See, now I have 3.8... 3.9 mil damage. I don't understand this class. Anyway, we got 3,500 coins. And now I can go buy that 5% crit rate... Crit damage ring, which will also give me crit rate. So it's like a double whammy. Day of Nostalgia. Is that already happening? Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. I didn't realize this was... Okay, let's find out. They didn't actually play Latulin music, did they? They didn't just do that, right? No, okay. It must be Magadia then. Let's go to Magadia, and I'm pretty sure that's the song. I had to alt tab because I had to pause my own music to hear it. Yeah, I thought so. 300 coins, dude. That's insane. That's brazy. Let me make sure I check in. Okay. Great. That was a lot of extra stuff that I didn't intend to do just now. So, let's actually do what I said I was going to do and get this freaking ring. Dude, I'm excited for this. Because this is going to be a damage increase for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's just a stronger ring. Like, it's just a stronger ring. That's all there is to it. It has so much more attack power. It's, it's a damage increase regardless of the fact that it has no star force and has no um, other stuff, whatever the other thing words that I was going to say were. So with that, we now have 84% crit damage. And what I can do here is I'm going to have to, this is going to kind of suck, but I'm going to have to reset all of this because if you look now, my crit rate like, am I on the right board? I am not. Let me just make sure my crit rate is at 100. So, it's at 80. Um, do I have link skills? I do have my link skills. I don't have the right ones, though. Why do I not have my crit rate link skills on? <clears throat> well, that's 89, and then if I add in... No, 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 that's with decent sharp eyes, because I've got this pet... Okay, so that's with Decent Sharp Eyes, uh, and that means I'm going to need a little more, and that is where Phantom Instinct comes in. Which means I'll have to get rid of probably this one. And that puts me at 100% without any investment in crit rate hyper stats. That's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and invest as much as I can into crit damage. This will put me, like, what, 87? 86? Put as much as I can into IED. Almost 94% IED. Boss damage is very important as well. Sure, get that maxed out. And then damage percent is pretty important. So I'm going to go ahead and put points into this. But I'm also going to put points into attack power as well. Because I do kind of want to scale my attack power up a little bit. And the more attack you have, the more influence percent attack has on your... Uh, on your damage range so that you know overall I don't know if that's really like an amazing improvement in damage but it is damage improvement we lost some strength which sucks but I'm going to be doing more damage now and that's what matters let me also go over to this preset as well because I'm pretty sure I have way too much crit rate here yeah see I don't need any crit rate I don't need any crit rate uh what am I trying to say? I don't need any crit rate investment anymore. So I'll do normal monster damage. I'll do bonus EXP. I'm going to stop investing in Arcane Force as well. Because Arcane Force, it's a crutch. Like I said a couple episodes ago, it's a crutch that I rely on when I'm getting started. And I think this character is kind of past that point. 
So we need crit damage as well on this one. 86% crit damage is not bad, by the way. That's pretty freaking good. Though I have heard of people getting well over 100%, and that's like insane to me. Okay, I don't have enough for that, so we'll just do attack power, and that should be... That should... That should be a, a solid damage increase all around. Uh, I'm happy with that. This Treasure Hunter John's ring is almost as good as the Noble Iphia's ring. I think if the Noble Iphia's ring didn't have that extra 12 or that extra 12 strength line, the Treasure Hunter John's ring would be better. Uh, one more quick thing I'm just going to do here real quick is open all of these nodes. I still don't have a Rice on Rinzon node, but, you know, I've been doing okay without it. I have the nodes that I need, even though they're kind of a mess. And I'm not getting enough nodes that it's really worth justifying uh, optimizing them right now. So, I'll head over to a node master, see if I got anything good. I do notice that I got an EI Jutsu node, and that's helpful. That's always very helpful. Is that a level up? It is a level up, ladies and gentlemen. That puts us at an extra... Percent final damage per stack, giving us a total of 56% final damage? No, 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 I was multiplying it by four. It's a lot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much, and it lasts 24 seconds, which is an extra second. So that's fantastic. Um, next on the list, I have two Shinsoku nodes, and the reason for that is because this character is primarily bossing focused, as you know. But, you know... As I always have to do whenever I open nodes, I have to make sure that I didn't get anything crazy good here. Because there's always that chance, even if it is a small one. I would love to have this skill. Uh, but it's just so, it's just such a minor damage increase. It doesn't line up with the burst. Of this class, oh, I'm assuming it doesn't, but I don't even know how this class bursts, to be honest, so. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, I need to level up this node, because this will be a very easy source of Shinsoku damage and Falcon's Honor damage. Which is a skill I use a lot when bossing, because of the... Um, the, the, the sword energy gain. Um, so... You know, it's very important that I keep that up. Level 3 is fine. That's an extra 6%, or 4%, I guess. Oh, look at that bishop. I wish I, could, I wish I enjoyed bishop more. I always want to enjoy bishop, but I just never can. I can never get into it the way I want to. Anyway, that is a 36% damage on Batojutsu. Or Shinsoku, not Batojutsu. Uh, yeah, Jutsu Phantom Blade is good, and the next level we get on it isn't even going to be a percent final damage or duration increase, which sucks, but we gotta do it anyway. Everything else, relatively unimportant. Erda Nova is something that I would love to get to max level at some point, but it's so low priority. Sudden Strike is such a weak skill. It's very annoying that I can't really one-shot with it consistently unless I'm training on lower level mobs, but... Uh, all in all, I'd say that was a solid... Uh, improvement for the character. Next on the list is going to be getting a Chaos Ring. That'll probably replace this or the Iphia's Ring. I'm thinking the Silver Blossom Ring because the Iphia's Ring has the same stats, but it can be 15 starred. So it is better overall than the Silver Blossom Ring. Um, having a ring with no potential does suck, and I only have four days left on this pendant, so you know what I could probably do is just kind of hunker down and grind up to 235. You know, four days is a long time for somebody to get from 225 to 235, so... I don't know. A lot of think. A lot of think. Alright. Well, you know what time it is. It's time for dailies. Um, I might cap on one or two other characters just for the sake of consistency. I guess I'm just going to grind because I have a lot of EXP coupons that I can use. I have this custom title. I have this prepared spirit of pendant. I have the, um, the, the, the totems for it. Like I'm, I'm set as far as grinding goes. So I'll probably do that very soon and I'll probably try to grind to 230. 
it's a lot to expect tonight in one session, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. It's 1.20 a.m., so it's going to be kind of tight, but I could probably do it. Okay, so this is actually, this is actually, this is actually interesting. Uh, I just got a black bean mark from Pink Bean, and this is... If you look at the stats, obviously it's better than the Aquatic Letter I accessory, and it also gets a lot more stars. So I think if I flame this, this will actually be a better accessory than what I have. Um, it's also worth noting this is a part of the boss accessory set, so I don't lose anything. So this is a, this is a pretty good drop. This will be a small damage increase. It's not going to be anything crazy. Um, 20 strength, 5 attack, and 5 all stat, but the flames on it are ridiculous. The flames you can get on this thing are absurd. But yeah, that's a better flame than what I had on the Aquatic Letter I accessory, so we're already set there. Let me see if I can get a tear up on this. Good. Good thing that didn't work. You know what? I might still have a VPN on now that I think about it. Oopsie. Okay, that was kind of annoying, but yeah, I, I had to I had to disable my VPN. Oh, that's a tear up, baby. Let's go. Things are, you know, honestly, as much as I complain, things are going really well on this uh Mihai on this Hayato overall. There's not that much that uh, that I'm struggling with, and you know what? I'm feeling so good today. Let's go for nine percent strength. See, I told you. I told you. Things are just going super well for this Hayato, and I don't really get why, but I'm not going to complain. This is a really good item to get while we don't have access to uh, Sweetwater stuff, and I'm probably not going to bother with, with... I'm not going to bother with Sweetwater stuff for a while. Uh, at, like, I don't need Sweetwater in order to clear Lomian, so I'm probably not going to bother getting it until I uh, go beyond that point. We'll just, I'll just 12 star this. Uh, I could probably try to go for 15, but I don't think I really have the mesos for it. Uh, and that is a 100 strength increase. Thank you very much. And with that, we are officially upgraded a little bit. That's cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting to get another small upgrade like that. Like like at all ever uh, that's pretty cool okay um i need to keep doing my bosses i think i only have a couple left i managed to i can clear arcarium pretty quickly now arcarium is not a problem for me anymore ranmaru hard ranmaru is still kind of a pain because he can still one shot me really easily my uh strength isn't or my my hp isn't really up to snuff quite yet but I think if I play it right, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh! Ah, and there's the death. That, thir that 30 second potion cooldown that they added was one of the worst things they could have done to this boss. It went from being like an easy boss to just a pain in the ass unless you can, unless you can absolutely shred his HP. Like I'm doing right now. Okay, really? Alright, there we go. So yeah, that boss kind of sucks until you're strong enough to just annihilate him. Um, and with that, we are done with daily bosses. And I'll probably hop on my Ilium. Uh, because I have a couple goals with my Ilium. I want to get it to level 200. Uh, and fifth job to see whether or not I actually really want to play it long term. If I were to base it off of my experience so far, the answer is absolutely 100%. It is super fun. It is probably the most fun magician I've ever played. Uh, I think Bishop is just a close second. 
Um, oh my god, I bought a ton of totems. I forgot I did that. Yeah, I already have six totems, so... That's not gonna be quite enough to get to 235, but it'll get me pretty close to it. Um, okay, over to the Ilium, I suppose. I'm gonna extract these. Goodbye, aquatic letter eye accessory. I hate you anyway. You look very ugly. And I'm very happy to have something that looks a little better. It doesn't even have to look better. It just has to look different. All right. Now, uh, on to the Ilium. I've capped on the Ilium. I've done a few other things here and there. But um, now it's time to hunker down and grind up to 230. And uh, I will not record anything until I am at 2.30. So I will see you, well, very soon from your perspective, but probably in like six to eight hours from my perspective. Hello, gamers. It has been a while. I don't know exactly how long it's been since I last recorded. I want to say less than a week. Um, I don't know. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I just ate. But today is, I believe, the last day of the cube sale. Now, I don't have a ton of mesos, but I do have some that I can use. And I have um, one goal in mind, or I guess two goals. Sort of. And these can probably be accomplished with red cubes. Um, I'll just, I'll do 60 for now. I didn't realize it was 30 of them in one package. That's insane. Um, right, so the goal is... I want to get my two CRA equips that I currently have up to legendary. I know for a fact that these will never be replaced, no matter what. I mean, by the time I get to the point where I'm doing Saren and... Is Saren the one who gives you the the new the new gear set that they're releasing? I don't remember. But by the time I get to that point, I mean <laughs> that's optimistic to think that I ever will get to that point on this character. So for the most part, these are never gonna be replaced. So let's go ahead and try to cube them up to legendary. We're looking for legendary with two line of stat. Um that's kind of a lot to ask. And we're gonna start with the top first, but I think I think I might be able to do it, especially if I get a couple lucky rolls and uh, tear up relatively quickly. I think the first goal is gonna be with the 60 cubes to try and get both of these to legendary. I don't know how realistic that is. It's been a long time. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've cubed something to legendary, so let's uh, find out. Well, there's 9% strength, so I think for now I'm going to move over to this. This way I kind of guarantee myself an improvement on my gear either way. Alright, we got our first tier up. Unique on the helmet. Um, two line, I'd also be happy with two line unique stat, but... I mean, I don't think I'd be happy with it, like, long-term. I feel like I would just be, uh... I would just be okay with it for the time being. Alright, first round of cubes resulted in a tear up on the helmet and 9% strength on the top. Um, I need to keep using cubes on this helmet until I get something good. 9% uh, strength is a huge settle for a unique helmet, so I'm gonna go buy more. This is going to be about all I can afford, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if I can get anything good. Two line of strength would be okay for this helmet. Um, but again, like I said, I do want to tear up to legendary if possible. I've rolled 12% strength a couple times. I haven't gotten anything better than that. I should be able to get 15% strength 
relatively easily. Like, look at that. That's 18% luck right there. Can I not get, like, an okay strength roll? Is this not a thing that's going to happen? There's 15% int. I've I've rolled everything that I possibly can except for strength. As far as two line stat goes. Even HP. It's the it's the usual the, the thing that always seems to happen on this character when I'm cubing is I, I always, without fail, roll everything I possibly can that isn't strength. See, there's luck again. Oh my god, that took forever! Alright, 15% strength is kind of a settle. But, I mean, considering the cubes that I have access to, it's not really that much of a settle. Um, let me see if I can get anything good here. Maybe a tier up, maybe, maybe like a lucky tier up with a 15% strength roll? Instantly? Maybe? You never know. Okay, no. I do know, and the answer is no. We're not getting anything. Um, I do have a couple cubes I can still use. Probably shouldn't use Meisters on this right now. We'll do a, um, Master Craftsman's first. I mean, even if I could get Unique, Unique would be a big improvement over Epic, so... Unfortunately, it does not look like that is the case. I'm gonna roll for 9% strength on this top again, and then we'll just have to, uh... Have to accept that that's all we got from this cubing session, which is... Kinda disappointing, but... I mean, these cubes were free, and... It didn't exactly take me a ton of effort to get them in the first place. It's not like I had to grind for them, so... I'm I'm not really like upset about it, just a little unfortunate. There's that Demon Avenger potential that we've been looking for. There's that Demon Avenger potential that we've been looking for. I I have to roll nine percent strength again eventually, right? Like. Right? Right, guys? Like, I have to, right? Oh my god. It took so long. It just took so long to roll that. Okay, so before I cubed these two things, I had 10.5 thousand stat. Let's see where I'm at now. Ah. It's good. 10.8 thousand. We made a lot of good gains with that 2 billion mesos that I just spent. Some, uh, some good gains today. Some really good gains today. Anyway, ignoring uh, all that, which was basically amounted to just a waste of time and mesos, um, I'm level 230. I got to level 230, like, yesterday-ish, or whatever, but I've been on a huge old-school MapleStory kick lately, so I haven't been spending a ton of time in GMS. Um, that'll probably, I'll probably come right back to GMS within like a week or two, I'm not concerned with that long term, it's just... It's a, it's a problem I have, I have, uh, I have pretty bad ADD, so I tend to, uh, switch interests very quickly. It's hard to build a YouTube channel when you have a, uh, a problem like that. But, I'm level 230, and... Now I have access to Morass. I have not done the Morass pre-quests yet. I probably should have, because I already did my dailies today, and it would have made sense to just do Morass, get it out of the way, reduce the number of dailies for previous areas, and also have access to upgrading the Morass symbol. But I didn't do it because I was being lazy, and I really just did not feel like it. <clears throat> but uh, I think I'm going to... God, I really don't want to do them. It's just so frustrating. I really wish we had access to... It, I really wish we had the update that allowed us to skip the damn pre-quests. I'm so sick of doing these pre-quests. I've done them like a dozen times each at this point. 
but I have to I have to do them at some point. It'll probably take an hour or so, so I should just suck it up and do it. But also another important thing, I've accumulated 68 node stones over the past few levels of grinding, which is not bad. That's not a bad amount. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and open these and we're going to try to get EI Jutsu upgraded more because while it is nice to have Sanrenzan nodes, um, not Sanrenzan, Shinsoku nodes. I mean, Sanrenzan nodes would be nice too, because I do find myself using Sanrenzan every so often now when I grind, because it does enough damage to actually, like, two-shot things. Which is acceptable, it's not one-shotting, but, you know, whatever. Um, while it would be nice to have those nodes, EI Jutsu Phantom Blade is going to be way better than anything else. Um... So I, I just, I really just do need to focus on that alone. Uh, someone asked why I'm not using a holy symbol node. And to be honest with you, there's no reason I'm not. There's absolutely no reason. I just forgot and I just didn't care. I guess I didn't think about it because grinding on this character has not been a priority. It's just always been like, yeah, I'll get to 235 eventually. I still have two more weeks. 15, 16, 17, closer to three weeks to... um to reach 235, so, like, I'm really not concerned with it. Uh, grinding's not a big deal to me. And that being said, if I do get a Holy Symbol node here, I'll probably try to use it. Um, one of the problems I'm running into is I'm not... I don't have a pet. I don't have a third pet. And I've been trying when I run, um... I mean, I have this, this thing can't learn. Pet skill buff. Um... Or auto buff pet skill. Yes, those words. But when I run Heart Hilla, I just, I haven't gotten a pet. I got the black hearted earrings and, you know, I'm not rich. I, uh, I might have a fire starter ring in Bera, but that was a lot of luck. And, uh, saving $4 on a pet would be a nice, would be a nice thing to do. So I'm just kind of waiting until I get a black heart pet from Hilla. So that's one of the problems with Holy Symbol is I would have to auto buff it myself or manually buff it. <laughs> I'd have to auto buff it myself, also known as manually buffing. Uh, I hate manually buffing. I really try hard to avoid it, but if I have to, I have to. So let's look at these nodes and see if I get anything good. So right off the bat, I can see Holy Symbol. An extra 20% EXP would make a huge difference getting to 235, because let me let me actually get the numbers for you. So I can tell you exactly how much EXP it would save me. Well, not exactly, but like roughly, theoretically. If it works the way that I think it works. So at level 230, I have 888 billion EXP gained. At level 235, I'll have 1.6 billion. So I'm about halfway. Actually, almost exactly halfway to 235 right now. Um, and 20% of almost 900 billion would be 180 billion. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much absolutely worth using, even at level 1. Now, that being said, let me take a look through these nodes. See if I got anything good, and then we will focus on upgrading stuff. Well, while I'm here, let me just do the usual quick upgrades. Rye Blade Flash. I don't use Rye Blade Flash. I use Rice on Renzon. I might be wrong about that, but I don't see any reason to use Rye Blade Flash. So there's an extra 4% final damage on Shinsoku. Oh, also this note as well. Let me make sure. Falcon's Honor, Hitokiri Strike. Would that be better? I think that would I think this one, this node would be an improvement, so let me find it. It's uh it's a Falcon's Honor node. Let me go ahead and upgrade this one. So this one's gonna be an improvement, because uh, while I don't use Hitokiri Strike all that much, I use it way more than whatever that other skill was. Uh, it's it's not really that important. Okay, I've looked through all the nodes. I haven't found anything very good We're just gonna disassemble them all Get ourselves some node shards and then I'm going to 
Well, I could upgrade Decent Holy Symbol, but lowering even further the amount of time that I spend grinding will result in fewer node stones overall, which will make it harder to reach max level on EI Jutsu. So, in the interest of consistency, we're going to go ahead and craft some EI Jutsu nodes and just focus on this skill alone. Is that going to be level 14? Oh, so close. So close, level 14. So we have 15% final damage for 25 seconds, which is fantastic. Next level will be 16 for 26 seconds. This skill is absurd. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why they would balance a skill like this, but hey, whatever. I'm cool with it. Um, one more level on Falcon's Honor, and I actually get a max target increase because right now it hits 14 enemies. And that's actually, you know what? 14 versus 15 is not that big of a deal, so I'm not worried about it. What about Sudden Strike? It hits 10. That would be a more important increase for, uh, for Sudden Strike, but... Uh, overall, that's 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 kind of it. What was that? Three levels for Phantom Blade? That's not bad. It's not good. Um, yeah, that's 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 all right. Okay, so uh, off to do more la more lass. Off to do more lass, and then, oh god, then I will have the fifth symbol putting me. One away from being done with uh, with symbols on this character. Well, new symbols, I guess. I do still have to level them a lot, but that's not a huge deal. That's not as big of a deal to me as just getting to the level where I unlock the symbols. So, right. Let me, uh, let me do this and uh, get back to you guys in a moment. Oh, my God. That took so long. I'd get, ah, uh, that took so long, dude. I, I finished the Moras pre-quests. I got the symbol. I can do dailies now. Um, doing dailies here is going to be very difficult because I could go buy Moras symbols from the store or I could use these uh, 100 symbol selectors that I got for it. But I want to save these for Esfera because as difficult as Moras is, Esfera is going to be even more difficult because I'm only going to be level 235. So unfortunately, leveling this symbol is going to be a struggle. It's going to increase the duration of my dailies probably by another 10 minutes or so, um, which I'm not excited about. But hey, I mean, maybe it'll uh, maybe the, the, the reduction from the, uh, the other days, like uh, now I can start doing Lachlan, uh, Dream Defender, which will help a little bit, I guess. Uh, but, you know, the reduction for the previous quests might make up for the difference. Either way, it's going to kind of suck because these monsters are really hard for me to kill right now. But with all of that, that puts us at 11.1 thousand stat, meaning we need 8,900 more to reach my goal. Oh, my God. <sighs> Exhausting. Hey, guys. I just woke up a little bit ago. My sleep schedule is kind of shifting into something a little more normal. It's very interesting. Uh, now that I have the date and time showing on my progression videos, you can actually watch as my sleep schedule sort of shifts back and forth. And I say back and forth because while it is shifting to a more normal sleep schedule now, it will definitely, without a doubt, be back to what it was before in a month or so. So. I've been doing a little bit of thinking. I finished the Moras prequest. We talked about that already. Um, but I think I kind of wasted my mesos buying all those cubes. Um, I think it was kind of due to RNG. Overall, I did get a strength increase, but it was only an increase of like 300 stat. Uh, and not to mention, this is including, where is it? Hybrid logic, which gives me an extra 10%. What, what am I at without that? 10, 8, 4, 8, 7, 4. Okay, so um, I feel like those mesos, while it was tempting. Do I have a cat meowing? No, that's just. That's just the background music. While it was tempting to buy cubes since they're 25% off, I think it was a mistake for me at this point in my progression. My gear does not need to go beyond epic for a while. 
Like, a lot of these things don't need to be legendary. Weapon secondary emblem probably should be legendary. Emblem I'm not touching because it's already 18, 15% attack. Um, that's not a lot. I think I'll probably try to improve that at some point before this uh, Hayato is officially considered done. But I feel like my Mesos could have been better spent on Miracle Circulators because this whole time I've had this Hayato, I have never managed to roll 20% boss damage uh, or 30 attack. Neither of those abilities have ever come up since I started this character. And I feel like I should have probably invested in the uh, the circulators instead of doing the the cubes, because I could have probably rolled 20% boss really easily. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I can't really take it back, but, you know, um, I just wanted to throw that in here before I go start playing old school Maple Story for the day. Uh, like I said, I've been in a real old school Maple Story kick as of late. What's up, guys? Um, feels like it's been a long time since I've really done anything on this Hayato. Um, I've been busy doing other stuff, recording other videos and stuff like that. And, uh, I think now is probably a good time to start the push to, uh, 235. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna grind yet. I don't know if I have the damage to grind in Arcana, I could probably grind in the forest, but probably not the cavern. Um, I'll find somewhere to grind, I'll find somewhere, and uh, I'll get good EXP rates regardless because it's it's Hayato, it's an amazing grinding class. Uh, I just figured now would probably be a good time to update you guys. Tonight is weekly reset, uh, which means I'll be getting close to 2 billion mesos from uh, my Hayato and my Mihail. I have almost 5,000 Blooming Coins right now. I'm not 100% sure what I'm saving them for. I honestly don't know. I think it might be worth buying the two Experience node Stones and using them on Phantom Blade. Um, I don't know, I'm still thinking about that. It's just, Phantom Blade is such a dumb skill. It's so ridiculously strong, and it just keeps getting stronger until it's maxed. It's ridiculous. But I don't really have a whole lot to discuss. I'm kind of just at the point now where I would like to get this character to 235, keep working on symbols. As you can see, these are these are the symbol levels that we currently have. Vanishing Journey is level 10, so it's pretty much done at this point. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing Vanishing Journey dailies too much longer. Same for Choo Choo. Choo Choo should be maxed after reset today. Um, and then whenever I unlock Esfera, the 100 symbol selector will go to the Esfera symbol, uh, because that one's going to be really hard to level up. As far as stat goes, we're still sitting around 11k. I mean, I still, I really still do need to kill Pierre at some point. I'm kind of just stalling. There's a couple reasons why I'm waiting so long. First and foremost is I'm kind of waiting for it to get closer to June because the cash shop transfer event happens at the beginning of June. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. But also just kind of trying to accumulate as much extra stat from symbols as possible so that I can eventually go take on Pierre, get the third piece of CRA stuff, and then, um, and then eventually get the weapon. It's, I don't know at what point I'm going to have the confidence to go try and kill Pierre, because I mentioned it before, but I really don't understand how to kill Pierre outside of get his health down to like 40%, 35%, and then just burst him down when you have uh, the opposite hat color. That's the only way I know how to fight him. So I'm kind of trying to wait until this Hayato is strong enough to actually burst him down, which probably involves leveling up Phantom Blade to max. Um, 
I estimate I'll probably get under a hundred more symbols on this character on the grind to 235. I don't think I'll get more than that. And if I pump those all into EI Jutsu Phantom Blade, we're definitely not getting to level 30. That's not going to happen. Plus, there's still the fact that I have to do all of these other skills as well to truly get the most out of this character. So, like, there's a, there's a, there's still a lot to do. Even when I get to 235, there's still just a ton of waiting to do. But I figured I'm kind of wasting time the longer I spend not leveling to 235. Because once I'm 235, I can start doing Esfera prequests or Esfera dailies and then focus on getting another character to 235, probably my Buccaneer. Though I was thinking of job changing the Buccaneer to a Cannon Master. Because I do like Cannon Master more. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then I can focus also more on leveling my Ilium, which will give me access to farming mesos and node stones and droplets and stuff like that. So basically, I'm just kind of wasting time not leveling this character to 235. So I figure let's go ahead and just knock this out. It'll probably take, I mean, I don't think four totems is going to do it. It's probably going to be six, six totems, maybe seven totems. It shouldn't be too bad, though. So I'm going to go find a place to level up, uh, find a place to grind. I'll probably, I'm shooting for 75 billion EXP per hour, more or less. Uh, because if I manage to do that, then I should be able to get this in under six totems. So... We'll find out, but uh, first of all, I have to find a good place to grind. So let me uh, let me go look for some. Let me go look for a map, and then maybe I'll actually be able to uh, to start grinding. Make sure I'm on all the right presets and everything. So the first map that really comes to mind is LP One. This map does not have great burning, but it seems like it's right right on the cusp of being um, a, a farmable map for me. What I'm really missing is the arcane force. If I got to 130, you know, that would probably push me over the edge. 130% damage, that is. But I just, I just don't think I can reasonably do that right now. However, there is also the fact that I could... Well, I already have four points in my arcane force, so never mind. I actually can't. So as much as I would like to grind at this map, it's really not like reasonable. Uh, and these are the lowest level monsters in the cavern, unfortunately. So I need to look towards grinding in the forest. And I need to try and find a decent map here. Now, there are a couple options that I have. Um, I mean, I've trained at these maps quite a bit. God, so annoying. I've trained at these maps quite a bit on other characters. My Mihail grinded here for a long time, and it's nine. It's stage nine burning, so I think I'll try out this map for a little bit. It should be good. I don't know if it's going to be 70 billion experience an hour good, but it might be close, so let's do this. All right, I just reached level 231, so four more to go. But I think what I'm gonna do from here on out is just do one totem a day because two hours of grinding is not so intense. Um, and I, I might have mentioned it before, but I'm not a huge fan of grinding on this character. I find it really difficult to enter that sort of zen state that you get in when you grind on a class. I feel like there's too much going on. I find myself looking at the bottom right here for my cooldowns way too often. Um, completely changing up my rotation whenever a God of Blades is up. Uh, managing my sword energy i mean there's a lot that goes into grinding on a hayato and while their grinding is very good 
Uh, I was getting about 50, 55 billion experience an hour. Um, if I, if I was actually trying really hard, I could probably get about 55 billion max right now. And that's not bad, but it's just, I think it's just too intensive for me. There's a balance um, because, you know, a lot of classes in this game are wildly different in the way that they grind. Mihail, for example, is really straightforward. I won't go into this too much because it is debatable whether or not training with Royal Guard is faster. It depends on a lot of factors, but I personally like to train without Royal Guard. And what that ends up leading to a lot of the times is a very relaxing experience where I'm literally just jumping around, pressing my mobbing skill. This is it. This is this is mobbing on a uh, on a Mihail. This is this is what this is what I got to do. Meanwhile, on my Hayato, I'm you know I'm keeping this skill going. I have to oh summer rain is a uh, is is available. I need to make sure that I cancel that animation. Oh my um my Hitokiri strike is down. I need to go ahead and use that so that I have my crit rate. I'm going to use this to clear out the mobs, and then this is back up again, and then I need to make sure I go ahead and throw this out there. Oh, my sword energy is low. I need to use Zonko. Okay, I need to summon God of Blades because that's going to clear the map, and that'll be up for 30 seconds and two minutes of downtime. Now I need to just stand over here. Oh, and I got to make sure that I'm using Phantom Blade the whole time that I'm doing all this. It's just a lot. It is a lot to deal with as if if that explanate if that example wasn't enough to kind of convince you like what I'm used to doing versus what I have to do on Hayato. So my review of grinding on a Hayato and to be completely honest, I'm really happy I'm close to done grinding on this class. It's not my thing. I like bossing on them. I think that's awesome. Bossing on a Mihail is really good. It's really effective, but I don't like grinding on this class very much. It's too much to deal with for me. So anyway, I just figured I'd throw that in there because it's something I've been thinking about a lot and I didn't want to have to wait until this character is fully geared or whatever before I talk about it because what is fully geared on this character? And this is something else that I wanted to bring up because right now we're still rocking the Royal Von Leon gear and Eventually, I'm going to want to get to a point where I have five set Abso. Once I can solo Lotus and Damien, that's not going to be a hard goal to achieve. It's just a matter of time at that point. Um, and it's not like I'm going to stop playing this character entirely once I reach 20k stat. This is a boss mule and will continue to be raised as such moving forward. So, it's on cooldown. Wait, how is it on cooldown? I need to wait till there's three seconds left. Um, yeah, so like, this character is not going to just stop at 20k stat. We're going to be moving forward after that to, uh, to make them stronger, solo the bosses quicker, effectively increasing the amount of mesos that I make per hour. Well, the effective mesos per hour, basically, and um, I don't know. I, I I don't really have much else to say. We're gonna be doing one totem a day for the next few days. I can get about sixty to seventy percent exp per totem, so it'll probably be about a week until I get to two thirty-five, which I'm okay with because, like I said, with this being as intensive as it is, I really don't want to spend a lot of time in one session grinding the Hayato. It's just too much for me, man. It's too much. Alright, I guess I'll see you guys uh, whenever I see ya. I'm really not sure what the next clip is gonna be here. Okay. So I attempted Pierre one time. It did not go very well, uh, but I got close to killing him. Oh, excuse me. And if the boss works the way that I believe it does, 
then I should actually have no trouble killing him now, so... That's gonna be my goal for today, get myself the pants. That will give me the three set, which is an extra 50 attack power, which would be nice. It's also going to be a little more IED and more stat, so it's definitely something that I need to get. Uh, Vellum, on the other hand, I could probably kill Vellum if I tried. I really do think I could, but I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Maybe in a couple days, I'll give Vellum a, a real shot. Maybe? Uh, I have the buff freezers for it, so I'm not, you know, I'm not. I believe that at this point with 11.2K stat and the, uh, the other stats that I have, it would be a rough fight, but I could probably do it. Um, one of the other problems that I run into is the investment that it's going to take to make a Fafnir weapon better than my Sweetwater weapon is pretty significant. And uh, let me take a look at the Fafnir Katana real quick. Um, 164 base weapon attack, which is less than the Sweetwater Katana. So the real benefit to the uh, Fafnir Katana would be the better flame, which means I could get a higher tier attack flame, putting the attack up above the Sweetwater Katana pretty easily. Um, plus an extra 30% boss damage, which would put me at 195%. So Fafnir is definitely worth getting. It's not like I'm going to skip it. It's just... Uh, God, I, I need to spend a lot more time with this class because I just I just don't get it. You know, there's so much to it that I don't understand. And it's the kind of class um, where if you spend too much time away from it and you kind of become rusty at its mechanics, it kind of starts to feel like a shit show. This class requires a lot more skill than I would have thought. I've said this a couple times, but in bossing, oh my god. To you Hayato mains out there, good fucking job. Good fucking job, because this class is not easy. I've played easy classes. Easiest class I've ever played is Mihail. And I say that, but I think that might be because of the amount of time I spent with Mihail that it seems really easy to me. But goddamn. I know that the learning process for Mihail was not as hard as this learning process is for Hayato. So, <laughs> I have a newfound respect for um, Hayato mains that I probably honestly didn't have before. But damn, you guys really... You got a pretty tough class to, to work with here. And uh, I think it has a, it has a, a, a medium-high skill floor. And I think it probably has a really high skill ceiling as well. Um, for all the complaining that I do about feeling weak and this and that and whatever, it really just comes down to me not being skilled enough at the class to uh, to do well. I don't know that didn't work at all. To be completely honest with you, I just want to clear Pierre and then never touch him again until I can like one shot him. Because this boss is so annoying and I don't know how to. How to kill him, so let's figure it out.
I did it. Oh my god, it was awful. I hate this boss. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the pants. Hopefully. Yeah, we got the pants. Oh my god, dude. I am not touching this boss again for a long time. But I figured out a strategy. It took a little bit of time to uh, get to that point. I fucking did it. Where's the uh where's the game audio? Oh, did I I think I muted everything, didn't I? Yeah, I muted everything. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> I thought I unmuted it, but I, I actually muted it. Okay. Oh my god, dude. That was so stressful. But now, after far too much time, we have earned a pair of pants on our own. No help from anyone. I feel pretty good about that. Let's go upgrade these a little bit. I'm gonna throw some cubes or some flames on it. Cubes and flames. See if I can get something good. Uh, ah, if that was strength. If only that was strength, man. If only. That would have been such a good flame. All right, let's head to, I think I'm just gonna head to the, uh, the general store and do stuff there. Oh my God, man. So the secret. What I eventually ended up doing was, let me see if I can go over. You you saw the fight. You saw how it went. Uh, I probably cut out a lot of it, but let me see if I can go over what my thought process was and what I was doing in that fight. For any of you Hayatos out there who are trying to uh, solo Pierre as well. Um, my stat's pretty good. It's not amazing. But basically what I did was I was able to no split him by... Oh god, it was such a fucking pain in the ass. It's such a pain in the ass method. So... Basically, what ends up happening is you have to keep or try to keep as many stacks of Phantom Blade up as possible. For a long time, I was sitting at five stacks and um, spamming Falcon's Honor to try and keep 200 Sword Energy on me at all times. If I got really low on the timer and I was the same color hat as him, I would just throw a phantom blade out at him anyway because my thought process was keeping this phantom blade is more important than the um, like 10% healing or so. I'm not sure how much a hit does, um, but it's a lot. It's uh, but it, it's worth the uh, the amount of healing that it that it um, incurred onto him. Um, and then I just slowly would whittle him down, whittle him down. Uh, every so often I would have to throw out a Phantom Blade out of same color hat, which would bring his health back up, so I'd have to whittle him down again. Uh, once I got the red hat while he was blue, um, then I just went brazy on him. I just, uh, I, I popped God of Blades and Princess's Vow. Keep in mind he was probably at 40 to 50% HP at this point, which is not the ideal spot for him to be at. But that was probably the best I could do because of the fact that I had to keep up Phantom Blade and I was constantly healing him and then bringing his health back down and then healing him again because Phantom Blade was expiring and I needed to keep Phantom Blade up so then I had to bring his health back down again. Um, in a perfect world, you would probably want to just focus. You would probably, here's what I would probably do different if I was going to do that fight again. I would get his health down to right before split phase. Um, and then I would just drop all my Phantom Blade stacks. I would farm, uh, Sword Energy with Falcon's Honor until I could use all five, um, Phantom Blades at once at the same time or immediately after each other, I suppose. And, um, then what I would do once I had a thousand Sword Energy is I would wait for the Red Hat while he was blue, and then I would throw out five Phantom Blades as quick as possible, pop a, uh, a Zonko as well. Keep in mind, this is when he's blue and I'm red. Uh, then I would pop Zonko. I would cancel Zonko with Instant Slice and then throw out as many more Phantom Blades as I can, which would be three more I think I could use. I think I'd be able to use three more. Um, of course, this would be after popping my two Burst Buffs as well. So I'd pop the Burst Buffs throw out the five Phantom Blades, use Zonko, cancel Zonko, throw out three more Phantom Blades. 
That's the best thing I could figure. That's the best way I could figure out to approach this boss. Uh, and the only kind of like burst that I could figure out how to do. So it might be a little jank, um, but it worked. And these are the stats that I had when I killed him. So I don't know. Regardless, I have cleared Pierre. And what this means is now I have three set CRA and the only boss I need to worry about moving forward is going to be Vellum. Vellum is not a bullshit boss that has terrible mechanics. So for Vellum, it's mostly just going to be a matter of me getting good at the fight. Um, like I said, I think I have the damage and stats to kill Vellum. Um, with his 300% PDR and my 94% IED, I'll be suffering an 18% damage penalty, I think. 15, 18% uh, final damage? Is that how that works? 18% final damage penalty applied after all of my positive damage effects are applied. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I think basically I'm going to be doing 18% less damage to him. And that's not bad. Um, I mean... That's actually pretty good. So I think what I'll probably do is tomorrow I'll do the uh, I'll do my daily totem and then I will probably later on in the day try to clear Vellum because I need to clear Vellum this week because I'm not going to get 15 pieces this week. Uh, in one kill, rather, I'm not going to get 15 pieces in one kill. It'll take at least two kills to get 15 pieces. So I need to kill him this week in order to try and optimize my time spent. Um, it's not absolutely vital that I do so. It's just the kind of thing where I should probably kill him this week if I can. So that's the plan for now. But for this current moment in time, the plan is to get a good flame on these pants. So let's see if I can make something happen. Now, flame score, um, I'm not sure exactly what flame score I'm looking for for the pants. 20 strength and 6% all stat is 68 flame score, which is not very good. That's not very good. I think I'm going to re-roll that. That might have been a mistake. That might have honestly been a mistake, but I'm going to take the gamble here in this in this instance. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to cut into my um, my Mihail funds as well, unfortunately, which I'm not excited to do because those are supposed to be saved up for my Iliums. Um, for my Iliums. Fairy Heart. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, do what you gotta do. Would love a decent roll. 48 and 5, plus 3 attack power. There it is. That's the roll I was hoping for. That is a solid flame on this. Um, Next up is going to be getting it e-potted and I think I'll probably just go grab the um I'll probably just grab the e-pot scroll from here it's 300 coins which I don't love but it's fine let me get out of this map next on please stop making maps where your inputs are heavily delayed or sometimes just don't go through like please guys please stop doing that it's so annoying all right, we're looking for 9% strength on this, uh, and I'm not going to settle for 6. I'm only going to accept 9% or higher. Because, you know, if I get three lines of uh, of stat, I'm not going to complain. I need to hop on my Ilium and grab my uh, Colt Cubes, though. Because they're all on this character. Oh my god, you guys... <laughs> if you were part of my Discord... You, uh, you know just how much stress I've been under the past, like, two hours that I've been trying to do this fight. It's been awful. Uh, but I, and I'm, and I'm tired as hell. I'm really tired. But I just could not bring myself to go to sleep. I couldn't let Pierre win. I had to beat him before I could sleep. 
I got my pants, I got my victory, I got my reward. And I feel good now. I don't feel great, because I still think that boss is really poorly designed. You have, you have to burst him down, or have good iframes. And I think the iframe strat is kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't like that boss one bit. I think it's really dumb. So. It's a victory, but it's kind of a hollow victory because I really don't feel good about it. All right, 9% strength. Let's do this. It's half a million mesos to reroll this thing every single time. It's absurd. So yeah, um, oh hey, 9% strength. That was really fast. I'm sitting here thinking about like, how would I approach Pierre like effectively knowing that I have the, str the power to kill him. I think what I think what I said earlier is what I would do. I would get him down just below, maybe 5% above split HP, uh, farm up a thousand sword energy, not worrying about keeping Phantom Blade up because that just complicates things. Um, I would, so I would farm up to a thousand while he's at like 35% HP or whatever it is. Um, then I would, I would get red hat, he would get blue, I would throw five phantom blades on him really quickly. I, I would pop my burst buffs, throw five phantom blades on him, pop Zonko, cancel Zonko with instant slice, and then throw three more phantom blades out. That, I think, is going to be your best bet for bursting Pierre? I can't think of a better strategy unless you were able to, accum to accumulate and able to th uh, throw in Summer Rain there maybe, but because you can all you can always use Sudden Strike Summer Rain and that's almost instant. That's a really fast, like watch how fast this is before I can move. So I'm moving, I'm moving, Instant Slice, Summer Rain, I'm moving again. And that's a lot of damage to throw out that quickly, so maybe you could throw that in there as well. Um, I'm, I stand by everything that I said when I was pissed off earlier. I stand by Pierre being a terribly designed boss, and I definitely, absolutely, 100% stand by Hayato being a very skill-based class. You really have to know what you're doing, and you have to be on top of your execution as well. It's not enough to just know what you're doing, you also have to be able to cancel all these skills. You have to know where something like Hitokiri Strike is going to take you, Horizontally, I mean, like, oh my god! And like, if I press, like, if I were to press Zonko, let me show you one huge mistake that could happen in this theoretical burst situation that I came up with for Pierre. If I press Zonko and I don't press Instant Strike at the right time, I'm locked in the Zonko animation for maybe two more seconds, I think, and that is gonna be enough time for him to split, and you're gonna miss, you're gonna most likely, I can't say for sure, but you're gonna most likely miss out on those last three Phantom Blades. So, yeah, it's, um, this class is absurd, dude. I can't believe how skilled, how much skill this class requires to play effectively. Um, so, again, Yahayato means out there. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, let's equip these bad boys and get our our hard-earned damage boost and strength increase, bringing us up to 12,500 strength. Now, the next goal is going to be Chaos Vellum. Chaos Vellum is a big milestone, as you all know, because he is the key to unlocking our Fafnir weapon. It feels so good to have this slot filled, by the way. My god. He's the key to unlocking our next weapon, which will be better than the Sweetwater Katana. Um, and to anyone who's wondering, no, you cannot transfer Sweetwater to Fafnir. Fafnir is level 150, I believe, and Sweetwater is 160, so you can't transfer Sweetwater to Fafnir. Which kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, we're not going to forget this Sweetwater Katana, because it's carried us pretty far. It's it's put in a lot of work. But, oh man, we just gotta focus on Vellum. That's it. Once I get Vellum unlocked, uh, once I get Vellum cleared, and get access to my Fafnir weapon, that's an extra 30% boss damage, plus whatever extra stats I get 
from the Fafnir Katana. I forget what it's actually called. Fafnir Ravenwing, I think, is the name of it. Um, and that... Its base attack is lower than the Sweetwater Katana, but again, flames make up for that greatly. So, and plus the, the set effect will give us an extra 30% boss. So even if we equal our Sweetwater Katana, we'll still have an extra 30% boss, which will be a huge step forward towards the next important boss that I want to clear after Vellum. And that is going to be either Chaos Papulatus who is not actually locking us from progression. So I don't know if I'm going to include him in the uh, in the progression series. I think because Papulatus doesn't have any kind of, like I said, he's not blocking you from progression in any way. There's nothing locked behind Papulatus that's significant besides the um, Papulatus mark, which is kind of mid-game gear anyway. Um, and we're not even close to mid-game yet. So because of that, Chaos Papulatus is not really what I would consider like a progression type of boss. Um, I think the next important boss on the list, you know, a a Akechi is also not a progression boss because his weapon is, if I remember correctly, the set is better than CRA, but it's definitely not worth the difference between being able to clear Vellum and being able to clear Lotus is not that big. Like, maybe I could probably start attempting Lotus at 15k strength and probably clear him at that point. Uh, meanwhile, I catch he's probably like a 13k, 14k maybe type of boss. Um, Princess No is kind of progression based but not really because like the difference between this and the princess no kodachi is very minor so there's really not a there's not a huge amount of stuff locked behind princess no so really the progression from here on out is going to be clearing chaos vellum moving on to lotus who will then unlock everything all the abso pieces except the shoulder piece i believe because i think damien unlocks the overall the helmet and the shoulder and we only of those three pieces the only one we need is the shoulder lotus unlocks or damien also has access to weaponry but lotus has the weapons as well but also unlocks shoes gloves and cape so lotus is going to be far more important for us because we can get four set abso from him alone damien will come later and that is pretty much the uh, the road map for this character moving forward. I'm going to keep doing my daily totems. Uh, I get about 60 to 70% EXP per totem, depending on how much attention I'm paying. So we're looking at, uh, like, I think, I'm, I think I mentioned this a little while ago, but we're looking at about a week to reach the level goal, which will help. The, uh, the, the Esfera symbol will help as much as it possibly can. And then... Um, I don't want to wait that long to kill Vellum. I think I'm going to try to kill Vellum this week. I think 12.5k stat is good enough. Plus, look at my IED now. Oh my god, that extra 5% IED actually made a huge difference somehow. No? Oh, right, no, I'm in the wrong stance. I always forget that. Okay, right, so it didn't make a huge difference, but it did make a difference. Um, But stats-wise, we're doing fine. It's really just a matter of me doing what i need to do to clear chaos vellum and i don't think chaos vellum is that hard of a boss i spent a long time learning it on my mihail um but obviously there's a lot of differences between a mihail and a hayato so this is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a thing i'm gonna keep doing uh arcarium every day try and get that dominator pendant to replace this chaos horntail necklace and at some point i need to get into the habit of doing commercy every day on this character as well um, I'm sorry, this clip is getting pretty long. I'm just kind of rambling. I'm very happy I was able to kill Pierre because Pierre, ever since I started this game, has been a major pain in my ass. I've never been able to kill him on my own outside of just having like really strong burst, like um, Mihail's Light Force Ray skill. A lot of you don't know what that skill is, uh, but it is a, um, it is a, 
basically a huge nuke that goes off instantly. You press your uh, burst skill button, and then you press that same button again, and it just decimates anything that gets in front of you. Uh, and that skill is ridiculously powerful. <laughs> it's ridiculously powerful. I mean, it's it's the, it's the only way, to give you an example, it's the only way that I can hit over a billion damage in Barra using my Ring of Restraint and all the other stuff that I have. It's the only way I can hit over one billion damage on my Mihail in Barra right now. So, yeah. I apologize for this clip being so long. I feel really good about the progress that I've made today because it was hard fought. I feel like I earned it. So, thank you guys. So much for sticking with me throughout this journey. <laughs> we got a lot more to come, though. Vellum, I'm coming after you next, bud. All right, guys. So uh, I just did a test run of Vellum, and um, he's not going to be that hard to kill. The biggest problem, literally every single one of my deaths were from getting hit by the tails. Because when you're in quick draw stance or the bossing stance, I think it's called quick draw stance. Um, the little stupid aura around your character blocks Vellum's tail indicators really, really well. So I'm going to have a hard time um, learning how to avoid those because I'm going to have to learn the timings pretty tightly and watch very closely for them. But hey, this is a good opportunity to get better at Vellum. But even when I died out four times in a row on my very first attempt, uh, because I didn't realize how the tails spawned, because on Mihail you literally just block one of them and you're good to go for a while. Um, and because I didn't realize that, I ended up dying out, but I got like 40% of his health down with ease, so I don't think this will be too hard. Uh, I can definitely clear Vellum today, but I have about a billion mesos, and what I want to do is reset my inner ability so I actually have something useful because this whole time that I have had this Hayato, I have gotten garbage trash lines. And of course there it is, the 20% boss damage that I was looking for. So all of these miracle circulators are kind of kind of gone to waste. Let's see if maybe I can get uh, is attack 30 better than I don't think the attack 30 is gonna be better than boss damage. Oh well, hey, go figure. I should have I should have bought a lot less than I actually did. That's my bad. Oh well. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna be attempting Vellum probably for, I don't know, I don't think Vellum's gonna be as difficult as um, Pierre was because Pierre, I required a very specific strategy. Vellum's strategy is literally just Avoid the tails, deal as much damage as you can, and you're good. You know, just survive, basically. So it's going to take a little bit of practice, but I'll be able to do it. Um, so I will see you guys once I've cleared Vellum, and we will hopefully at that point have... Well, we're not going to get enough pieces for the, the weapon. That's just a straight up fact. It's it sucks, but it's a fact. We're not going to get uh, all the pieces that we need, but we will eventually. I think next week. I think on average it takes two weeks. I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm going to be doing this for a little while and I will. Uh, I'll update you guys once I have once I've killed him, probably, because I don't think there's any other interesting information between now and then. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Well, let me make sure I'm equipping the right gear, too. Alright, uh, it's been a couple, I've done a couple practice attempts, I'm definitely getting closer. Uh, every time I'm whittling him down like 20% more HP, so, you know, it's really just a matter of surviving. I think I might have said that already, but... Um, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these nodes to try and maybe get another level or two on, uh, Iaijutsu, because that skill is just so goddamn important. Uh, and I'm actually finding that it is really easy to keep that skill up at five stacks on this boss, because he just pokes his head out so much, and you can charge up your sword energy on the tails. So, 
Yeah, I just, I think I just, I really gotta stop getting hit by the damn rocks. That's the biggest problem I'm running into right now. And I was thinking, you know, maybe it would be worth keeping Hitokiri Strike off of cooldown so I have a second iframe. Because I'm using my first iframe kind of as burst whenever he pops his head up. So, I, well, pops his head up and does the fireball attack. So I don't know exactly what I want to do there. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw air to Nova down, though. So I already got two Phantom Blade nodes. That's really good. Um, let's go set these up. Get myself a little more damage on Phantom Blade, because Phantom Blade is getting close to maxed. It's got seven, six levels, I think. Six levels after after I'm done with it in a minute here. Um, you know, more levels on Shinsoku would also help. I'm not going to complain about that. But yeah, I think it's worth sacrificing the damage for the um, survivability. Because I'm not doing a small amount of damage. I'm not doing so little damage that I have to really seriously optimize everything. I'm doing okay damage. I can kill him in probably under 10 minutes with ease. But, uh, Sudden Strike, Hitokiri, and Shinsoku. I don't know if I want to keep that. Whatever. I'm more interested in getting, uh, Phantom Blade nodes. So, let's make some Phantom Blades. I think I make four. That might get me to... Yeah, that'll get me to 20. Nice. So, we have five more levels on Phantom Blade before it is maxed. And now we're getting 20%, so 100% extra final damage for 30 seconds. That's good. That's really good. Five more. Five more levels and we are done with Phantom Blade. Ridiculous, this skill. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, back to you, Vellum Attempts. <laughs> Suck on that, Vellum. You ain't nothing compared to Pierre, bro. I didn't have my drop familiar out, but I got 11 pieces, so we're like 100% guaranteed a uh, weapon after weekly reset. So, there you go, guys. Vellum taken care of. That ended up being a lot easier than I thought. It really, really did come down to just surviving, and you gotta respect the tails. That's the biggest takeaway that I got from that. You got to respect the tails and the rocks because those two will be the only things that can reasonably kill you. Um, and also make sure you stay behind Vellum at all times. Um, yeah, really, that was like nothing compared to Pierre. It took two real attempts and like four um, practice attempts. I did get very close to dying, but you know, that's how it goes. Um, I hope, I think it should be a good bit easier next week because if you notice in that whole fight, I completely forgot that I even had the option to burst. Um, so I'm thinking a good time to burst on him would be when he's doing fireballs or a safer time would probably be when he's doing the, um, the laser attack across the map. So... Yeah, that was um, pretty easy. I am happy to have cleared that milestone. We still need to get our Fafnir weapon, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to do that till next week. Not a huge deal. But yeah, that's that was a lot easier than I expected.
Thank you for the charm EXP, by the way, bro. Alright, so one thing that could probably be improved on this character is my secondary and maybe my emblem. Emblem is pretty good. I don't think emblem's doing too bad right now. But since the secondary is legendary, I kind of want to roll for good lines on it. Uh, that being said, 30% boss and 30% IED is... They're both good lines. So I don't really know that I'm missing out on that much. I think what would probably be a better investment of my time and mesos right now is going to be getting the gear that I currently have up to 9% stat. So do I have cubes? I have quite a bit of cubes. I could probably get like two items to 9%. Uh, my, yeah, my CRA stuff's already there, so... I'm gonna take this opportunity to increase my stat just a little bit to hopefully make that next week, next week's Vellum run a little more... Um, a little less painful, I guess? Anyway, we're at 12.6 thousand stat right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cube this stuff and see what we get to. I hate this song. 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 I hate. There's 9% strength that gives us a little under 100 extra strength. So that's about equivalent to a um, an arcane symbol level. Of course, this does get multiplied. So like it'll scale better long term. But yeah, that's the first item that I wanted to do. Um, looking at the gear. I only have 2,000... I only have 2,000 coins right now, so I can't really... I was kind of waiting to save up until I got enough to buy all 100 Event Ring Meister Cubes, and then going for two three-line stat legendary on one of my rings, but I think I'll just do the, uh, the glove for now, try to get 9% on this. All right, there's 9% strength on the glove. Again, that's a little under 100. I think that's like 85 strength gained from that. So I'm gonna do the boots next. We're not replacing these boots until um, we can clear Lotus. So we're gonna hold on to these for a little while. Plus, I am going to transfer these directly over to uh, the Abso pieces anyway, so getting good potentials on them is still worth our investment here. Now, if I get good RNG, I might be able to get an another piece. Ooh, I might be able to get a, a final piece up to 9% as well, so let's do the same thing with the cape. Come on, get RNG. I have 100 cubes. I, I think luck is on my side here. All right, I'm going to settle for this 17 uh, base stat and then 6% strength is it's not as good, but overall that was like a 300 ish strength damage increase, which is good. So the Royal Von Leon set is level 130. Absolab gear is I believe Absolab gear is well, let me actually check, because I think Absolab gear should be 160, right? Let me just go to Haven and take a peek. Right, so, for example, the gloves that we're going to be getting are level 160. So that's a 30 level difference. Um, and that makes things a little complicated. So what we have to do is we have to take our level 130 gear. We have to star force it. Um... It's probably not worth going beyond 16. I probably just want to go to 16 stars on these, then transfer to... Pencilier, which is 140. 16 star that. Transfer the Pencilier over to the Root Abyss... ...pieces. Is there, I don't think there's a Root Abyss cape, though. Well, there's the Root Abyss shoes, so we have the shoes at least. But also, if we look over at the black market here, take a look at this shop. 
we have antique root gloves. So I need to actually get on top of doing Magnus a little more. Um, these gloves are not superior, so you can transfer them. So this will be our way of getting the gloves over to Abso. But the cape, I don't think we have an option for the cape. Am I wrong in thinking that? Um, let me check one last place. It might be Critias. It might be Critias that has the uh, the thing that I'm looking for. So let me let me take a quick peek. Where the hell am I going, dude? Marketplace. Critias coin shop. Oh, we got a shoulder. That's cool. I wonder why these these have never been meta. Uh, these are superior gloves. No, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot. Yeah, you know what? Hold on a second. How many coins can you get? I don't think I can get twelve coins from um. Um, <clears throat> I don't. I don't. Uh. I don't think I can get 12 of these little coins from one week of weeklies, but if I could get a Chaos Vellum reset ticket, that would actually allow me to get... I should have... I should have thought about this way sooner, dude! Oh my god. Um, okay. So, I don't think we have an option for the cape, unless I'm missing something that I can, like, smith. Um, let me look up level 150 cape, Maple Story. I don't think there's a level 150 cape. Oh! Okay, there are, there are two options. Alright, we looked it up, we got the answer we're looking for. Chaos Zakum drops a 150 cape, and uh, we can also get it from Hard Ron Maru. It doesn't even matter, as long as we just get a cape drop from Hard Ron Maru, it doesn't actually even matter what um, class it's for, because cape is a cape. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That old adage. Let me just kill him real quick. Tch. All right, well, no cape today, but this is a daily boss, and this will be the way that we get our um, Royal Von Leon cape over to Abso cape eventually. Now, the question becomes, is it worth saving the cost of 15 starring three pieces of Abso? Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stop that train of thought because the answer is absolutely 100% yes. Transferring these, even if it takes three steps, is going to be cheaper than 15 starring Abso Lap Gear. I'm like, I'm very confident in that. I'm not 100% in it. So let me do a little bit of research on the uh, the Critias Weeklies and see if maybe there's a chance that I can get a Vellum Reset ticket. Because if I can, I can go ahead and get my Fafnir weapon like this week. Uh, I'm not gonna put too much effort in there into it because it seems like it's it might not be worth it Just wait. I still have to get to 235 anyway, and the, the longer it takes me to If I wait to fight Vellum again, I'm gonna be stronger the next time I fight him, so it will be easier So eh, we'll just see if it's something that I could do relatively easily like it takes no effort to get the 12 coins for the reset tickets Then yeah, maybe I'll do it but uh, I'm gonna look that up and I will get back to you guys. I really wish I had thought of this sooner. This is definitely something I'm gonna be doing for my next um, boss mule. Absolutely 100%. I need to make sure I remember to do this so that I can get the Fafnir weapon in one week. All right, so looking at the stats, it looks like we need Seven hundred anti magic for one Anheim coin. This means that we need eighty four hundred anti magic to get the twelve that we need. 
Um, how much do you get from the weeklies? Three quests that give 600, a fourth quest that gives 1200, and a fifth quest that gives you an anti-magic stone. Alright, um, well, this is interesting. This is very interesting because what I'm reading is it is absolutely 100% possible for me to farm enough to get the Vellum reset ticket. The question now becomes, is this what I want to spend my time doing? Because the alternative would be maybe I go do another totem and get to level 233. Uh, that's not a huge priority. Um, that's not, that's not a huge priority, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. Um, well, I think I'll go ahead and God damn, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go get some food and then I'll think about it and come to a decision later. Um, all right, so I've been doing a little bit of thinking. Now, when I grind at uh, Arcana, they have yet to add familiars for Arcana mobs and Choo Choo and Vanishing Journey and Lachlan. So there's this huge period of time where you're not farming familiars. Now, familiars are kind of important. If we look at my current familiar setup, I only have item drop rate, which is not horrible. It's, you know, it's useful. But I really don't have a whole lot that's like super valuable. I'm kind of interested in getting like 15% IED maybe. Uh, that would be good. But generally I don't have any of that. And um, while doing the Critios prequests, the weeklies, and then the farming for it, for the magic stones, I can farm up some familiars. I don't know if I'll get anything great because even if I do get a 15% IED familiar, it's not that amazing. Uh, I don't think you can get boss damage on rare familiars, which sucks, but uh, it's just one more incentive to actually try and get the uh, boss reset coupon for Vellum. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the Critios stuff see what I end up at after I'm done with the weeklies and everything, because based on what I'm reading, it seems like you should, in theory, get enough from the weeklies alone to buy at least one reset token. So, reset coupon, whatever it's called. So, I'm gonna go do that. Hopefully I can get the Vellum reset coupon and uh, unlock the Fafnir weapon, uh, because I should maybe be able to make it better than my Sweetwater. I mean, 17% attack uh, on a Sweetwater Katana is kind of hard to beat, but, and I also don't have that much Mesos to spend right now, so we'll, uh, we'll see. But regardless, it'll be nice to have because I can start working on it now instead of waiting. All right, guys, good news. After doing the weeklies, I have more than enough Anheim coins for a Vellum reset ticket, which basically means now I have to go kill Vellum again, but I will get my Fafnir, that's what it's called. Uh, I will get my Fafnir uh, weapon in the process, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, well, turns out that uh, that Critias excursion actually paid off because now I have a uh, extra 15% IED, so that's pretty cool. Um, what I should do because I'm on cooldown from Vellum, I made a couple mistakes and died real stupidly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a badge so I can have both of these bad boys out at the same time.
All right, that is a second Vellum kill. That one went a lot better. I had a couple deaths um, at awkward places, but overall it went great. And now we have access to our Fafnir weapon. Oh my God, man. All right, let me go ahead and grab this. So looking at it right now, this weapon is not that much better. Its stats are kind of on par with Sweetwater. But it has a couple advantages that uh, Sweetwater doesn't. Um, primarily the fact that it's the fourth piece of the CRA set, giving us an extra 30% boss damage. But also the fact that it has access to um, advantaged flames. So, I'm going to head over to my favorite little map, Pinnacis General Store. And I'm going to buy a couple flames to use on this thing and see if we can get something good. So, uh, let me do my favorite thing to do and look up Maple Story bonus stats. And we'll see what we can get for our Fafnir weapon. So this is 164 base. Uh, tier six would be 53, tier five would be 40. So I think we're probably looking for at least tier five. Tier five is reasonably easy to get, but we'd also like to get some boss damage, maybe some strength, you know, uh, maybe some regular damage. Ooh, 53 attack. That is, that is tier six. That is a tier six flame. So let me go ahead and star force this real quick. This is the weapon that we're going to be using to clear Lomian. So we kind of want to optimize it at least a little bit. Uh, it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to grab a uh, 140 weapon. I have a lot of them and star force that up to 17 if I can. I don't think I have the mesos for it right now, unfortunately. But I do want to try and get this to 12 at least for now so that I can see kind of what kind of difference it is versus the um, the Sweetwater weapon. Of course, this is going to be very expensive and I probably really shouldn't bother going beyond 11 because, I mean, look, I've already spent a lot of the mesos that I have. It's not ideal. <laughs> to be doing this, but I'm also getting particularly bad luck. Okay, great, fantastic, whatever. So this is still a 300k damage decrease. Uh, it does put our damage, uh, our uh, boss damage up to 209%, which is nice, but the Sweetwater Katana is still going to beat it for a while. Uh, one thing that I wanna make sure I do, no, not that, not that one. This one. I wanna make sure I give this a soul so that it has extra 20 weapon attack, I think it is. But yeah, if you look, the uh, the weapon attack on these two are exactly the same. So there's actually no benefit to the Fafnir weapon currently, which kind of sucks. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, well, the Fafnir weapon can be transferred to Absolab, but I don't, I wonder if, I don't have a ton of occult cubes to try and roll for two line attack. And I might be willing to just give up the potential on this Fafnir weapon whenever we switch over to, um, wow, instant tear up, nice. Whenever we switch over to Abso, so I'm not 100% sure what to do. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what to do. The, the, the thing is, like, even if this is a slight damage decrease, you know, 300k is a huge damage decrease for me right now, so I'm not going to take that kind of loss. But, you know, let's say I get some better potentials, maybe better flame on this, and it's like a 50 to 100k damage decrease. It might still be stronger for bossing. Uh, and this is something that I was totally prepared for. I knew that the Fafnir weapon, it would be really hard to make this thing into an actual straight upgrade from our Sweetwater. 
because Sweetwater is stupidly overpowered, but... I mean... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this quite yet. Because I could tier this up to Legendary, which would probably not be a terrible idea. But... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm just going to leave this here for now, think about this a little more, and decide what to do uh, in the future. Um, okay, well, I thought I was going to call it a day until reset, but um, I went ahead and starforced this katana because I was kind of hoping... I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. Um, and I ended up getting it to 16 stars relatively quickly. So, I think I'm just going to transfer this over to the Fafnir. Um, that makes it a little stronger, but uh, I still do need to 17 star it, which is going to be expensive. Um, but this is a step in the right direction towards making this, like, better. Uh, I'm also going to need to epic potential it again, which kind of sucks, but it's totally worth it. Don't care. I'll e-pot it again. I didn't have a good potential on it anyway. I wasn't sure what to do with this, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to safeguard it. It's going to be really expensive. And I only get one chance. And it worked. Oh, right. So that brings it up to 16 stars, which is solid. Um, now it's only a 200k damage decrease instead of a 300k damage decrease. Um, and uh, if I can get a better flame on it, like... This 53 attack flame is not garbage, but I would like to have some boss damage on this as well, or some regular damage, or just any, any like, secondary flame stat would be awesome to have on this. Uh, so I guess we'll just roll with this for now. Um, reset of the... Legion Shop does not happen until the 23rd, and I am out of Epic Potential Scrolls, of course. Go figure. Um, but I do have a lot of Wish Coins that I could use. Oh, I just got a great idea. I just got a great idea, guys. Are you ready to throw some good-ass flames on this thing and get it, like, stupid OP? Attack power 53, damage plus 6%. So you can see from that 6% damage that we've cut down the difference by another 70,000 attack. Uh, of course, I was not expecting to get such a good roll that quickly. Um, what else can I potentially reflame here? Not rings. Rings can't be flamed. 72 stat on an item on a flame score is not terrible. Uh, I'm not in love with the flame on this. I mean, I'm here, I have the Rebirth Flames, why not use them, you know? Screw it. See if we can get something good. 15 and 4. I'm looking for like 40 and 5. I that's asking for a lot. 51 and 4 would have been good if that was strength. I know this is kind of a waste of flames, but I really wasn't expecting to get what I was looking for on the uh, Fafnir weapon that quickly, so I figured I just might as well throw them on something else that I don't like that much. Wow, dude, flames are a scam. Flames are a scam. 15 and 6. I mean, I think that's better than what I have before had before. That almost puts us right at 13k stat. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So, I guess I will just... If I can get a couple decent lines on this... If I can... I think if I can get 6% six, 6 attack 
this might be so close to the Sweetwater weapon that the damage decrease is not even really noticeable. I mean, if 6% damage made that big of a difference, then, like, you can imagine what 6% attack kind of difference that would make. Um, see, even even another 12 attack brings it up another, like, what is that, 40,000 attack? So, like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spend this money on a couple of Craftsman Cubes, though. I am so low on money right now. We're about at the end of the, uh... end of the rope here see three percent attack brings it down to eighty thousand. yes that's the tier up i was hoping for okay can i get a lucky six percent attack a 15 percent ied on it as well would be amazing that would be incredible to get but i'm not counting on that i just want one line of six percent attack three percent damage and three percent attack Oh, I don't love it. I don't love it, but I think I'll hold on to it until um, Until I have access to more occult cubes, so let me send this to my discord to do a little little flex So this is uh this is the fruit of my labor for today. I'm pretty proud of it and it can pretty comfortably replace the Sweetwater Katana now. Ladies and gentlemen, new weapon unlocked. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is so nice. As much as I like this Sweetwater Katana, and it's carried us through a lot of the game, it's done a lot for us, but I mean, Fafnir is Fafnir, man. That extra 30% boss is so nice. So, we are pretty much at the point of this character where a lot of series would usually stop. They would usually do solo progression up to CRA. Um, that, of course, would be super easy to do because I could just be done now. But this, for me, isn't the end of the, uh, the initial first tier of boss mules. We have a lot more ahead of us. I need to learn how to kill Chaos Papulatus and Akechi. Princess No is kind of a weird boss. I could probably clear her already, no problem. I, to be honest, don't really know why I haven't. Aside from I just don't really need to, but it would be some extra Meso income. But next on our list is Lotus. Lotus is probably going to be a little tough. Um, on Mihail, it is a very easy boss, and it seems like Hayato has some tools that make it easy. Uh, at least in the first phase, you can use... What is this skill called? Whirlwind Cut. You can use Whirlwind Cut to teleport between the lasers. So you can just stay on the ground the whole time. That's pretty, that's a pretty fantastic tool to have. And 13k stat, which is what we've actually managed to reach now. Awesome milestone to be at. Uh, is, honestly, I am able to clear Lotus right now. And I know that for a fact. Because I have 95% IED, 209% boss damage, and 13k strength. Many classes have done it with lower stats than this. But this is about the point where I could probably kill Lotus if I was willing to try. Do the um, the whole like 25 plus minute run, which is probably what it would take. But it's uh, I'm not really interested in doing that, to be honest with you. I kind of want my boss runs to be a little on the easier side so I don't have to struggle so much. And that is kind of, especially so with a character like this, who I am raising up to 235 and, um, you know, leveling their symbols up to 10. That's a lot of room for growth that I still have. I don't have to rush to kill Lotus. I really don't have to. 
Lotus, you better be on guard because you never know when I'm coming for you, bro. Oh, <sighs> god damn, I'm tired. It has been a while since I've recorded anything. Um, I might have gone over this already, but I was kind of waiting for the series to catch up a little bit because the last video I posted was recorded a month ago. So I've kind of just been dicking around, doing my dailies. This is what our symbols are at right now, and this is what our stats are at right now. Um, nothing really noteworthy has happened, but... Uh, I should probably claim these coins. I should probably claim my Barra coins as well, because I'm going to be definitely close to the cap there as well. Um, but today is Sunny Sunday, and today's Sunny Sunday is special because it has the 100% bonus rune EXP effect, as well as... Oh my god. Okay, so this Sunny Sunday is special, because this has the 100% bonus rune EXP effect, as well as the combo orb bonus EXP effect. So, I figured, since I've been sitting, like, right on the cusp of level... Yeah, 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 Stuff that I... Well, I guess it won't hurt to put in the video. Um, <clears throat> so since I've been sitting right on the edge of level 235 for a while now, I decided today would be the day that I actually just do it. I have been super busy working on, um... Well, I guess it's kind of like a... I don't know if I'm ready to announce what it is yet. It doesn't have anything to do with this channel, unfortunately. But it's um, a side project I've been working on for something I've been passionate about for a while. Um, and my programming skills are finally at a point where I can like comfortably do it without struggling through every little line of code. So that's kind of been my primary focus for the past week or so. Um, and... I've kind of been neglecting Maple Story to a certain degree. Like I said, though, I've been doing all my dailies and everything. Uh, it's just a matter of taking the time to do some of the more important things, like level up and everything. Because, yeah, a lot of the game right now for my Hayato is wait and see. Because I'll get 300 more strength on this symbol, 500 more on this one, 200 more on this one. So that is... <clears throat> That's over 1,000 strength right there, and that'll put me at 14,000.4. Plus the extra... 1,200 that I'll get from this next symbol. Put me at... Close to 16,000. So, to reach my goal right now, a large portion of it, not all of it, but a large portion of it is just waiting. One thing that I would love to do is get my CRA set up to 17 star and the stronger I get and the more that I kill the um, the CRA bosses the more reasonable that becomes in fact I could probably 17 star one or two of these now uh, and that would increase my damage a lot I don't know what kind of strength increase we'd be looking at from something like that probably not a whole lot but, you know, there's also the fact that with these coins that I'm accumulating, when I reach 10,000, I'll be able to buy all 100, um, all 100 event ring Meister Cubes. Uh, and that'll go all on the Synergy Ring, because it's the only ring that I really have. I think I mentioned, I'm gonna have to rewatch the video, but I think I mentioned wanting to get another event ring. Um, either way, I do really want to get this Synergy Ring to Legendary with two lines of stat. That will be 21% stat, I believe, and that's really good. That's almost four pieces of 6% gear. Um, aside from that, you know, there's the emblem. I'm not really super concerned about the emblem. Because it's going to cost quite a bit to get from unique to legendary, and, um, you know, once I, once you're at legendary, rolling two lines of attack or magic attack on an emblem is actually not the hardest thing in the world, in my experience. Um, but... 
Just thinking about other ways to improve my stat, improve my character, and really the most important thing I think right now is going to be getting this last symbol, so that'll be a solid damage increase, but it'll also be getting these pieces of um, CRA gear up to 17 stars and legendary. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now, but I'm a little conflicted because I'm not getting that much money per week yet. Uh, and a lot of it, pretty much all of it is going straight to the Hayato. But I do need to have two billion on hand to buy the fairy heart. Now I'm thinking when this Hayato is done at 235, not done, but at 235, uh, I can focus on the Ilium and Ilium's farming rates are absurd. I don't know if anybody's ever really looked into it, but I've seen Ilium's in uh, regular servers getting 36,000 36, kills per hour. Um, so it might not actually be a problem, but I'm not going to invest any money into anything right now on this character because we're definitely strong enough to clear up to Vellum. Uh, I haven't cleared Vellum this week because I'm still, you know, I'm still kind of new to Hayato. And my skills aren't so refined that I can just drop the class for a week, come back, and boom, I'm at 100% again. So I can't really do Vellum quite yet unless I... I probably need to do a few more practice runs, is what I'm saying, to uh, to clear them again. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be upgrading anything on this character for now. I need to start doing Arcarium every day. I have not been doing that, admittedly. Um, and the reason for that... Well, there is no good reason for it, to be honest with you. I just kind of forgot. But getting a Dominator Pendant would be great because it would fill this other slot uh, with a stronger item. And uh, eventually, then I can start doing Commercy and all of that to, uh, to transfer it over to a Sweetwater Pendant. Uh, I was also thinking about totems and how these are just empty slots that could easily be filled. And there are two types of totems that one could get in Reboot. One is the Afterlands totems, which I think I might do just because they're so easy and cost nothing to sustain. Um, I'm not sure, but that was something I was thinking about and I'll probably end up doing that at some point. No Dominator Pendant today, unfortunately. But uh, there are a couple more things that I wanted to take care of real quick while I'm here. So these Experience Node Stones are going straight onto Phantom Blade. It's just, I have to max this skill. There's no two ways about it. Let me go find a Node Master. Don't I don't like Choo Choo Island. I don't think I've talked about this in a video, but I don't like the aesthetic of Choo Choo Island. I don't like the music of Choo Choo Island. It's just an annoying area to me. All right, so that puts our Phantom Blade up from level 20 up to level 22, which is a solid improvement. And now we are three levels shy of the max. That's pretty great. In fact, if I open these nodes now, there's a chance that I might be able to get another level on it. So, somebody in my comments made a mention of a... Well, they were discussing how nodes don't have to be hyper-optimized. Uh, and what they were saying made a lot of sense. They were basically saying, you know, just do a, a battle analysis uh, during a boss fight, find out what skills are actually doing the most damage, focus on leveling those up, because that'll be your biggest source of damage improvement, right? With the, the exception of uh, Iaijutsu Phantom Blade. Um, and so I was thinking, since, since obviously Shinsoku and Falcon's Honor are my two heaviest hitters besides um, Phantom Blade itself, so I probably want to have two or three nodes that have Falcon's Honor and Shinsoku. Speaking of which, let me... I don't think any of these are any good. But I think what I'm looking for is basically we have, for example, Summer Rain, Falcon's Honor, Shinsoku. I would want my next node to be Falcon's Honor, whatever, Shinsoku, and then my third node be 
Shinsoku, Falcon's Honor, whatever. The only one that really matters is the first skill because you can't have two nodes that have the first, the same first skill. What I probably need to do is, I mean, I could just keep these. You know, keeping these wouldn't really hurt. But it would be easier and cleaner to just combine these into one. And then I'll have two of the three nodes that I need. Because right now, the max master level of Shinsoku is 60. If I have three, if I have two nodes that have Shinsoku on it, that requires them both to be level 30 in order to reach max level, which is the exact same level as Phantom Blade, which is a ridiculous requirement. That's leveling like two more Phantom Blade nodes, which is a lot, as you've seen throughout this journey so far. Um... Oh, somebody just got a Ring of Restraint 4. Uh, but if I have three Shinsoku nodes, I only need them to be level 20 each, which is way more reasonable. So I think I'm going to try to go for three Shinsoku slash Falcon's Honor nodes. And hopefully that kind of gets me to my goal. So what I'm actually going to do, well, I'm not going to level up these now. These are still low priority, unfortunately. As much as I would love to, there's no way this is going to get me a level, by the way. Um, as much as I would love to level those up right now, yeah, Jutsu Phantom Blade is just too important. Every single, well, every other level, I guess, is such a huge damage increase. It's absurd. All right, wh what else was there? Okay, so my weapon. Uh, I mentioned that I wanted to get a strong, a large amount of occult cubes, like a man-sized amount of occult cubes, to uh, get two lines on my katana. So I've collected those, and now I'm going to roll for 2% attack, or not 2%, but two lines of percent attack. Uh, maybe throw in some IED or some boss damage. I mean... <laughs> no, not 9% not damage. That's not what we're looking for. Well, here we go. This is something. I kind of wish that line was boss damage, though to be honest, I don't know if you can get boss damage on epic. Should be able to, right? I don't know. But uh, this is a strong improvement from what I was just at a moment ago. Uh, and I can switch back to this preset and switch my Legion back to the grinding one. It's already there. Great. 530. That's tomorrow, of course. Of course it is. Disable global chat because people have been spamming about fucking League of Legends for the past day and a half. I don't care. I don't, I do not care about League of Legends. I feel like there was more stuff I wanted to take care of, but off the top of my head, I'm not really remembering those things. Um, let me take a quick peek at the Legion shop, not the Legion shop, the Blooming Forest coin shop. In case there's something I overlooked, um, Chaos Ring could be a good improvement because the Chaos Ring does, it's effectively 25 weapon attack instead of the 20 here because you can reset the stats. I don't know how hard it is to get the plus 5 weapon attack, which is the highest roll you can get for weapon attack, but, um, just looking through here, I think I, do I already have a 40 slot or do I have, I think I have a 20 slot. Uh, I don't really need anything on my inner ability because I got the 20%. I don't think there's anything here for me to buy except for the event ring Meister Cubes. Um, and to be honest, I might just go ahead and hey, that's nice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and buy half of them now. And we'll go on a little cubing spree because this is free. This is something that is totally tied to the character. I can't use these cubes on anything but this character. So I might as well take this opportunity to try and tear this up to legendary and get some stats on it. Uh, again, I still have 40 or 51 more that I could buy in the future. So it's not a big deal if this doesn't turn out the way I want it to. At the very least, I would like to get it to unique. I think it's reasonable in 50 cubes to expect a tear up from epic to at least unique, maybe legendary. I think if you're being optimistic, legendary is probably like, quote-unquote, reasonable, but we'll see what we get here. 
Hey, that's a good. Those are good int rolls, to be honest. All right, so we turned up to unique. That's not bad. We're either looking for two line of strength or a tier up to legendary. Um, that's really good defense. It's just too bad that there's no class in the game who scales off of defense. Actually, that's not even true. I'm pretty sure Hayato has a skill who, or I'm pretty sure Hayato has a skill that scales some of their damage off of their defense. Now, that being said, I don't think three lines of defense is going to be better than two lines of strength. Ooh! All right, we got to legendary. Um, now we're looking for two lines of strength. Preferably, the first line wouldn't be an all stat line, but see, here's the problem with this character is this item drop rate doesn't benefit me. I don't get anything from having this item drop rate increase because this character's grinding is going to be at an end today. Today is the last day I'm going to be grinding on this character. 12% um, strength is okay, and considering I only have five left, I'm going to settle for now. That 20% I, okay, I want to make it clear though, that 20% item drop rate, that doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I guess you could make the argument that it's good for, um, Arcarium. You know, that's, that's va that's valuable there, I guess. But, outside of that, it doesn't really serve any purpose. So, with all that out of the way, I am going to go grind, get to level 235, and do Esfera. It's gonna suck. Esfera is one of the, like, shorter Arcane River areas, if I remember correctly. But it's still gonna suck because those monsters go up to, like, level 250. It's gonna be hard as hell to kill them. Um, anyway, it's time for the last grinding session on the Hayato uh, for Tier 1 progression, we'll say. So... I'm gonna go do this, and I will see you guys on the other side. Oh, it is, it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, after Five weeks? Six weeks of having this character? We are finally at our goal level of 235. This is the first of the major milestones that I wanted to reach on all of my boss mules. I slacked pretty hard on leveling this character. I really do think I could get a character from 1 to 235 much quicker than this if I... If I you know, didn't take so much time off. Um, but we did it. Uh, the first goal of the first tier on the first of, of, like, five boss mules is finally completed after over a month of work. Yeah, this is a, this is a very long-term project. So, uh, I am going to do Esfera. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get some food first, because I was gonna eat before I started grinding, and then I just didn't. And then I was like, well, fuck it, I don't want to waste this totem. So I just kept going, but I'm hungry, and I need to go eat something. So, I'll go eat, I'll do Esfera pre-quests, and uh, I'll update you guys then. Okay. As per usual, that was kind of awful. Sucked. Um... Now we can do dailies in Esfera. Uh, these are going to also suck for a long time. But most important of all, we got our final symbol, which puts us just under 14,000 strength. Like, right there. And, as a matter of fact, I can go ahead and claim these arcane symbol selectors and get that up a couple levels right off the bat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I wonder how many levels I'll actually get.
Looks like that got us up to level 5. Pretty much on par with our Morass symbol, so that's good. That's a lot of strength increase. So we're now at 14.3 thousand strength. Um, we have the Mirror World Node Stone. This is an okay skill. I don't know if I'm going to be using it much. I'm going to go ahead and open these real quick and see if I can get another Phantom Blade level. But I am pretty much done for the day. I am so sick of Arcane River prequests. Like, so sick of them. I've mentioned it a million times, so it's not really worth going over again. But, God, Jesus. Go ahead and add all these to my familiar list as well, because... Uh, it's the only way to get them, really. Okay, um... Node Manager, Node Master in Vanishing Journey. See if I got another good node that I can use. We're looking for Falcon's Honor Shinsoku. But it doesn't really look like we got it. However, we did get a Phantom Blade node. That's really good. So this guarantees us level 23, which is not so great. You know, I was thinking of using Air to Shower on this class. I feel like this class might benefit from it. Um, I don't know. I didn't, and I got to level 235, so let's not disassemble that, because that's kind of an important skill. Okay. Make a couple of these. I should be able to make three? Four? Oh, I can make four. Nice. And that gets us up to level 24. One level to go. Just one more level on Phantom Blade and we're done. Done. No more Phantom Blade leveling. Oh my god, that's amazing. I didn't even realize. Okay. Um. Great. I'm gonna stop playing now because I'm exhausted. Oh. I remember, I remember one major thing. So I thought the NX transfer event was on the 2nd. I don't know where I got that date from because it's on the 8th when it starts. So I was a little off. Um, so we gotta wait a few more days for that. Not a huge deal, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. It, it just, the only impact it really has is it kind of makes farming, um coins on my Ilium kind of annoying because while Ilium does have a good loot cycle with um with uh Wings of Glory is that what it's called? I can't remember. I, <laughs> I haven't I really haven't spent much time on my Ilium yet still. But um while there is a good loot cycle when you can fly around, you can just fly wherever and get all the items. It's really hard to do it with just one pet, which is what I have currently. Um, and it would be way, way better if I could use my Vac pet, so. Still kind of waiting for that cash transfer event, which will happen in four days. Um, and for the record, my Vac pet is sitting in the, uh, in the cash shop, so. Let's sell this off. Oh god, I'm tired. Um, I'm still considering doing Afterlands on the Hayato. I really just want to fill these slots. I don't like seeing empty slots on my boss mules because, in my mind, if a slot is empty, that's literally just free damage that I could have. Uh, and it would probably increase my range by at least 100k. And it would give me a good amount of strength. So it's something that's definitely worth doing. I just need to stop being lazy. Part of the problem, and I know this is kind of an excuse, but part of the problem lately is that I have to cap on so many characters. Every day I have to cap on, I haven't been doing it on my Mihail actually. Um, not really sure why, but I cap on my Hayato, I cap on my Blaster, I cap on my Bishop, I cap on my Ilium, and I have to cap on my dual blade. And that's a lot. That's like two and a half hours of stuff to do. Not even including daily bosses, which I don't do. You know, if anything, this um this event is kind of kind of 
I don't want to say crippling my progression because that's kind of an exaggeration, but it's definitely not helping it because um, I spend so much time focused on capping and coins and dailies and all this other stuff that I don't have any energy left to do anything else. It's very annoying, and it's part of the reason why this series has kind of slowed down a little bit. Actually, it hasn't slowed down slowed down from your perspective, but from my perspective, really nothing has been happening for the past week or so. Um, I'm looking forward to this event being over, in all honesty, because I am done with it. I've gotten pretty much everything I need. I would love to just be done and move on, but there's just so much that you can get. The rings are just so valuable. It's it's annoying. Um, so that's kind of like a lazy excuse as to why I haven't been doing much more because, you know, there is also on top of all the capping up until recently, I was also grinding on my Hayato a lot. So I was just... I guess I was just feeling a little burnt out, and I'm waiting, I'm hoping... I mean, I know this event will end on the 15th, I believe, so it's like, I'm not, like, hoping that the event ends, because I know it's going to end. I'm just waiting for it to end, because it's very exhausting. But looking at our symbols, we're actually doing okay. We're, I mean, we're kind of close to level 10. Um, it's getting a lot easier with 650 Arcane Force. It is actually very easy to kill Morass mobs now, which is great. Um, but Esfera monsters, as long as I don't do anything beyond um, Keepers of Darkness, you know, if I if I start doing Light Executors or Dark Executors, and to a certain degree the Keepers of Light as well, basically we'll say anything beyond Aranias. Don't know how the hell you're supposed to pronounce that word. Uh, if I just do any of the monsters in this line right here, they're actually very easy to kill. Beyond that, it, it really sucks, but, um... The symbols are coming along. It's very, very slow progression. I... I don't remember what it was that I wanted on my Hayato, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I bought the Blooming Forest damage skin. Because I figured I might as well get that on all my boss mules because it's an easy damage skin, unit damage skin to have. But I'm not sure what I want to get on my Hayato anymore at this point that I don't already have. So I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to... It might not be a bad idea to just invest in some symbols. Um, that being said, the amount of symbols you get, like... Two days of capping coins, if I were to spend them on Esfera symbols, that's a basically equivalent to one day of Esfera dailies. So it's kind of not worth it. It's honestly almost better for me to spend the coins on these Meister Cubes because, you know, they're kind of maybe a little overpriced for Reboot. Um, I think a more reasonable price for these Meister Cubes would be 50 Blooming Coins, but in regular servers, I think 100 Blooming Coins is actually pretty fair. Um, it just it just really doesn't feel like my coins are best used on symbols. They, <laughs> they want us to spend 6,000 coins on 100 Arcane Symbols. Ugh, God. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this character right now, to be honest. Um, really, all I can do, and I've mentioned this a couple times, all I can do is wait. I have to do my weekly bosses every week, accumulate a bunch of mesos, and just upgrade shit. Because if I can get a few of these pieces to legendary, um, you know, mainly the stuff that's not going to be replaced, uh, if I could get you know, like this Iphia's ring to Legendary. I don't think this is going to be replaced anytime soon. I don't really know what what ring I would replace it with, except maybe a Guardian Angel ring, but this is what I would replace first. And I'm not even close to being able to solo normal slime, so that's not really a factor. But things like the, uh, the pants, the top, the hat, 
you know, the uh, the weapon kind of, I kind of just want to get this to 17 star. But, you know, if I can get two line drop on the synergy ring, that's helpful. Or not two line drop, but two line strength on the synergy ring, that would be great. Um, though, thinking about it, item drop rate kind of does make a little bit of a difference, particularly when I'm soloing Lomian and going after the five set CRA because higher drop chance means better chance of getting more of the um, of their drops that you can turn into coins. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to reroll that or what I want to do. Honestly, I really don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've said it about a hundred times now, but I'm kind of lost on the progression of this character now. It's really just a waiting game, and that kind of sucks. It's a waiting and RNG game, is what it is. Because if I get 1.3 billion mesos a week from my bosses, right? And I spend them all on, on cubes, and I try to tear stuff up. There's a chance that this only goes up to unique. Or, you know, like, I get, I get this to unique with one line of strength, and this gets nothing. You know, that's a whole week for what is effectively a... Zero damage increase. Um, there's also the potential to 17 star these items. Now, uh, I can clear the three doors really easily. I still haven't been able to clear Vellum again, mostly because I haven't tried. I just kind of like, ah, eh, whatever. It's not easy to do, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, 17 starring these might actually be the next step in progression because... That will give me a lot of attack. I think 17 star CRA armor gives you about 20 weapon attack each. So that's another 60 weapon attack that I could get. Um, so that might be what I go after next. There's also the fact that I still need to get a dominator pendant. My dominator pendant luck has not been very good. Um, so I'm going in there with 116% item drop. And this is what I need to be doing every day, but I, I honestly, unless I'm recording, I actually just forget that Arcarium even exists. But I would like to get rid of this Chaos Horntail necklace, because it's not good. It has no good flame. I, for whatever reason, Chaos Horntail necklace doesn't seem like it's, it doesn't seem possible to get good flames on this. Um, and it only it's only 6% strength, so, you know, it's not very good. This is also only 6% strength, but at least it has 5 attack power and 50 extra strength on the flame. So, really, I just, I would like to fill out this last pendant slot with something good. And that would be the Dominator pendant in this case. Uh, and with 116% drop rate, we got nothing yet again. However, the nice thing about this is this is a, this is the level of drop rate that I can consistently acquire every day. So uh, it'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. I think what I'm going to do, if you look at the Afterlands totems, this alone is almost 50,000 damage. The Dex one is 34,000. And then the, the three set also gives you an extra 10 attack power. So this is well over 100k um, stat, as well as 20 strength, probably be close to like 60, 80 strength maybe. So that'll put me at 14.7k. So I think it's probably time to do Afterlands, get it out of the way, and then it won't be a, 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 a consideration anymore. It'll just be... Something I already did. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. It's going to suck. I'm going to hate doing it. I don't like Afterlands, but I'm just going to follow a guide and do it exactly what it says. It should be pretty easy because of the fact that, I, uh, that I'm that i so strong on this character compared to a normal level 75 doing this. So yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll get back to you guys. We'll see just how much of a damage improvement this is. So maybe maybe it'll help you in determining whether it's worth doing Afterlands for yourself. Spoiler alert, it is 100% worth doing. <laughs> there's no there's no debating it. It is absolutely worth doing. 
I see you guys in a minute. All right, I'm not entirely sure how long that took, but I have all 12 keys. It was pretty painless. It was definitely not as bad as I remember it being, but I still don't really love doing it. It is kind of just a tedious quest. All right, now we get our reward. This is long overdue. This is probably something I should have done a long time ago, but we're kind of getting to the point now where we need to min-max our damage a little more, and it's more relevant now, I would argue, than it ever has been before. All right, give me my reward, please. I'm done with this. All right. So, let's take a look at our stats beforehand. We're at almost 2.3 million range and 14.644 stat. That brings us up to 14.7. And either one of these will give similar amounts of uh, attack. So, all in all, like I thought, that was about 100k. It's about 130,000 damage increase. I go ahead and drop this because I do not need it. About 130,000 damage increase, more or less, for us, for where we are now and about a 60 strength increase. So it was almost, as far as strength goes at least, it was basically the equivalent of a, uh, almost the equivalent of a level in a symbol. Um, that's an also, that's also 2131 more attack power, which is huge, and I think that's where most of the damage range comes from, so it feels good to have that completed. I still don't really love that quest line, but it, you know, following a guide uh, that does it as efficiently as possible, it's really not that bad. So I think next on the agenda is just going to be doing dailies on every character. Um, and then if I have time, which is to say if I have not burnt out for the day, uh, I will try to do my weekly bosses because I still haven't done them yet. Uh, and I really should because I do need the mesos quite a bit. But if we uh, take a look at the total mesos that I have available to me, I'm sitting at about one bill. I was really optimistic thinking I could earn five billion mesos in a week because it is already Monday and I've barely even reached one billion. <laughs> so we'll probably I'll probably just shoot for two billion uh, and then get whatever I can from the um, the weekly bosses. Um, and then we will use those mesos to 17 star a couple things. I'm not going to throw any stars on this cape, I don't think, because it has nowhere to go from here. And like I mentioned before, the cost of, um, star forcing a superior item is very high and they can get destroyed very easily and it's... It's a huge pain in the ass. It would take like tens of billions of mesos, probably. That might be a little much. We'll say anywhere from like 10 to 15 billion mesos. I would guess. I've never actually 15 starred a superior item before, but 10 to 15 billion mesos kind of sounds like ballpark. It... Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But. I'm not going to be star forcing this because it's kind of just a waste. We're going to keep going with the original plan. Um, I need to get my hands on a 140 cape. That's not going to be too hard. Um, we need a 17 star, the Fafnir weapon. We need a 17 star, all the CRA gear. I already did the helmet. I probably won't include that clip, but from the Blooming Forest event where we got the 17 star Karma scroll, I went ahead and threw it on the helmet just because I figured that would be the smartest choice. In retrospect, I probably should have put it on the pink or the black bean mark because I do not have an easy way to get duplicates of these, and I'll probably be using this for a long time. But my thought process was this CRA helmet is almost never going to be replaced. This black bean mark will be replaced with, um, what is it called? Sweetwater? It'll be replaced with Sweetwater 
uh, sooner than this will ever, ever be replaced. So I guess my logic was kind of on point there. Um, but yeah, if, if I can 15 or 17 star these two things, that'll be a solid damage increase. And then I can look to see if there's anything else that I really need to do before I start attempting um, Lotus and Damien. Now, Damien is harder than Lotus, and we're still still in the damn process of leveling up symbols. It's taking forever. I was not joking when I said that there's a really good chance this Hayato will reach level 236 before all my symbols are maxed. Or level 10, I guess. Maxed for tier 1. So, um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, we'll have 720, so we're going to get about 700 more strength from the symbols, but we're at exactly, almost exactly 15,000 strength right now. That's not quite enough to solo Lomian yet, it's really close, we're like, we're like getting there. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm really going to need 17 star on a few of these items to, um, to do that. And I might, as much as I don't want to, because this will be replaced with an Absolab, uh, Katana. It might be worth tearing this up to Legendary just for the, um, the extra boss damage and stuff like that. I don't know yet. That's not an investment I'm going to make until after I 17 star all these items and see where I'm at damage wise. I think 17 starring this gave me about 120 to 200 K range. I don't remember, but it was a lot and it was somewhere in that range of uh, damage increase. So, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know. <clears throat> Looking at the coins that I have, because thinking about it, these tyrant, this tyrant gear is going to be better than the Von Leon gear for a while until I can um, get access to Absolab stuff. Even just without any Star Force or anything, these are going to be stronger. But the cost of them is absurd. That is a solid damage increase, and keep in mind, this is with zero stars, no flame, no potential, and it's already a damage increase. Unfortunately, I don't... Weren't there Tyrant Gloves? Oh no, the Tyrant Gloves are from Critias. Yeah, I remember that. Wow, yeah. So, I don't think... I mean, maybe if I buy a Hard Magnus reset ticket every week, I can probably get my hands on these. Because that would help in the push to reach Lomian. I don't know, I'm just now thinking about this. I think you get nine coins per week and I've cleared twice. One of those pairs of shoes is a hundred coins, which would mean we're looking at about, well, let me, let me just do some quick calculator math because my brain's not working right right now. Iron Mice 18 is 82 divided by 9 means we have 9.1 10 weeks. And if I buy these Hard Magnus reset tickets every week, um, that would be reduced to 5 weeks. So... The thing is, though, I don't think it's going to take me 5 weeks to finish this character. Um, I, it might take me more than five weeks to reach 20k stat, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, all I'm trying to do at this point is clear Lomian. Once I clear Lomian, I'm moving on. I can pick up this character again in the future, but it's been over two months of focusing on this character, and this is... It's not a class I hate, but it's not a class I want to main, and for anybody who's ever experienced this sort of phenomenon of spending so much time on a class that you don't really love it's kind of like well why am i what am i doing here this is like a waste of my time so i just i kind of really want to get it to clearing lomian because once i get it to clearing lomian then that's it that's the end of tier one 
but then there is the concern of being able to clear it consistently every week. I don't know. It's a lot. I'm trying not to think too hard about it because there is a lot that goes into it. I didn't even grab my mesos. The whole point of logging into the Hayato was to grab the mesos that I transferred. But for some reason, with the Destiny update, um, the cooldown time for reopening storage after you put something in it has been increased to like eight minutes. And I'm not even joking. It's actually ridiculous right now. So we're at a little over 1 billion mesos. Once weekly reset happens and I can do my weekly bosses, that'll give me another 2 billion plus maybe 1 billion more from the, um, the Ilium. Considering I have that new rotation that increased my meso income by a good bit. Uh, what was that, like a 30% meso increase? I think it was like a 30% meso increase from just uh, switching maps and optimizing my reaction skills. Um, but considering that I have that increase, it's only two more totems to get another 1 billion mesos. So I think by the time I'm ready to invest anything else in this character, I am going to be at about 5 billion. Is it? No, 4 billion. It would be 4 billion, I think. Yeah, I will be at 4 billion mesos. And... Um, <clears throat> the goal at that point will be 17 starring these two items. Uh, then I'm going to see where I'm at with Lucid or Lotus, because if I can clear phase one Lotus in under four minutes, right? Like we'll say four minutes is kind of like an arbitrary milestone that I'm setting because my Mihail currently in reboot, not my Barra Mihail, my Barra Mihail is actually become a lot stronger recently, so it, it easily surpasses my Reboot Mihail now. But my Reboot Mihail can clear Phase 1 in well under 4 minutes. So I think um, that's kind of a goal to shoot for. 4 minutes is the arbitrary number that I'm setting. Phase 1 on Normal Lotus, I think I might have mentioned this, sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the fight's gonna go. With Hard Lotus, it doesn't really at all because I've seen people who can literally one-shot Phase 1 of Hard Lotus take almost the full 30 minutes to get through Phase 2 and 3. So, uh, only for Normal Lotus does this apply. Uh, I could... What I should probably do while I'm thinking of it... <clears throat> I am going to demonstrate where I'm at with Lotus so that you guys actually have like a concrete idea of what we're looking at in terms of damage on Lotus and all that stuff. Kind of get an idea of how long it's going to take to clear. Let me see my preset. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how happy I am that presets have been added. That just saved me like three minutes, not three minutes. That's kind of an exaggeration. That probably saved me about two minutes of uh, bullshit right there. All right, normal practice mode. Let me go ahead and use my Zonko. But this is about the damage we're looking at for Lotus right now. Oh, no way! No! 
I'm out of potions? You gotta be- you gotta be kidding me! We're using elixirs. No! <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. I ran out of potions. Are you kidding me? Oh, that fight was going so well. Okay, so I don't know how much of that fight I'm going to leave in, but um, what was originally going to be just a demonstration of how horribly slow it is to kill the first phase almost turned into a full Lotus Clear. I am absolutely 100% more than capable of killing, clearing Lotus at this point, which is kind of crazy. Um, but... If you look at this battle analysis, if we sort by accumulated damage, you can see Shinsoku was the top dog. Uh, phase one kind of inflated Phantom Blade's damage a little bit because it was hitting all the little all the little ads, which is why it says 130 enemies defeated. But Shinsoku is the bulk of our damage at this point, and what really needs to happen is I need to get a third Shinsoku node so that I can um, start leveling it up. So, because I'm so close to uh, clearing Lotus already, even if it takes a long time, what is really important is that I get another Shinsoku node, and it doesn't even matter what it is, as long as it has Shinsoku. Hey, look, that has Shinsoku. Fantastic. All right. So, um, yeah, that fight actually went really, really well. All of my deaths were d due to dumb mistakes. Um, I had a couple deaths in phase one because phase one lasts so long. Um, I'm actually really happy with the, uh, the amount of progress I made on that fight. So... <clears throat> That being said, the plan doesn't change. I don't think I'm going to avoid... Um, I, I think I'm still going to get the 4 billion mesos. I'm still going to use them on... Uh, on this character to upgrade stuff. Do I have any... Anything I can upgrade? Well, that doesn't really give me any more final damage, but we'll take it. Ah, this will be a extra 2% final damage. Thank you very much. Um, I can go ahead and... Well, hold up here, because that's decent... Oh, that's decent speed infusion. Oh, hold up, hold up there. Didn't even use that skill once, but... Um, I don't think speed infusion makes a difference for... Hayato. I, I haven't heard any feedback on whether that's true or not. Unfortunately, to the people who are going to comment whether or not it will make a difference, uh, by the time you've seen this video, I'm probably already done with this character. I've probably cleared Lomian and we're done. But it actually still... Don't let that stop you, though, because it would actually be really nice to know whether Speed Infusion is important or not. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and disassemble all these other nodes. I'm going to try to put this, let's put this here so it has some more extra damage. I really don't need damage on Instant Slice. Instant Slice is nice, but it's not going to be amazing. <clears throat> what will make another significant difference for Shinsoku is going to be reaching level 40. Because that'll be an extra 20% IED, and uh, Lotus and Damien are known for having particularly high PDR. So any a little any little bit that I can get to uh, alleviate that damage reduction is very welcome. Uh, I might be able to finish up Phantom Blade here. Let me see. I kind of want to keep this skill, but it's not really really worth it. Okay, that's fine. Keep Arachnid Reflection. You know, I really don't need Holy Symbol that much anymore, but I'll keep it just just for the sake of keeping it. Rison Rinzon are actually... Let's go ahead and craft a Phantom Blade node. I'm only going to be able to make one, but will this put me at the... Not quite. Close, but not quite. Do I have any event coins? 
I have 30. I could cap and get more nodes, but I'm probably not going to worry about that. Um, ultimately, this proved to be a lot more motivating than I thought, because as it turns out, 15k stat is actually more than enough to clear um, Lotus. You just have to be, like, decent at the mechanics and not run out of potions partway through. Looking at our gear, there's not really anything I can do right now that would make me stronger. I need a lot more investment, but... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm gonna continue farming mesos. We'll be close to 4 billion mesos um, in two days, because today is Monday, and I guess it'll actually be like closer to three days. And once that happens, uh, we can start getting stronger, and then the Lotus Clear will actually be way, way easier. Because it's already, it's already possible. I could clear Lotus and have like probably five minutes to spare. Well, okay, I don't know about five minutes, but I could probably clear Lotus right now. Um, but with the upgrades that I'm gonna get, it'll make it way, way easier, and the goal is not just to clear the boss necessarily. The goal is long-term to be able to... Oh, I didn't even have... I didn't have my familiars out either. Yeah, I was missing a good bit of damage in that fight, so... Yeah, um... Yeah, Phantom Blade, very close to max. That'll be a small damage increase as well. 5% final damage. I actually don't know if that's that small. Um, and then getting Shinsoku up to level 60. Or 65. I'm like 99% sure these skills can only go up to level 60. I don't know why it says Master Level 50 plus 15. That's weird. Uh, maybe I don't understand how nodes work entirely, but... Either way, we will get this skill leveled up quite a bit. Because it is... I mean, it's my number one source of damage. You can make the argument that Burst is important too, but... It's not even close to the amount of damage that Shinsoku was doing. Alright, I have spent a lot of time talking and rambling, and I just made a, a let's play of the Lotus fight, which was um, impromptu and not expected. Which, that was a redundant sentence. I am going to take a break for now, but I will be back later today to farm more mesos on my Ilium. And hopefully there won't be too much more delay between this clip and the clip of me clearing Lotus. Today is a good day, and I'll tell you why. Last night, I streamed MapleStory for the first time in a few months. It's pretty great. I plan on streaming more in the future, but you might notice that something's a little off about our gear. We don't have Von Leon gloves anymore. Instead, we have these weird antique root gloves. Well, it just so happens that yesterday on stream, I was able to clear Lotus for the first time. And I got myself two cores from him. He dropped two cores, and I did the scrapyard weeklies required in order to get the coins to buy a pair of night gloves. <laughs> now, I had a little bit of problem. A little bit of a problem with transferring these gloves. The first pair of Von Leon gloves that I was trying to bring up to 16 stars boomed at like 15. Um, I eventually got the second pair to 16 and transferred them, but while I was trying to get these antique root gloves, oh, you have to 
forgive my mouse movement. It's currently plugged in because it's charging, so the cable is kind of a mess, uh, and it's pushing the mouse right now. But um, when I was trying to 17 star or 18 star these, they boomed as well, and I had to get another pair, and then I ended up running out of mesos. I've spent a billion mesos uh, trying to get these over to the Absolab Night Gloves so far. And I'm not entirely sure if it would have been less expensive to just go with these. Um, I'm thinking it might have been a better idea to just transfer or to just try and 17 star these. But my thought process was because Lotus drops are really valuable. I cannot risk booming these, which means I would need to safeguard them, which would greatly increase the cost. So I think, I think that uh, I made the right decision because now with these being 12 star, I can bring them up to 18 star eventually and then transfer them right over to Absolab Night Gloves, which will bring them straight to 17 star and make them way more powerful than anything I had. And it should cost less overall. Now, having said that, um, these Absolab gloves do not have a good flame. They do not have any potential. They will have potential when I transfer them, so that's not a concern. And in the future, um, I plan on bringing these up to legendary with uh, at least one line of crit damage. Those will probably try. I'll probably try to make those the uh, the end game gloves for the tier one progression. And as far as flame goes, oh man. I think I'll probably spend wish coins on those because as it stands right now, the only thing I have to spend wish coins on would be droplets. And that's not really. I mean, if I have the option of buying flames, like, you know, I, I might as well. So I could buy 10 of these now, and I think I will. There's not a whole lot to spend these uh, Harmony coins on the from the uh, weekly bosses, so this is probably my best bet. So we're looking for at least like 80 to 100 flame score. I want something really good. I probably shouldn't do it on this map because, again, this is one of those maps that just delays your inputs and sometimes eats them completely. Thank you, Nexon. So we're looking for really high um flame score so six and 30 eight times five is 40 48 four five six seven that's 78 which is not horrible but considering the amount of resources i have access to see that's already that's already an improvement in flame score but um if you notice the attack difference is actually kind of significant and I think that might be because we have reached a point where all stat percent might be more valuable than base strength. Um, I don't know about that for sure. I know that it's not a linear, consistent growth of this is always how much percent all stat is worth versus how much base stat is worth. I probably should have just kept that 80. Oh, I probably should have just kept that 80. So we have 75. I can buy, what, three more? I don't know. I, th I thought it was five. Okay, so I have five more attempts. My standards are really high for these gloves because these gloves are never going to be replaced, ever. 22 star abso set can get you through black mage so there's almost no point in me resetting i don't like that it's not good enough 55 strength no see we're gonna have to spend a lot more flames on this i think because it's just 
80 is the highest I've gotten, and that's fine, but I want 80 plus some all stat. But yeah, my standards for these gloves are ridiculously high. I don't want to settle too hard for anything. So if I need to spend 100 flames on those, I will. And it's not the most efficient thing to do, but it's all about making my weekly bosses as easy and comfortable as possible. So any extra damage I can get is absolutely worth it. So there's not a whole lot more to say about the Hayato right now. Um, you can see I had to go clear Von Leon after the uh, after the Von Leon gloves boomed last night. That was fun. But there's not a whole lot more to say for the Hayato right now because there's not really a whole lot I can do. Um, you know what, though? I do want to check one thing. Because I'm not capping on this character actively during this event, and because I don't need any of the event rewards, I can go ahead and spend all of my wish coins. What are they called? Melody coins? I can pretty much spend all of those on these. I think I'm just going to buy these regular Karma Rejuvenation Flames for now. I bought the other ones hoping for tier 7 lines, but uh, these will be probably more than sufficient for getting a really high flame score. So again, you can see that for whatever reason, the 6% all stat is like really a really high damage increase compared to just strength because I'm pretty sure when I had 80 strength it um it put me at like negative 18,000 so I'm not an expert on flames don't get me wrong I know how they work and I know how they function in a general sense but I'm not an expert to the point where I know where the threshold is, where it starts being that all stat is more valuable than base stat. So let me take a look. If I were to transfer these, that would be a 77,000 stat increase or damage increase. Um, it would be 93 strength. I really don't like the flame on this. 45 and 6 is just not enough for Absolab. I know that that's like a decent flame, but it's just not like Absolab can go so much higher than that. I mean, we saw 80 uh, stat flame like twice on these things. So realistically, it's not unreasonable to expect 80 base stat and 5 or 6% all stat plus some weapon attack. But if this is what I got to do, this is what I got to do. Now, I'm not going to transfer these yet because I want to get the antique root gloves up to 18 stars and then just transfer it directly over to the night gloves so I don't have to safeguard and I don't have to risk booming. But I think I'm going to have to just settle for the for this. Um, for this flame, even though I really don't want to and I really don't like it. I kind of just have to. See, these are the kind of flames I was getting on my real Von Leon gear. Whatever. I'm not going to dwell on it. Um, Alright, so. Yeah, I'm going to hop on the Ilium and we're going to do some grinding today. It's been about an hour. I did pretty much every boss on my Hayato and my Mihail. I have just a little over 3 billion Mesos. And it is time to go ahead and start with our first item, the Antique Root Gloves. The first goal is to get these to 18 stars so I can transfer them directly to Abso. I can do this safer and cheaper by 18 starring this because I only have access to this one Abso Lab Glove. So getting this to 18 stars without safeguarding is going to be the safer option and possibly the cheaper option if we get good RNG. So let's hope that uh, we get some some favorable RNG here. Oh, 
All right, already at 15, that's good, but we're not out of the woods yet. We still have a lot to go, and we still have this last... Of course, always, always the last opportunity it has. All right, well, let's go buy another pair over at Downtown Black Market. This is now the second or third pair of uh, antique root gloves that I've boomed, which is super, super fun. Okay, wow, I actually wasn't expecting that, but it looks like we did manage to get it up to 18 stars, which means I can transfer it over to the Absolab gloves and have them at 17 stars immediately. So that's wonderful. It only cost one bill. So um, that kind of worked out really well. Suspiciously well. So that gave us a whopping six or 700 strength from these gloves. There's a lot of strength on these gloves. Um, and I think the next order of business is going to be 17 starring the CRA top and bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's the top 17 starred. Another 100 strength or so, and uh, a good 20 weapon attack from that. Let's do the pants now. All right, and that is 17 star pants. Actually, not even that bad. So, next thing I'm looking at, I think, is... Well, I can't really do a whole lot with this, um... Well, I could transfer this over to... I need a 140 cape. I have a 140 cape. So I could transfer this cape over to the Enraged Zackum cape, which does have higher stats, uh, and use that as a placeholder. So I think I'm gonna actually do that right now. Um, I think I'm gonna try... No, I'm probably not gonna bother trying to 15-star the, uh, the Absolab. Or the, uh, the Pencilier Cape yet. I think I'm just gonna stick to one of these capes, actually, because I have two, because I just cleared Chaos Zackum and he dropped one. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I have a couple flames here that I don't really have any use for. I'm gonna see if I can get something good on one of these capes. This is a piece of the boss set. 64 strength is not bad. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and reroll this other one, see if I can get something better. No, it does not look like it, so I think we'll go with the, uh, the uh, 64 strength, which is not incredible, but it is good enough. What do I have right now? Oh, wait, why am I even wasting money on this? No, I should be doing shoes. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, no, um, <laughs> that was kind of a little bit of a waste of money, not that much. Um, so, as far as shoes go, I could get the Rutabis shoes, and I think shoes are going to be next on the list of things that I want to upgrade, because the um, HMAG cape is pretty solid, so getting a new cape would probably be, like, the least upgrade I could possibly get, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade to the Antique Root Boots for now. And also need a pair of these, yes I'm good on that, so let me transfer. Doesn't really matter what I transfer these to. Just need to make sure I get them onto here, alright. Now, what I should probably try to do is 17 star these, but I think I might take a break from star forcing for a little while. I think I'll get these to 12, and then I will uh, hold off on star forcing them any further. I really need a better flame on these shoes, though. This has practically no flame right now. And these are placeholders. Because I should be able to get another, um, I should be able to get a pair of shoes this week from Clearing Lotus and maybe Damien. So it might not actually be worth investing anything into this. Let me see how the 
And so I only have 180. I might be able to buy a couple flames. As long as I'm not spending mesos on them, I think I'll be fine. Let me see here. Yeah, I can buy three. There's a good chance that'll give me something a little better than what I have currently, which is practically zero. Of course, I need to leave this damn map because this map sucks. Okay, let's get something like decent placeholder. I don't think these have advantaged flames, so I guess we're going to have to settle for 16. Um, like I said, I'll be able to transfer these over to um, C or Absolab really soon, so not a big deal. I love that this is still a damage increase after all this time. So one more thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and try and get this to 17. This is potentially risky and very expensive. This might, if this gets destroyed, this will take up the rest of my mesos for sure. Okay. Good, 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 good. That was a, an okay increase in damage. Um, and with that, I think we're good. And I can start kind of maybe... Okay, so what I'm thinking is that it might be worth trying to get these up to legendary because if you look i do have a lot of master craftsman's cubes so it might be worth trying to get these up to legendary with a line of crit damage so let's just go for it i've already given up the two line strength that i had uh so let's hope for a decently quick tier up all of these cubes, by the way, were from daily bosses, so I'm not spending a penny on these unless I have to go buy more, of course. Is that is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. All right, well, let's go buy some more then. Unfortunate, but got to do what I got to do. We'll just buy 10 at a time. Okay, actually, good uh, good tier up. So next, we're going to try to get this to Legendary. Got some Auto Steel, which is cool. That is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a, a line you can only get with um, Meister Cubes and Master Craftsman's Cubes. All right, so now we're going to do, well, we're going to do the black cube thing because I've gone over it a couple times and black cubes are generally the way to go um, for tearing up. So let's hope that 24 cubes is enough. This also has the added benefit of if I'm not able to tear up, I can still roll for a good uh, strength potential. Uh, there's that good strength potential I was looking for, so if we don't get a tier up, it'll be fine. Alright, no tier up. Um, maybe a little bit of bad RNG there, but ultimately not the worst outcome. That puts us at roughly 16k total strength. Um, looking at the other gear, I could probably, well, actually, I don't really have a good replacement for the Noble Iphias ring, so I actually kind of don't want to Star Force that yet. Not until I've uh, established myself a little more. But, like, honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot more I can do at this point to make this character much stronger without 17 starring more gear. Or, um, look how freaking expensive this is. 55 mil for 20 strength. I would love to, I would love to Star Force this, but it's just not worth it. 
So we're really kind of just at a spot right now where it's not really worth, uh, worth potentially anything anymore. All my potentials are solid. I think this is probably a pretty weak potential that could be upgraded. Two lines of strength would be way better. But 16k strength might be enough for Damien. I don't know. This should make the Lotus fight go a little easier, so I might go I might go try him out first and see if it really made any kind of difference. Even after all of these upgrades, the Sweetwater Katana is still a damage increase. Which is crazy. That is fucking crazy. Alright. Uh, I am going to go take a break, and uh, probably a little later on, I will start looking to clear Lotus again. Because I know for a fact I can clear Lotus, and if I get two pieces... Two drops from him, um, you know, that'll set me up to get a pair of boots. Um, unfortunately, at that point, it's probably worth waiting another week to get more mesos to get these to 17 stars, the uh, the Absolab shoes to 17 stars as well. So I guess it'll depend on what Lotus does, because if Lotus drops me two pieces, then I can comfortably wait and have an even easier time to <laughs> All right, 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the very end of the Hayato section of this series. I want to say that kind of jokingly because there is definitely more Hayato stuff to come, but we have done it. We have cleared completely solo. If you, I mean, if you want to give me the the credit of doing this solo, even though I did use other characters um, and I used link skills and all that. But without anybody else's help, on this character at least, I have cleared every boss up to Damien. Well, that's not actually entirely true. But I have cleared Damien, and that means anything easier than Damien should theoretically be possible, which means that this Hayato is officially on par with my other bossing mule, Mihail, who can clear up to Damien as well. Now, that was clearly a rough fight. It took about 29 minutes and I lost almost all my lives. Now, I learned very quickly how to adjust. I learned very quickly how to adjust to the patterns that I had already learned from Hayato or Mihail rather. And um, having the ability to do this on Hayato kind of makes a lot of mechanics that I struggle with on Mihail very, very easy. That's it. Uh, at this point, I got three Twisted Stigma Spirit Stones, which means I can go ahead and get the Absolab Shoulder this week. But that's it. I mean, that's that's everything right there. At this point, now it's just a matter of getting up to 20k stat, making these weekly bosses easier to clear, and then just farming up some Mesos. At this point, I can officially move on to grinding on the unnamed class and focusing on that character for the next couple months so that hopefully my next boss mule is less of a rough journey and more of a smooth progression through the game. This was really fun though. I learned a lot about MapleStory doing this and I feel like I'm a better player having done this. So I'm very happy that I did. And with that, I will see you guys when I see you. Thank you for watching.